Me, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, yeah, You are waiting. Hello, everyone. One year of Wayne Sublatsko. Welcome to Wayne Radio TV. How are we doing tonight? Happy Tuesday. Doing fine and dandy. Please, doing fine and dandy. Please. Doing great and thirsty. But good thing baby. I have infinite water. Thank you for the circle. Flesh must grow. Me, yeah, infinite. Turn on the sink. It never stops. Please. Do it for about 24 hours a day to test it. Just leave it on. It never, it never goes away. I don't think it runs out. Petroflume, whoa, please, please. down with this. Thank you. Hey, Project Math, I don't know what you're talking about. We got subs. Me, we got please, subs please, like Magpiding. People oh, are subscribing to the channel. Thank you, Hydral Urican. Thank you for the gift subs. Three subs. Hype Train is ripping along. Hey, Spork, welcome. Lola, thank you. Delta, Delta. Protect is defective. Don't worry about it, Acid Hydra. If you tune it at all, that's all we care about. Rift Ray Rocks with the tier one sub, welcome. What I think? 11? That's almost 12. Yo. Yo. Yo, subs are wow, just. Hey, stop it. Thank you for the fun and laughs. Today is a good day, folks. It is Sunday, May 30th. It's almost June. How the fuck did that happen? Yo, Polar Protos with three subs in advance. Fuck yeah, I did see the German stream today. I <laughs> One holy, holy Trompola. Derma really pushing the medium. Well, no, no, it was Bugleberry. Let's get it, your AI adventure, let's go. You go very killed a horse live? Oh, was that today? If that happened today, I missed that. I haven't seen game. the old Bugleberry streams. I only just recently learned of this character he has. Yo, other child, what's up? Is that Garfield? Is Garfield in the chat? Dad, Rago, Mega, Flygon, thank you. Charlotte Online, what's up? The pinata. Oh, I missed that part. I wasn't watching. Do not donate Seven, for media well, shares yet. 16. We are going to be doing media shares as usual for AI Dungeon, but I'm proud to announce that media shares, busted ass, fucked up, skippy sub? dippy media shares, thing of the past. Thing of the past. Because now we have media share. I'm now fully Pass. vaccinated, please praise me. A new and improved module and program 
It is still in beta. So I think well, everything is going to work great. I think even in beta, even if we run into any little hiccups there, it's going to run better than uh, than Streamlabs integration. Like, no, it, it, it doesn't fucking work through Streamlabs. You know that. If you were here for a fucking Civ 5 stream we did a few weeks ago, you know how bad that was. I think 50% of the donations got eaten. Don't donate Seven yet. Don't months. donate yet. Oh. I see somebody donated five bucks. You don't do that yet. Um, the... A couple notes about Media Share Plus that are important to consider. Uh, well, first off, we are at a 329% level 5 hype train. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the, it is still missing a few features. So one thing that you guys are not going to be able to do right now is check the queue. Uh, it uses its own sort of library. The way it works is it reads Streamlabs, uh, it reads donations and media shares coming in through Streamlabs, but it doesn't go off of Streamlabs playlist, right? It instead takes any link given to us and puts it in our own library that we then can play through. Uh, this allows us to guarantee that the video is played. This allows us for more immediate volume control, uh, moderation. It allows for remote control, which is not a feature I'm going to be utilizing today. We don't really need that, but that's going to be big for like, if you remember the Half-Life AI streams, uh, we had a rag on DJ work where he would essentially make sure that your songs were fitting and skip shit that wasn't supposed to be happening. Uh, remote control is there and available for when we need that in future projects. Uh, the the big thing though, and the missing feature, you're not going to be able to see a queue because Streamlabs queue is not going to reflect what you're seeing uh, through Media Share Plus. The Streamlabs queue will still show you all the songs that have been donated for, but the order is not going to match. We have a feature built into Media Share Plus that I think will be very useful uh, for those of you who tune into the stream later, which is the shuffle feature. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the first hour or so of songs play out in the order that they were donated for. So a little bit of first come, first serve, but a lot of the times when we do AI dungeon streams, we get so many media shares that some of you guys just get, you get your shit kicked to the bottom and you never, mm -hmm. you, it never gets to play. Or like, or the stream has to go super, super fucking late for when it gets to, uh, for, for, for you to be able to hear your song. So now, whenever our media share queue is overflowing, we can now shuffle the list and give everybody a fair shot at getting to the top. Um, the I feel like it's a good way of handling that. Uh, so first come, first serve for the first hour or so, and then after that, it's gonna be, you're gonna be gambling a little bit. Gambling maybe is not the word that I should use for that because that makes it sound against TOS. You know what I mean. Everybody has a fair shot at getting their song to play. Um, the... Whoa, holy shit, how many subs is that? It's still going, it's not showing me a number. What the fuck was that, Eddie? Thank you. The currently where it would normally tell me how many subs you just gave, there's pictures of dogs. <laughs> there's like, they with, with hype trains, they stopped giving away the shitty little pictures of trains that no one uses, and now it's like just dogs and birds and cats. Busy and it's, it's good. Day. The new, the new, the new hype train emotes are, are really, really good. Petco, We've got a fellow petcoer in the chat. Yo, I worked there for five years. I don't know if you knew that. You might have known that. That might have been why you said that. Who care? Who the hell care? Four twenty sixty nine with the resub. Thank you. Oh, and that's a one, one year. year. Enjoy your one platinum year. banana. Yeah, one year. What happened? Time. What is this song that's playing? I don't remember. Oh, this is from Dungeon Fighter. Oh, Big the other surface. feature that's missing for missing for Media Share Plus that I asked uh, Freya to add: uh, display of the song. You guys, actually, there might be a way for me to do that. Oh uh, wait, no, wait, yes, yes, no. <laughs> wait, wait, yes, wait, yes. I have an idea. Help Hold on, I cannot stop screaming. I think I, I, yeah, I don't think I actually need. The, the thing that I asked from her. First off, hello. Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's get this dungeon party started. Well, okay. Hey, folks in the Discord, I just showed the code to join the game on screen, so we're gonna get a new one. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> Have a Good. lovely night and stream, Wayne and friends. Green heart. All right, we gotta fix that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta make a new lobby. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever done that. I forgot that I left that open. I am going to donate $100 over 10 donations and all of the media shares will be fart sounds. Subscribe to me, please. 
if if you do that, then I reserve the right to skip music. You all know that. Your your media share donations are first and foremost donations and does not guarantee anything. It does, however, guarantee that you have a chance. And I mean, I guess you have a chance for your fart sounds to play. I can't stop you. I'm not going to ban you from doing it, but you're going to if my hands are free, we'll see how long those farts last. OK, this time I'm not going to I, I'm not going to do that thing that I that I did before. It's, it's oh, first off. Hello, hi, everybody. Welcome to my stream. Um, we're going to see if uh, something this thing works here. There might actually be a way for us to show you the titles of the songs. But it's experimental. Oh, you guys can't hear the alerts now. Why are there no fucking alerts on this on this tab? Oh, God damn it. Does this one work? Oh, this is old. We haven't used this in forever. OK, this one does work, though. I have to switch to old BRB screens when I do certain things in OBS. I have like a I have such a Frankenstein of an OBS setup. Shit barely works. Good job on gaming. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Tingus McTingus and his magical Venus. Thank you, but I hope you didn't donate yet, because it's not gonna do nothing for media shares. Just so you know. Sixteen. Well, we zowie time flies. Okay, this may or may not work. Yo, binging of Babish! The, the binging of Babish. The binging of Babish. The binging of Babish. Hold on. I gotta put it on screen. Ten. Why does Googling the binging of Babish not get you the picture? No, search for the binging of Babish. There we go. There we go. Get him on screen. Can we get him on screen, please, OBS? Eight moths, that's so many. Also, hi, Wayne. Take a look, y'all. Oh boy, it's time <laughs> I don't know what's happened, plus plus. but that, that picture is taking the internet by storm. <laughs> it's all over I the place. Up and you know, the dog, thank it. you. The dungeons. The AI. Oh, you ready to see it? The AI. You dungeons. ready to see it? I'm ready to see it too. So let's start things off before I go through and thank all of our beautiful subs, all of our supporters. I got friends. Don't you don't ever don't anybody ever let you tell you any different, but I have friends and I love them so and they're here today. How well, are we doing, buddies? Well, we're about to not be friends. Cuz I heard cuz I heard you earlier asking, "Huh, what song is this?" <laughs> what gonna, what other I song forgot. could it be? You outer it. outer outer walls of Dungeon Nothing Fighter Online, and you don't Dungeon recognize it pop, immediately. Pop, pop. It was Behemoth. It, you fucking. It is good to be back. Wayne you pop. fucking listen. You played about ten times more. No, probably twenty times more DFO than I did. I can't remember the song, but you should be happy that it's even in the queue. Okay. You know, um, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy until you start questioning it. Eddie isn't there. Or Eddie isn't here with 50 fucking gift subs. Incredible. Thank you so much. We have other friends, too. There's not just Log, lover of DFO and hater of me. There is also my friend Trog. What's up, Trog? Hi. Welcome. You're doing good. How are you doing? You're doing good. You just answered me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What, I'm not what good more do you want? I'm not good at introducing people. This is like my weakest trait as a streamer. It's the worst. It's it's always bad. The next up on the list is Master Gurr. What's up, Gurr? Hey, HDTV compatible. HDTV compatible. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bella no television. Fucking Master Gur, fellow Furio lover. Never seen the show, but he loves Furio. Never, What's up, Gur? Never watched it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm a little tired from pit, from literally pitching a tent. I'm a little sleepy too, to be honest. The I had a euro before the stream that uh, felt like it was gonna knock me out, but I think I'm getting past huh. that post good food drowsiness. Uh, and I think this this stream is gonna be so funny. It perks me up. It's gonna be funny. Oh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be funny. Funny. <laughs> so funny. We have to, we have to, we have to show. We have to show people what that is. 
You are so that they, so that we, that they don't think we're fucking nuts it's at this point, because then we just keep we do doing right that. Now. There's no explanation for what it is. Yo, Dominic, thanks I for five I don't even bucks. know what it is, but I don't you want to. You never heard it? Oh my god, it's mm. one of the it's one of the Uber Duck voices. It's just it's so. Oh, here it is. All right, <laughs> hold on. Please, please, please. Yeah. What's he gonna say? I'm ready. Oh, hold damn, on. five months. Thinking Wait, about it. Remember a second. Thinking real hard. It's so funny. Please. <laughs> That's fucking even is that? It's Rex from Toy Story. Oh, story. Oh, that wasn't even the most, that wasn't even the most, even the most intense generation of that that I've heard. Again. He's definitely been more excited about it in the past. Fine, there, there's a specific one that we we have like pinned in our in our Uber Duck channel, right? What's the, up, long I smile. think so. Let me look. Oh yeah, and this is I guess this is an unofficial. Wait. So funny! It's so funny! There you go. <laughs> you know, th this is like that's the good shit. I, where did you get that duck? Well, it's uberduck.ai. The we we actually we've used these AI voices for a bunch of streams in the past. This is where Biggie comes from. This is where I am mean comes from. The we didn't really say where we were getting it from because we didn't want people to see the the voices that were on there because it would have revealed like the I am mean plan. Um, but this is where I am mean and Biggie come from, as well as many other voices. There's so two, fucking many I two, can't even like keep track two. of them. Yeah, it's it's completely There's just three more every on. day. Yo, five, five, five to seven every day. Two more uh, buddies, they added Francis from Left 4 Dead. Time I play Die Dungeon, my oh, great. Right. The nice. There's so fucking McDonald's many. The cashier, fish to wear There's so of fucking many. With As some somebody who gets endless entertainment from making an AI so say crazy. funny things, this has been yeah. like, I get a daily dose every day. The we use it all the time. You going on to UberDuck, you can generate your own your own files. It's a really awesome service. You will not, however, have the Discord bot that we use. This is custom made. And we are, and it's not public. I we think there's a public Discord bot, though. Does it function the same way ours does? Or no, they... it doesn't function the exact same. But I, I think it know. just lets you generate through Discord. I don't think it'll talk into the voice. Yeah, channel I don't for think like it quick... talks in the in the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we had our people talk to their people to do that. I love thank you, Evner Binko. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and thank all the subbers, all the subs, and then we're gonna get on with the show and we're gonna open up media shares. Remember. Okay. Don't donate yet. Don't donate for media shares. You're not going to get them. Like, the media shares might register. I, I see four did. of you. Four of you have already donated for media shares. They are not going... They, they, they're not going to get played. The, you're, you're donating it. More shoes pointing right at the sign that says, do not donate. So, there are there are four songs. There are four songs that are not going to get played. I am so sorry. Odyssean, uh, Totally Patrick, uh, Binko, and Dominic. Your songs oh, are not going to no. get read. Oh, the, no. The, oh, no. the the field oh, to put yeah. links in for media shares are always going to be open. That is a consequence of uh, hey, wait, of I've the media share plus. It, it, it won't close anymore. But it only now. it only you receives them sometimes. Uh, wait, hold up. Come back when you're uh, we are already having an issue with media Time share plus. Some tunes. Let uh -oh. me see if Frey is around. Uh, because actually, because I was I was calling all of you out. Dish. Oh God. <laughs> Um, I was calling all of you out for donating at the wrong time, and it turns out for some reason, uh, MediaShare Plus didn't receive anything when it should have. Let me refresh the page, see if, if that years were eight months long, I would have four years of subs. No, it didn't work. Uh oh. What if you do Shift F5? No, I mean it refreshed Why? the page. It's just I had I had uh, MediaShares enabled, and it did not. It didn't read any of them. Where, whereas it was supposed to. Hold on. This isn't a media share. I we just love troubleshooting. Oh, love troubleshooting. Here like, at Wayne Radio TV, like we troubleshoot every other stream. We're basically your one-stop shop for tech support, Twitch stream, Twitch Twitch streams, which is a new service I'm offering for you I love if you want it. It's so funny, funny. I want Rex to go and stay go. Yo, when did Space Nugget give 25 subs? Fucking thank you. We're having technical difficulties, folks. Give me a minute here to, to make sure this is gonna work. What the fuck? Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please
you know. I don't. Uh, while Are we I'm supposed thinking, to be filling dead air right now? While I'm thinking about Rex... <laughs> <laughs> you can fill dead air if you want to. While I'm thinking uh, about Rex from Toy Story, I would like to say in, Toy huh? in the Toy Story 2 Halloween. video game, one of my favorite sound clips, actually two of my favorite sound clips of all time exist in that game. You have the sound Buzz makes when he jumps, and you have Rex shouting, Buzz! Oh, yeah. Buzz! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I would like to reverse uh, me trying to call out the four people who donated when they weren't supposed to. Uh, and to say thank you, because your donations actually just told us already. that, uh, this Thanks service isn't working. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get it working love. tonight. Oh, no, rip. no, uh, uh, nothing, nothing against Freya. We, we thought it was working, but it, it seems to, it seems to be taking songs whenever we add them in manually, but actual donations were not proper, were not tested yet, and, uh, they are not working. They're not coming through, so. Oh, dear. Yeah, we probably have it's to use beta. original media share if we do it at all. And the problem there is it barely works. That's we're going to we're going to we're going to see if there's anything that can be done right now and if not uh, we will we will move on. In the meantime, or you saying, I guess barely works is better than doesn't work. I mean, but I was like, but here's the thing. I'm honestly like fundamentally against using the original media share after the last Civ stream. So many people oh, donated know. and just had their song eat. Like, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to, like, put you put your donations at risk again like that. So we might Sorry just what the fuck? With funny hey, messages. someone just donated 200 bucks. Three months. What the Holy hell? Damn. Who did that? What the hell? Who did God that? Gives Eddie? The silliest challenges Eddie! 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 I, don't know. I don't have access to this information. Eddie, 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 Eddie did a big, a big 200. Thank you so fucking much. That is an insane amount of gratitude from me to you. Thank you, Rose Dust. The dungeon stream made me cry and lose my breath laughing more than any other stream of yours. Glad to see Thank them back so again. Thank you so much. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John B. Mock. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and thank all the subs while Seven we see months. if there's any hope of saving Media Share Plus tonight or if it's just if it's done. Uh, let's see. So we got new subs from Cowbop Beanball, hey, Finch Twit, uh, Catboy Pop. Milkman gifting a sub, Cheesy X, welcome, Polar Protos, and Rifter 8 Rocks. Those are brand new subs. Uh, Axon Radio, that's actually a good idea. Uh, maybe next time. I will I will keep that one on the burner. They suggested that we do a stream where we play uh, chat submitted scenarios the, that we like pre-screen before the stream. We've, I yeah, think we've done something kind of like that. We've we had you guys suggest wow, story wow, ideas, wow, but wow, never wow, actually wow. pre-type the prompts, and I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Uh, Catboy Riz, thank you for the five gift subs. Look at that shit! Eddie, thank you. There it is. join a stream because I'm not at work, and finally I can donate. Because I still have to work. Work is the poop. No more, only streams. Do you know what AI was trained on? It's uh, it's called Tacotron or something like that. I don't really know Happy how it works. Yeah, nice. they're they're what Tacotron they voices with spines like Stegosaurus. Uh, the reason why there's so many voices in Uberduck is because it's like it's community trained. Anyone anyone can make a voice. Anyone can submit them. He puts pretty much all of them up, uh, for better or worse. There are a few voices on the site that don't work, <laughs> like at all. They, all right. Yeah. So those they want to have fun. Uh, what was it Mario? Mario's fucked. One of the Marios is fucked. They, they, they've is they've fucked. got better Marios now. Shout yeah. out to whoever made the Eggman voice. What the Eggman fuck, movie. dude? Welcome. Uh, okay, for resubs, we got Puck and Slash. They says, 11 Moth, please give me a fart, a funny moth, fart. Please give me a fart, a funny fart. Oh, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I, mostly because media aren't now. working. I don't know if I have Spiral a fart to give you. Uh, not to calf, thank you. Uh, Bone Dongler, thank you so much. Shinx. Thank you for the resub. Shandle, with the painted cupcake at 20 months, thank you so much. Dr. Chromosom, thank you. I will have happy streaming, I will have happy fun, thank you. John Bamak, Rose Dusk Reverie, Vitero Gams, with the three month resub, thank you. Sorry, I'm bad at coming up with funny sub messages. Don't, don't worry. You don't, you don't always like, not every, not every single resub notification or donation message has to have a funny joke attached to it. The, uh, but it's gotta be funny. Let's get so funny. It's funny. Well, but it's funny. Uh, Vicky the Car Wash, thank you for the 29 month resub. Fuck yeah. Uh, Sin of Bisexuality, uh, just, they, you put some sevens in for funny. your tier two sub, and I didn't even notice. 
I, I didn't even notice that you were trying to hit me with those big numbers. Uh, oh, God, what nine? Thank you for the resub at 12 months. Happy one year. Jarth Brooks, Painter Skies with another one whole year. Von Fox with a whole year. Yada Moose. They say happy Halloween. What are you talking about? Prowler Pangolo, thank you for the four month resub. Merc Czar, Sama Just Franch. Uh, Ghost Albrihe, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It has been a wild 12 months. Zoda Koo with 32 months. 32 months, that's not three years. I thought that was three years for a second, but it's close. It's very, very close. 32 months sounds like it should be something. I don't know. Let's make up a new measurement for that. Uh, Healy's Feelies, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Sex. Draken Skull, Spoon Fresh, Randy Banana Shoes, Slimer Fan 2002, Sarkanoth, One Up Clock, Dr. Funkin, Rotten Witch. They say, hey, Wayne, I've been watching your stuff since 2018 and been subscribed for two years. Now you are one hell of an entertainer, man. Keep it up. Thank you, Rotten Witch. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, Chris Moore, thank you very much for your five month sub. Tra with a 37 months, just cross over that three year. We gotta figure out what that third banana is gonna be colored. I don't know. So, Trog, you're the one who just hit a three-month sub. What color should your banana be? Uh huh? Um... Mm, come back to me. I'll think of something funny. Okay. We might... Honestly, maybe we'll do a vote. Maybe we'll do a community vote on a couple different colors. The The concept was item rarities. Like, you got, you got like, your silver platinum banana. Then it goes to a ruby banana for two years. So, for three-year emerald. That's the thing. The first banana... Are one-month bananas green? I think they are green. Like, they're unripe. Or is it just a single banana? I don't know. It's been... I haven't looked at that. And most of you have been subbed... The Binging of Babish has <laughs> subbed at Tier 1. Thank you. Mocha Sun, thank you for the resub of five months. Senor Bob, the Odyssean, you're at the party. Wolf Beagle, uh... You get a one banana. Oh, Freya is saying that we have, uh, that we have restarted MediaShare Plus, and it might be working now, but don't do any donations yet, or I'll get mad. I'll get so angry and furious. Uh, we got He'll beat you. Sleepy Soul. I'm not gonna beat you. I don't beat my fans. Dad Drago, thank you. Gavin, Supernova Dad, Sludge Prince. It's been a decade of Wayne. A one day it will be. Me that you I bet I'll still be streaming games. in seven years. What is a video That'll be fucking crazy. Piece. What do I do for I my mean, ten year anniversary? For my three year anniversary, I, I got like experimented on and put in a pod. What happens next? You jump out of a fucking plane. That would actually be pretty sick. I gotta be naked though, like in that, like in the pod. <laughs> I gotta be thrown to out of a naked. plane by a mad scientist, aka Trog. Trog, what were you doing with me? What was that about? What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just found you. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Faye, thank you for the resub. Valiant Kicks, Dog Verified. You were the one threatening the farts. I'm gonna keep an eye out for you. Jester Skeleton, thank you. Uh, Bentendo Wheeze, Flesh Slime, about Hooker it. Mode. Another dolphin. Who care? 42069. Turbo Chomp, thank you very much. Detected effective. Oh, Turbo Chomp, you're the pet co person. Uh, Death of Delta, Corvidead, Devoid of Melody, Butch Bulbasaur, Huge Candy Squids, Narumali, Affable Giraffe, Squiggly, and Be Yourself, Nadioscopus, Petroflume, Kibbler, uh, Toa Coco, Dancil 12, Mega Flygon, Usi, Boohoo Berry, Adriotes, The Craft Gremlin, Holotype Rider, East of Hollywood, Beeps, No Casting, Mag Piding, Down with Sis, Wireframe Fool, Bubblegum Beanie, Wave Bird OS, Hip Hoop Hoo, Hip Hoop Hoo, uh, Flexi, Atom Tick, Ooh. Oh my god, that was a lot of subs, guys. That was a lot of fucking subs. This is uh, this is why I need to stream more often, so that the, the resubs don't get backed up. It takes me forever to I, go through them. I want alien contact. I want aliens... I want the first thing they hear from the human race to be the last, like, two minutes of what you just said. Oh, uh, they, would, they would shoot a torpedo at just, our planet. Just fucking nonsense. They would attack us. Uh, remove that. Let's clear our playlists. Enable media shares. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna donate five bucks to myself to see if this works because I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna like I don't wanna say hey someone in chat fi donate five dollars to me so that we can test this media share module. <laughs> you are not guinea pigs. You are my beloved chat. Uh okay. How do I donate to myself? Uh, this is not something I usually do. Hold on. Uh, I shouldn't donate this Binding of Isaac video. That's not a good idea. Uh, let me just pull something out of the Legends playlist. Hot Cheeto rap. Guy Woody's. Do you think Guy Woody's would get copyright caught? I w it might. What if it did? Mm, I'll, I'll I don't think like so, but it's your stream, not mine. I... 
Yes, it would, actually. <laughs> what? Psycho streamer plays himself live on stream. I have to! I have to, there's no choice. Thank you guys for your patience. We are currently technical difficulty. Just got my second shot hey, yesterday who did that? and it's been kicking my ass. This is the exact Did you put a song? Right no, you now. didn't. That actually would have been a good. <laughs> I would have been happy if you put a song. <laughs> Just if you put were, in if you, fucking if you were okay music, have a with helping out. No, 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 don't donate right now. That's so stupid. I can't. I'm like going back and forth on my words here. I'm in a unique situation <laughs> where there's a live beta test. Is this what multi level marketing is? I mean. You know, there's probably a way I could make this all fucked up and be like, hey, don't Double five reverse psychology. Gonna it's not going to work. It's all it's like it's like three way psychology. Give us just a folks a minute here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. OK, this is tough. Because we do have a show to put on. We've been live for like half an hour just to this introduction. That happens. I'm already having fun. I'm out here. I'm playing AI dungeon. I'm I got superpowers. I can throw lightning bolts. I don't even know what, what you're doing. Have you guys it's all irrelevant. joined the lobby? Maybe we start. Uh, it's okay, Wayne. We think it's funny. Mm, richer. I'm okay mm. with I actually have else. not. Adler Zeno, I didn't say that. I did. I, well, I did, but. Oh, Come damn back it. when you're a little. Mm, oh, ding dong, damn it! Dot, dot. That wouldn't Skiddy have worked even. Even so, I still have to donate to myself. Come Hold on. Little... Welcome, uh, Freya. Yo, I do what uh, I want. sorry about this. There's like no API docs for um some of the stuff that I'm doing. So... Don't don't you worry. Okay, so I have uh. I have I in in MediaShare Plus I have MediaShare's enabled. I, I hit the enable button and it now says disable. That would indicate to me that it's on. Uh, yes, there's nothing yeah, in the so active queue. We just had two donations come through, but I'm not sure if either of them was uh, was there in time. I'm going to send a donation to myself. Appreciated. Subscribe to me, Okay, just making sure my PayPal info doesn't pop up on screen. That's pretty important. I'm seeing alert playing, subscription playing. I assume that's... Miss Nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> that's Who's me. Freya? Freya is MC Nutsack. That's me. I, uh, th this is my actual job. I'm not, I'm what? not, uh, an MC. <laughs> time um damn it you can't donate to yourself you can't oh you're it's, you're not you used to be able to do it you can't do it anymore i guess there was maybe someone tried to launder money or some shit i don't know uh hey trog can you donate to me i'll pay you back <laughs> what's going on you want me we're, to donate we're, we're, to you? we're testing we're testing yes i need you to donate to me okay. five dollars and a song you can donate whatever song you want uh, Dude, eating cornflakes. Don't, don't tell me that. Eating cornflakes did not put us on. Send them fart with reverb. I'm like just refreshing. No, I don't know what you get. Pumpkin just thirteen. Thank you very much. How do I do this? What do I? Oh, you just do. Just send me a media shirt. Come back when you're a little... Begging for donors. I know we're rough. We're having a tough time. There is a very, 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 very good song you. for you to enjoy, Wayne. If it don't work, what a burger song? Money anyway. It didn't even. Oh, uh, what the fuck! It didn't even. It didn't even pop up that time. Oh, dog verified said sound effects. Oh, it's, I think it's working. No. It, we have a squishy mouth. sound effect in. Uh, hold on. What is this? All right. What's this? What is this? God damn it! This is ten minutes long. Ah. Okay, I see. Um, it's working, I think. Do I still need yes. to donate? Uh, I don't think you do. Um, do I'm gonna nope. do it anyway. What? So, <laughs> small and you and you toilet bowl. I you have to, pay. You have to play it because I paid you. Uh, okay. So I think I can see what I need to 
change. Uh, and that's working it. now. Two song, two songs yeah, have come okay. through, and they're 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 fine. Why is Halloween Fart Sounds Five listed as? It, it's like it has an alert. This track appears to be copyrighted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, but the, the, so so will copy uh, Freya will copyrighted tracks will they play unless I like click something is like um there the should be a exactly. play only on approval mode if you need to like okay but, but otherwise they will because I'm doing I'm doing yeah, no vod no vod media you. shares so uh it that shouldn't be a problem I don't think okay yeah uh, no they'll they'll play normally okay okay uh dog verified I'm going to well how do I skip is it this button. Yes, I believe I believe it is. This yeah, if button. you hover over them, it should. Yeah, there were a lot of buttons, so I had to use icons. Dog verified. Uh, thank you for donating for these. Hammy what walk. is this? Forward these walk. aren't even farts. Go. <laughs> Hold on. If you guys want to hear the music, I'm gonna. I can. I can send it through Discord too over here. I love you, Wayne. Please. Oh, please. Be good. Don't. Don't. I, I, I'm not see, not see if this. Sure. See if this works, and see if you can hear the wet slaps. I'm, oh yeah. <laughs> What is this sound supposed to be? This is nothing. <laughs> oh, it's it's over. Yo, that's fucking sick. Oh, I didn't see the word cut Come at first. Oh, I'm done with these fucking sounds. We're gonna listen to Mavinobi, the switch. dance of leaves. The only version of this song why did this, is seven that, minute extended. That song started so at like skip two minutes in. Like I don't know why. That Come back when you I, have, I have reduced the volume. There's there's gonna be some hiccups Time here with the, with the with the with the media shares, but. All right, so with media shares on, uh, we are going to mute the Streamlabs alerts, so no text to speech. However, you can now donate five dollars to give us a media share song. Um, there may be problems; I don't think there were, but it's going to be first come, first serve. After about an hour of music, we are going to shuffle the track, so people that get in late have a shot at getting their songs played. So, if you want to guarantee that you're you're top of the list, donate early. Uh, preferably, donate for stuff that's like in universe, like. Something that, that like fits a little bit more to what we're doing rather than, uh, you know, fart sound effects. But if you do that, uh, whatever, I can't really stop you. Music's a little loud. Fuck. I need a bigger volume slider. That's uh, just YouTube. Uh, yeah. yeah, I um, I it was fastest to just use the inbuilt ones. That's fine. Yeah. Well, well we, we can talk about that later. I'm, I'm not saying that like, come on, where's my big volume? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> All right, so we are here today. The stream, the stream can now begin. We are here today to play AI Dungeon Two multiplayer. The first adventure is up. Are me, Trog, Log, and Gur. We are starting as always with a fantasy story. Uh, the where we are going to flesh out some deep, deep characters, and we are going to tell you a tale that might make you laugh. It might make you cry. It might even make you die. Um, okay, so oh, let's decide on a turn order. Uh, let's say. Gur, you go first. Let's do Gur, Log, Trog, and then me. We don't know the names of all of our characters. You, well, chat, you know the name of mine. Me, Trog, Log, you? Yes. No. Okay. No, um, it's, it's, it's you, me, Trog, Wayne. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Alphabetical log, order. log, Trog, not Alpha Trog, Log? Gur, Gur, Log, Trog, me. Gur, Log, Trog, me. One, two, three, four. It's not the Ninja Turtle, no. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three. So let me, let me begin by reading the starting text. Our story begins with travelers looking for the staff of Zalos. As always, there are dwarves. The dwarves turn to us and say, The great impending storm cloud of the Ipcon Empire brews to the east, but it will pass well south of here. Of course, that still may disrupt trade and travel for years to come. This means nothing to us. <laughs> He's just imparting some knowledge. That really is like some NPC dialogue, like, like a like a non critical NPC in an RPG. You just talk to them, and that's that's like what their text box says every time you talk to them. I encountered an NPC today. I went on a walk, and when I got back to my house, there was a guy on the other side of the street, an old man who walked over to me, and and he said, and he said, "Ma'am, ma'am," and I, and I turned around, and he was like, "Oh, sir," and I was like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" And he and he and he was like. Do you think they're gonna take it all away? And I was like, "What are you?" Uh, no. And and then he was like, "Well, if they come here and they start cutting it all, back, cutting all of what we have back, you got to take what you can get and run." And I was like, "Okay, bye." And I went inside. I asked him if he was asking about the mail, and he didn't. He didn't react to that. The uh, I don't know what he was trying to tell me, but it was kind of scary that he was right on my front porch. Uh, ah, uh, of hey, course. Uh, what's Thanks, this Trog. song? This song is great. 
Let's turn it up. Max volume. Fuck you. About to tell you about it. <laughs> you about... give me my five dollars uh, back. Okay, something just went wrong. Freya, you there? Whoever donated for Honey Punny, I don't know what that was. It just like instantly started the song and then skipped it. Maybe it can't be played in the U.S. That's the only thing I could think of. I don't. I don't know what the song was. It had some Japanese characters in the title. I'm sorry to whoever's donation that was. That was the first one to get eaten. I don't think that's available in America. Do you have a history of what was played? Uh, That does not show up right now. Um, There is one bug that I have not figured out how to fix yet that might be what you're experiencing. What is Uh, it? If you you have watched a video, um, then when it comes through, because it's just using YouTube embeds, it will skip to where you were in the video when you saw it. I definitely have never seen that Hani Paganda video or whatever it was. Um, Oh. But there was a Mabinogi track that apparently I had listened to before, and it started about two minutes in. I can fix that by just clicking to the start, but um, yeah. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll keep going. All right, Ger, so it's your turn first. Should we re-roll what the dwarf said, uh-huh. or do we just stick with no, this? We're, we're good. Oh, I, got, I got a good response. He's just, he's just an NPC. Okay. what the dwarves say. It's not going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It, 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 it's some Hilux dialogue, and Hilux is known to be good, so. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I've got some, uh, I got some high-concept response to it. Frumpy dances crazy. <laughs> the dwarf lowers his voice and says, There is also a large red dragon in the far <laughs> west. I think he sleeps under the mountain, but he might be waking up soon. I like that you I like that you raised your voice whenever you, you said the dwarf lowers his voice. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarf. I don't care. The dwarf. The dwarf. The dwarf is my favorite recurring. The dwarves are my favorite recurring AI dungeon characters. He's non-consequential. You could kill him right now and we could just move on. Dragon thinks one day, but we need a DM for that. We've played D&D on stream before. Many years ago. Alright, well that's not... Empathy bot, the dwarf is nice. Stop talking, dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, that's, that's a plot line. Torque Cork looks to the south in an attempt to spot the giant storm cloud. Most interesting, Torque says. I think we should head to the village over there. The dwarf said they had seen a storm cloud. Maybe its location can be determined there. I suppose so. T- replying to yourself? Yep. Yeah, that actually would, might help Candy. I'm not sure. Someone also suggested YouTube dash no cookie. I don't know what that is. I mean, I imagine it's a no cookie version of YouTube, but I don't know what, like, how you would access that. If you plan on donating a video, be sure to remove the T equals part of the URL. Yeah, try and, like, you just want to... There's, there's always an ampersand in every single YouTube, like, title or, or link if there's anything extra on top of the URL. You could just right click on the video and hit copy URL. Get it like that. That's going to work a lot better. Okay, so the next song played Cookie Run and it's working. What the hell is Cookie Run? I hear this name all the time. I don't know what it is. Is it an app game? Play it on your phone? Maybe. I don't know. Do you, have, do, you have, do you have games on your phone? I don't know what it is, but I think I feel like people are really into it. It is a mobile game. It's a gotcha runner. Oh, huh. That's interesting. Frederick Frick pulls out three wands and begins to juggle them. Could the cloud be controlled by some sort of evil wizard or dark wizard? I don't think so. Look how far it is from the kingdom. It would be crazy for an evil wizard to put a storm cloud over the entire kingdom of Larian. Are (laughs) any old wizards around? (laughs) I don't think that's too crazy for an evil wizard to do. No, not really. That's just not possible. Mr. Christmas says, Hmm, I think an evil wizard would want to do that, actually. Idiot. Frumpy looks at you. What? No, I don't think so. I think we should head to the village and ask some questions. Okay. The group starts walking and you follow them. Well, that resolved pretty quick. All right. 
classics of D&D, the group just has a conversation for no reason that doesn't advance the plot. All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the st every start of an AI dungeon story is usually like this. Like the first like yeah. ten or so lines. Unless are just you do some something bullshit. like attack, unless you just attack the dwarves yeah. or make something happen. Uh, this is hey, <laughs> Frederick Frick backslash. Hey, it worked. Great, great action. Creative. Awesome. Anyway, let me think. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go let my dog in, and I accidentally hit a button on my way out of the chair. Oh yeah, chat. I made this. I made, I made this announcement on Twitter, but there was no stream since I've since I confirmed it. End of July, I'm getting the puppy. I'm very excited. A little Samoya puppy. The uh, we're we're gonna do a stream later this week, uh, where we're gonna do we're gonna pick his name. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it together, my friends in the Discord here and you guys in chat. We're gonna decide on a name. But I'm waiting until I get the first pictures of him. He's born this week. He's not born <laughs> yet. He is inside of a body. He's not born yet. But how are you liking so far? <laughs> He's not All born right. yet. All I right, here we go. Pictures. Frumpy says, so what are we looking for at the storm? I did not listen to the dwarves at all. The uh, the location of the giant red storm cloud, or at least what it will do if it is provoked. Oh, I see. The storm All arrive at the provoked? village and everyone greets them. Yeah, provoke the storm cloud. All right, so this village is friendly. Is are we are we at the village that the storm cloud is is hovering over? I guess uh, so. I suppose so. Right. Okay. Yes. But what about Bye, the large last. red dragon? We're not going to talk about names yet. We're going to do that on the stream. But I'm waiting until I have a picture of him in in larval form, like little little worm baby, like it's puppy. Like storm cloud Virgil. <laughs> Samoyed, Citrin Gator. Big, big fluffy thing. You gotta read your line that it generated. Hello? Well, oh, it didn't, it didn't make any sense. Yeah, it keeps generating fucking dialogue. It we does talk keep too much. generating dialogue. We, it, most of our actions have been dialogue. I think that's why. <laughs> I don't think any. I think Torch that he's a giant red storm cloud. <laughs> I think one coming. or two. I can't make it do an action. Maybe you put could, in something yeah, story yeah, related. Yeah, just just copy copy and paste what you typed, including your name, and put it in as a story input. I bet that'll work. Yeah, that that sometimes helps. We 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 use too much dialogue at the start, not enough actions, and now it thinks that's all we want to do. All right. Let's Samoyeds, do... I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to go into it. But Samoyeds have like, they, they have a double coat, so it's insulating to both heat and cold. On very hot days, he's mostly going to stay inside. But like up to like 80, 80, 90 degrees, the dog will be okay going out for for walks and and short time outside. It, it, the dog's not going to be outside for most of the time. I have very good air conditioning. The breeder would not sell me a dog to, if I lived in a location where it couldn't live. All right. Well, I've tried many a time. Uh, I'm going to be passing it off to Trog. Okay. Fort Cork climbs to the highest point in the village, metal pole in hand. He begins to make an announcement. Hello, people of this lovely little village. We have come from afar to speak with you about a very important matter. Baladoof is in grave danger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so we're at the village that the storm cloud is looming over, and we're and you're warning them that we're in danger. Like, do they not see it? Have they not looked outside? Yes, you'll no. absolutely get puppy streams. I plan to do a lot of streams where you guys see that puppy. That's why I'm involving you in the naming process. Nice, thank you for the capitalization. That was bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not naming it East Ken. No, we don't have no, we don't have a puppy yet. There there will be a puppy in the future, but not yet. Keep up.
What? Suddenly, a bolt of red lightning shoots out of the cloud billing above Torque's head, zapping him. Strangely, he feels no pain. In fact, he feels more powerful than ever. He begins to vibrate, and the bolt makes its way through his body, turning him from a dwarf into something else. The crowd stands in awe as the transformation is complete. Help, we're under attack. Okay, uh, All right. let's see. I could just re-roll that and make no, something else. No, I like it. Happen, I like it. But... I like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, try and act on it. Let me do this as a story input. This is a nice little song. What the hell is this? Cosmic Psycho? Mr. Christmas gazes at Torque's new form, taking it every detail. Torque stands tall, seemingly invisible, at least to your eyes. I don't think that will be necessary, he says, gesturing towards the crowd. Everyone sheepishly returns to their homes. These presents are afraid of what they don't understand, he says, almost uh -oh. pityingly. Okay, so uh -oh. Torque has immediately become the villain. I don't know. <laughs> he hasn't done anything evil yet. He sounds pretty evil. Yeah, but that's just you making assumptions. I wanted some details of what he looked like. Hold on, I'm going to type one more thing, just as a general thing. His new form is that of... Oh, boy. His new t-shirt is that of... A muscular man with bright blue skin and a strange tattoo of a lightning bolt I on his chest. I knew it! He's fucking... Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am Zolantium, the prodigy of... Well, maybe okay. just erase that last part so it's not making character... Does it, it, like, large character decisions for Log. <laughs> He's just fucking. But I do like the idea of it being a muscular man with bright blue skin. Mr. Sure Manhattan. Of a lightning bolt on I changed his name. Okay, that that works. Zavala. Every. <laughs> Every chat is fifty. Yo, does Zavala, Zavala have a Mega chest Mine. hat of a lightning bolt? That would be pretty. You've sick. never seen his chest. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hit enter. Skipped? What the? Okay, apparently yeah. I've listened yeah. to too much of the music that you guys listen to because it keeps cutting off songs. Well, fuck me. God damn it. Yeah, I noticed two songs get skipped because they started at the end. Why are they? Ah, that's not how YouTube should even work. There's like nothing I can do about it. I think some people are still putting in time codes with their videos. So no time codes chat and also chat. No, I don't think so because don't why would the time code take it to the don't very end? Don't donate for songs I've ever heard before because apparently that'll break them. <laughs> would signing out of your YouTube fix it? Uh, yeah, I, yes. Would it? Okay, let me try that, actually. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Waiting password reveal. I mean, I just don't want you guys looking at browsers unless I know that you're looking at it. Uh, let me sign out of YouTube. Hopefully this doesn't fuck anything up. Stop almost doxing yourself. I fucking know. I fucking know. Okay, I've signed out of YouTube. Let's see if that fixes it. Freya, do you think that'll do anything? Are you still here? They are deaf muted. Who took yeah. their turn? Oh, yeah. No, I hit enter. Uh, well, Mr. Christmas then. interrupts him as he pulls out a pocket watch. Prodigy of magic. Oh, you must be an elf. Of course I am. All right, Torque, Clark, right. you're an elf. Can we not Clark, know each other already? Clark, Clark we is now an elf. some sort of adventuring party. But... No, 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 Torque, Cork just transformed, remember? Oh, that's right. All right. He, he got transformed into an elf. We don't know what they were before. Yo, Armin, the sheep, thank you. Sheep now I'll take my turn. Because it kind of looks like shit when it's... All right, let's see. I have to do this in the form of a story thing so it doesn't keep doing dialogue. What the fuck was my name? This is what all dwarves look oh, yeah. like. Yeah, they're Dr. Manhattan-ass lightning elementals. He was a dwarf. Right. There we now go. He's, now he's a blue man. This story sucks. Well, we can always bail. It doesn't go anywhere. All right, hold on. You could reroll it too. Front, front, uh, 
kind of like it, I, though. I it like sucks, it but I kind of like it. Grumpy like, looks at Cork in awe and says, Wow, that sure is impressive. I sure wish I would get hit by lightning. So, so you understand me? You can understand me, you fool. I'm not an elf. I am a... Uh, a man? No, I am a... Human? <laughs> Let him finish his fucking sentence. What is he? <laughs> I, th I think, well, Log, Log, you should take your turn next. Oh, wait, no, your turn is next. What am I talking about? No, it's... Yeah. Well, no, yeah, it, it is. is Log next. <laughs> it's perfect. Log can decide what he is. Megamind is... He's not Megamind. Megan Mind. I definitely have never listened to this Limp Pumpo song before. I don't know who Limp Pumpo is. Why was it in the middle of the video? Tork Cork says, well, look at this. He points to a distant planet, barely visible in the night sky. It explodes. Look at what we've done. <laughs> Mankind has reached the zenith, and we have only just begun to... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> What? I don't know, but I'm loving it now. Yo, I don't know who Lil, Lil Pumpo is, but this is a bop. Yeah, this is a bop. I think it really just has to be user time codes. Like, I, that, that must be the problem now, because I've never yeah. listened to this song. I know I haven't. Make sure you give us clean YouTube links, folks. Be careful. This fantasy story is becoming sci-fi. Shit becomes sci-fi very easy. Log, did you type planet? You did you say you pointed to a yeah. planet? Yeah, yeah like by, by mentioning planet, it's gonna immediately become sci-fi. Like earlier, I, I was doing a test story and I mentioned space and it just immediately went off the rails. Is that this Roiksop? No, it's Limp Pumpo, I guess. I don't know. The media share tracks will not be available in the VOD until it comes to YouTube. Unless there's like some horribly copyrighted track. Not yet, JFuck. Unfortunately, that's a feature that wasn't finished. We're going to try to have that ready next time. God damn it. It's like really stubborn today. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? Frederick Frick requests the giant red storm cloud also bestow him with some sort of supernatural abilities. You decide to ask the giant red storm cloud for supernatural abilities as well. Giant red storm cloud, I beseech thee, bestow upon me some sort of supernatural abilities. It begins <laughs> raining. Oh, come on. You wait for the rain to stop, but it just goes on and on. You know that waiting around isn't going to help, though. You'll just have to wait it out. Waiting around isn't going to help, but you will just have to wait it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. AI logic. You know, I'm talking about that uh, that puppy that has yet to come out. Um, I got a little intruder in my abode today. Oh yeah, you got a new. Kitty. I didn't even expect it. Um, my uncle's moving, but he didn't want to take his cat with him. But there's no place for the cat to go, so now I have him. Mr. Christmas scoffs at Frederick Frick. Clearly you don't know how to talk to magic clouds. Watch and learn, boy. Mr. Christmas opens his mouth, cups his hands around it, and begins to belch. Yes, it's what you think it is. Now I shall call the sweet chums of the forest to guide my way, he says dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the chums. sweet chums of the forest? <laughs> nice. So yeah, I'm going to keep this cat for a couple of days. See if... See if it's all right. See if I don't have an allergic reaction. Otherwise, my mom is going to be looking for a new home for. What'd you name it in the meantime? I've named her Cup. It's <laughs> nice. a good fucking name. It's a good fucking name. All right, so girl. right now. Right now, though, she's scared, so she's hiding under oh, my bed. Do that one. Wait, did you type that? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm I'm doing a story. Bit. Oh shit, the song started at four minutes in. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, these fucking guys, these fucking songs. I've definitely watched Wire. Oh, it's just eating them alive. All right, I've never, apparently I've never listened to Pets, Cats 2 music. All Thank right, God. well, this is a beta run. We have discovered the first main bug of MediaShare Plus. We're going to have to fix it. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, suddenly, the grass <laughs> music is killing me. Suddenly, the ground starts shaking and the giant red storm cloud begins emitting a loud screeching noise. It's as if a million metal turkeys are being slaughtered on steroids. <laughs> a dozen of the most fearsome abominations you have ever seen pop out of the ground. Oh, wow. Something actually happened. That's great. Fucking Aqua Teen ass storyline. Even with some of the even with some of the fuck ups, this is still miles better than it was on the Civ Five stream where it would literally skip like seventy percent of the songs. So I'm at least happy with that. Thank you, Freya. Oh, other child gifted this up to Freya. Wait, what happened? A dozen of the most fearsome abominations you have ever seen pop out of the ground. Not from the cloud. I guess it rained them into the ground. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This music doesn't fit at all. <laughs> I don't know. It's Pets, nah. Cats 2 music. I think it's perfect. Breaking your own rule. Hey, wait, I gotta go put food away. Don't move for about five minutes. <laughs> Torque Cork grapples a fearsome abomination and throws it into the storm cloud to see if that does anything. Congratulations! You have completed Giant Red Storm Cloud without getting killed. You struggle mightily with the creature, but you feel it slowly and surely gain the upper hand. You might still die. <laughs> you might you might still die. You're this is another this powers. is a side quest. Congratulations. I'm gaining points for fighting a giant red you monster. You're fighting a giant red monster. Fighting monsters is hard. You know, you're, it's not it's not wrong. I've never killed a monster. Are these the sweet chums of the forest? Maybe I shouldn't I have called not. upon them. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. What a beautiful song. I bet these are our friends. I bet we don't need to fight them. The music tells me. Pets Cats is a weird fucking game. There's some Wii game about raising monkeys. I think it, it might just be Pets Chimps or like My Chimp that I want to stream at some point. Someone recommended it to me months ago. My Chimp. Yeah, that's what it's called. I think it's called My Chimps. My Chimp or something like that. I don't know. I haven't played the game. My Zaza. You taking your turn, Tron? Yes, you gotta rewind oh, this. this one, I, the why the fuck? Oh my god. It always happens. <laughs> Frederick Frick performs an acrobatic <laughs> maneuver, gracefully floating through the air before landing on his hands and knees, beginning to drink rainwater out of a puddle. <laughs> A glistening puddle on the ground catches your eye. You've trained your whole life for something like this. You perform a handspring, gently landing on your hands. Hang on, I want to see where this goes. You rapidly kick your legs into the air, propelling you several feet into the air. The creature swings its claws at you, but you've already launched yourself past it. We'll start drinking. I... I start sucking. I can't. I can't. It's, I... It's You're up to attack. the AI. I hope it makes me... You twist your body, landing on your feet behind the... Hang on. I feel like you should rewind, because it ignored the puddle. It just had you fighting for some reason. It did, like, it did ignore that. the puddle. Let's... Let's see. You are, you are fully prepared to fight off the ferocious beast, <laughs> but you find yourself faced with a small <laughs> puddle. <laughs> You bring your feet what? together over your head and fall, landing in the puddle on your back. It's so fresh and pure. All right, this is good. <laughs> this is okay. where I want my action to end. Okay. Frederick Frick is distracted by a particularly fun-looking puddle and begins to roll <laughs> around in it. 
trained your whole life for something like this. You've been training my whole life for this puddle. Mr. Christmas realizes he needs to drink that puddle or else. <laughs> it's so dark, so very, very dark. You wiggle and squirm like the pathetic weakling that you have become, but there's no way. You can't break free of this puddle of water that is what? That doesn't make that. any sense. You aren't afraid of anything. You will prove this to yourself once and for all. You walk toward the puddle, which calls to you like a siren. It is your destiny. No, that doesn't matter. I gotta press after. This is good. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. So there's this This is oh. a new feature they have where you can help train it to give it the better option. Uh, what matters is your thirst. The puddle beckons. Your thirst calls to it. But what if you manage to catch a mouthful of quills by accident? These creatures may not be giants, but they must be ten times as deadly. Or what matters is you are thirsty and that puddle is just so... You know the drinking from that puddle would be wrong. You must not give in to your temptations. I'm going with the first one. They're both pretty good. The first one's better. Uh-huh. All right, so so my action was realization. I didn't actually try to go drink it, so I'm good with the ending here. Uh, Gur, your turn. Oh, yeah. Yo, Mr. The Lazy One, thank you for the four mouth resub. The puddle beckons, your thirst calls to it. I feel like we might be under the effects of this evil cloud completely. And like, nah. whoever, <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're falling for the trap. I don't know. I'm not sure if what happened to Torkorg is a good or a bad thing. Hold oh, on, it's like it, I like it like gave actions to everyone else. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Grumpy laughs and does another jester's dance. You reach out to catch the puddle with your hand mere centimeters away. How could the puddle resist such a sweet and innocent gesture? <laughs> gotcha, Frumpy says, chuckling. You caught the puddle? <laughs> I like how three of us are now just, like, playing in the puddles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't understand what you just did. I don't, I don't get it. He, he I'm like, did a little <laughs> dance for the puddle, I don't know. And you, yeah, and he caught the, the puddle? puddle. No, yeah, I danced, and then the puddle reached out to me. I've definitely never heard this song. I end my turn. I gotta play this fucking game. Yeah, simple ten. You right. I've had it in my Steam library forever since it came out. I have a Yog I, I played game frog in factions. my library, but I'm too, I, I'm too scared to play it. I can't really stream Frog Factions because, like, I know what it is, you know? Torque Cork eviscerates a fearsome abomination and turns to the debacle. Let that puddle alone, he says commandingly. You continue to stare at the puddle with the same expression you had when you first laid eyes on it. Your expression must be puzzling, for Torque begins to turn a bright crimson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now, who's your? Who's is that? You? Like good or bad? Are you like? Are you doing that on purpose or? Huh? I don't understand what happened there. Torque is Torque a red dwarf to turn a bright crimson after being after getting mad at us for playing in puddles. Do we do we keep that? Why not? Okay, I'm just a little confused at like the subjects here. Cork is enraging, and okay. <laughs> you guys are you guys are having some monkey business. We got to get over this puddle. This puddle. This puddle is the largest roadblock to our adventure we've ever come across. <laughs> <laughs> we got to stop it now.
What happened to the staff of Zalos? Fuck the staff of Zalos, man. We like we the staff of Zalos is always what it wants you to go for, but like we never fucking do it because why would we? You know the the staff the staff of Zalos. It might come up in the story later, but it's usually not the focus because it gives you the same objective every single time. We are in we are here in a fantasy world. That's that's all that we really do with the fantasy stories. Frederick Frick takes a t- uh, takes a few sips of the puddle before standing up. That was cool, but I'm done now. He turns his attention towards the monsters and cuts one in half with a blade made of pure psychic energy. The fearsome abomination flies into two with a loud squelching noise. It dies, but it is still alive. <laughs> Surely this is impossible. You feel quite strange looking at this creature, for it somehow reminds you of yourself. Fucking moopy. <laughs> sure. Okay. The, uh... Alright, my turn. <laughs> you're cries a little you're gonna die he says sadly you shake your head to confirm that it is true i think i'm saying that to the monster must be you're gonna Confusing. die Mr. Christmas says, Fools! These are merely the sweet chums of the forest. I called them there from the cloud. We can't kill them. We must use them. The fearsome creature in front of you is split perfectly in two. It is quite obviously dead, yet it continues to move. One half begins to peel away from the other, as if they have developed opposing social values. What? (laughs) What a fucking (laughs) metaphor. You take a step back. Run! Okay, so we we, we gotta get away. We gotta get away from the sweet chums of the forest. Man, every single song is starting in the middle. Yeah, you people in chat are listening to your music halfway. Yeah, you gotta... I I really... I I wish we could have, like, like a foolproof example of if you guys are copying and pasting your your time frames into the videos and if that's what's I mean causing I assume these, Freya probably has hey. access to that information on the back end. Yes. Uh yo, I'm back. Um Hi. Uh it's not that's not the problem. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. Because like these oh. are definitely songs I've never heard before. I've never listened to the song from my my uh yeah. so I don't know why it's starting in the middle. It's so weird. I don't I don't know. It must be Something must be getting held over in the front end because everything seems to be going fine on the back end. The songs, Weird. the songs that get skipped, are like they're starting at the at the second that they end. Like, like I saw one song was four minutes and twelve seconds. It began and then immediately the song it just it just ended. Like it pl- it played like a, like a millisecond of the song and it skipped to the next one. Yeah, it might just Very be weird. the front end component might be holding over like the current time of the of the uh playing video so whenever it swaps oh! over to the next one you know maybe that is what it is maybe what i have to do is like start at the beginning like i'll have to pay attention to when each song ends click on it and then skip the song which is like a pain but i can test I- i'll use this current song that we have up to test it like i'll click i'll click to a minute in when it's about to end and then skip and see if it does that okay all right here we go Frumpy reaches into the puddle before he runs away. He finds... Could it be? Yes, it's the staff of Zalos. You turn and run in the other direction. (laughs) Shoot, he says and does nothing. It would appear that even though he's of noble birth, he lacks willpower. Oh, wow. Frumpy is nobility. A a noble jester. So you can't use the staff? He he got scared of the staff and and ran (laughs) away from it, it seems. Wait, that is what happened. He found it in the puddle and then dropped it and ran away. (laughs) <laughs> shoot, shoot, I needed that. Oh well. I I end my turn. I unfriend you. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. All my homies hate the staff of Zalos. I mean honestly, we fucking do. Fuck it. I hate it. Thank you, Cherubi Blast. (laughs) 
Torque Cork performs a maneuver to pick up the staff of Zalos. The maneuver is as follows. It followed it up with a period. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> hey, but I mean, it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, it, it follows it up as, as a period because it, it's not what, a story. What you input. did need to be it's a story, story yeah. input, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, copy why and paste. Is that, why are there so many, why there's so much tech, huh? I don't know, it's just how it is. is it? But, I, but, but the thing yeah. I like about it having tech is that you can do a lot of funny shit if you know how to do it, you know? What's the source of this song? It's from My My, it's a rhythm game. One that I've never played because it's not at our arcade. All right, let's try this again. Maneuver is as follows. Ah! Oh, <laughs> yells, raising the staff to his lips as he stretches what? his arms back as if embracing the lover. Wait, how does that work? And so he's like he's doing this, but he's like holding the staff. He's like holding the staff like this, and then it's like he's pushing it into his lips. I don't know. What yeah. It's... <laughs> holding he's, it with my he's foot. He's gonna kiss the staff. Okay, so the song is about to end. Well, no, another 50 seconds. All right, so I'm going to skip to 45 seconds, and then we're going to skip the song, and we're going to see if the next song copies that. That is what it is. Freya, that's exactly what's happening. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Uh, I can... Let me check the code. Uh, it might be a simple fix. Um, I'll mute so you don't hear my... Okay. Thank you, Freya, for being on deck as a live technician tonight. You're being a big help. Got our eyes in the sky. <laughs> okay, we have to change the subject after this after this post, but I'm keeping this one. Frederick Frick feels a deep pang of jealousy as he gazes upon Torque having a hot makeout sesh with a powerful <laughs> magical artifact. You are filled with both excitement and nervousness. Torque throws his hands <laughs> along the smooth wooden staff. The force of the force of life. <laughs> Close through me, he whispers and gently lays it down oh. on the ground. <laughs> okay. This is gross. <laughs> so we have to change the subject immediately. That's the last post that can be like that for the safety of the get up and put it down. <laughs> just like kissing a staff and then like whispering to it and then just putting it back down on the ground. Mr. Christmas kicks the now empty staff into the bushes. Fuck that. You feel Mother Nature's wrath. She doesn't <laughs> like you right now. What should we do next? You ask your friends. Food, says Torque. Medical supplies or alcohol. What? I'm going to re-roll that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe re-roll that. I like the idea of Mother Nature being mad at me for kicking a staff. Like, but the mouthpiece mechanism falls out the end of the pipe. You look around discarding what? wooden shards and bubblegum wrappers. You spot a rainbow <laughs> shining in the distance and begin running towards it. <laughs> give that one All right, right next story. Hold on, I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> the magical skies grow even darker than they were just moments earlier. Rain begins to pour down on your heads, but in a very organized way. I'm going to hit enter. That, actually sounds, that sounds <laughs> kind of cool. interesting. Yeah. Organized rain. Every raindrop falls. In a it all goes over your heads and lands on the surrounding rocks. Meanwhile, you're left here getting soaked. Rain stops pouring down on your heads. In fact, it has stopped raining everywhere. Well, that was okay. fast. Okay. What is this cloud doing? All right, here we go. Okay, that time it didn't work. Oh, wait, maybe it's because I clicked too slow. All right, so I've dispatched, I've dispatched with the staff, and it started raining heavy, and then it ended. What the fuck is this? Bro, come on. That's literally the opposite of what I've said. <laughs> I love you. I wanted to read what that said, because that was good. <laughs> Hold on. My name is Jeff. This fucking song rules. There it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. I I'll, I'll stick with this one, actually. <laughs> I'm really distracted by this song. Frumpy starts screaming at the cloud to go away. I love you. Come back to me, beloved. The dark cloud above begin. The dark cloud above you begins shaking violently. Lightning flashes and thunder rumbles. The sky is starting to brighten up. The dark storm clouds disappear into the horizon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Torque Tork, Tork becomes normal with the disappearance of the clouds. 
Tork smiles and stretches. <laughs> all in a day's work. <laughs> the trees oh, what? returned to normal height. Yeah. <laughs> the trees, I guess the trees grew while we weren't looking. I don't, I don't know. Why they became small. Tork was nice to you. To who? Who got that point? <laughs> and why? You got I'll there after know. they changed. So they've been tall. My name is Jeff. I don't think Tork is fully normal. Well, I just wrote that he became normal. I think something's still up. You fucking, because you didn't just, you got hit by magic lightning that turned you into a lightning blue man. And then you made out with the staff and, and drank the essence of life. We gotta find a new quest too, because we found the staff of Zalos. <laughs> There's a lot that we have to that we have to move on with. Frederick Frick is still a little sad, but he can deal with it. He points towards the mountains the dwarves mentioned like hours ago. So what about that dragon? It takes a few minutes to get there, for you are all still somewhat tired. However, when you arrive, you find the valley has been reduced to a field of smoldering ash and rubble. It's dead. The dragon's dead. The dragon. The field. I guess. I don't think you would point to a field that's like burnt and go, it's dead. I don't know. It's a mystery. Gotta solve it. <laughs> hey, who did that? Who Captain did Picard that? was battling waves of wyverns. Said. <laughs> <laughs> shit, we could have should have kept that. Mr. Christmas approaches the destroyed valley. He sees the ruins of the Dwarven Tavern they stayed at last night. No. Inside, you find the charred body of the old man who owned the tavern. Never mind, he says with a heavy heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bodies of dead men cover the tavern's interior. You rapidly look for survivors, but there are none to be found. You were too late. You lose one point. We were too late. Yeah, and that's sad. Oh, you know what I'll do? I just think I, I figured out a temporary fix. I'm going to turn off autoplay on the songs. So now when the song ends, I should be able to click to the start and then hit play for the next one, which is fucking annoying, but it's the price I got to pay to make sure that your songs get played. Well, this is sad. I didn't know any of their names. You don't, but maybe your character did. <laughs> but I mean, I did go inside and see if they were dead. And I just said, never mind. <laughs> like... That doesn't seem like the right words for someone that cared. And Mr. Christmas has shown himself to be sort of somewhat of an asshole. Uh, uh, here we go. Frumpy says, I hope the dragon that did this was killed already. I don't want to fight what did this. That was no dragon. You all turn around to see a huge humanoid in leather armor with a large axe strapped to his back. He wears no shirt and is instead heavily tattooed all over. Okay, cool. interesting character. All right. All right, an NPC, a, an actual NPC that we can interact with. That's always nice. Should should we just hit enter? Uh either that or log could like prompt it. Kratos. <laughs> that was no dragon boy. Yeah, I no just boy. thought it was like the rock or something. <laughs> it could be the rock. It's Log's turn. It's it's in his hands. <laughs> uh Tork Cork says, Did you do it? Did you cause a problem? I ain't no dragon. You must be ones the dwarves we're talking about. <laughs> we're the only ones, you ask? No other humans around for hundreds of miles. 
so is there's so is it so is they there there are a dwarf no or no no they're not a I dwarf. guess it the doesn't dwarf, say this, just this, as, they, just what as the fuck annoyed. we oh, are they good. only ones so you must be human yes the man grunts though it's getting harder to tell his tattooed skin is misshapen, like that of a badly deformed human. His teeth are large, like a dragon's. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> a halfling, the man says proudly. You with the dwarves? We're not dwarves. No one what in this conversation is ever allowed to talk to it. other people. No one is, like, we are all fucking illiterate. I don't, like, no one is saying anything that matters. I just said I wasn't, the man says. Fucking... This conversation has got to end. No! Oh, the, fuck. The autoplay solution is uh, worse. It like it just skipped the Breaking Bad song. It like it. I, I clicked on it and tried to do it manually, and it just cut it off. Oh, this sucks. Sorry. I think I figured out what's going on. I can fix it, but it's actually in the back end, so I'd have to restart the thing. And we um, lose the queue. Uh, the queue actually would be fine. Um, oh. It's in a database. If you if you think it's if you think we're safe to to like for it to like to to pause and restart, just let me know when and all, and we'll do what we have to do. Okay. Uh, let me just like I'm ninety percent sure that it will be safe, but like let me double check on my local thing first. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna pause it and we're gonna look up Breaking Bad Remix and we're gonna listen to that. Boom! 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 Because I know exactly what got skipped. I can I can make it up to you guys. Okay. It does not fit our fantasy story whatsoever, but that's what you paid for. So apparently you but think it's it fits. Good. Eh? Okay. Eh? Okay. Uh, so whose turn is it now? Trogs? Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking. We gotta ask him about the dragon. Or or the not dragon. That interaction was so bad, it, like, reset my fucking brain. <laughs> Jesse, bitch, bitch. Yeah, bitch, Jesse! Bitch, no, I am. Frederick Frick strokes his chair. He, ex <laughs> he inspects the tattooed man. What's up with the markings on your body? He points at one that looks like a rabbit spanking another rabbit. <laughs> Most of them are reminders of my past conquest. <laughs> you want me to tell you about that? You, wa you want me to tell you about one that isn't? It'd be a nice break from talking about the weather and how bad my feet hurt. <laughs> I wish it was I kind of want to reroll that. Go ahead. Just because Go it ahead. doesn't. Really do I, I like. I honestly, I I'm for re-rolling just to see more options. Like even if that one was good. <laughs> <laughs> the man looks down at his body as if noticing that for the first time. Oh, these they're tattoos. Tattoos. <laughs> okay, if you think now about I want to press enter. If you if you think about it, the way that you posed the question, that's a proper <laughs> answer. Like you didn't yeah. you you didn't imply that you knew they were tattoos. A custom of my people. They represent <laughs> certain things that we believe in, but forget about a lot. <laughs> like uh, rabbit spanking <laughs> or something. Interesting. Fricker says. <laughs> Fricker? <laughs> Where are your fellows? Uh, I'll, I'll go now. <laughs> Fricker. <clears throat> I hope people the get what I, what... I hope people get the Ooh. reference. Oh, no, the people guy. have to get the reference, people. right? The guy. Surely. I had a guy. There's only now one I thing don't. that could be referencing. You are not the guy. Long dead. I'm the last one. The same beast that raised this valley and killed your dwarven friends is responsible. It's a dragon from the mountains, Fricker says. We saw him. <laughs> the man shakes so fiercely. <laughs> it's, a lie. it's not a dragon, dude. <laughs> My character, <laughs> my character is lying, <laughs> and it's also why am I fricker now? We saw. 
I'm <laughs> 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 doubling <laughs> down on my lie. Oh, it did. It was playing a different song. I just noticed you guys can see the top of the video at the top of the screen because that's how I have that. That's how I have that selected. Uh, okay, we'll keep listening to these other songs in the meantime, and uh, once Freya is ready for the reset, we'll hopefully fix things. I just realized I can just check my own playlist on the live version of the site, and it's still intact after like two resets, so it it should be fine. Okay, just let me know when you do it so that I can like pause it and make sure it, I'm ready to refresh. You know. Uh, All right, I'll just... I'll make the edit and then I'll tell you. Okay. I still I love I love that AI dungeon can just make your character a liar. <laughs> what? On, I'm gonna redo that Wait, one. I, I, that was, was pretty I cool. Why'd you? As a robot. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, less I like this cool one. than the last thing. Bring back the last one. You could. Yeah, I'm working on. Where is it? Oh, you I restored. can't get it back. What? Did you did you oh, restore it? I tried. Oh, it okay. didn't work. Well, I mean, if you want to stick with this. No, well, whatever. Yeah, right, I'll stick it. with this. Yeah. Frumpy says, what was it? A dragon machine? It's a robot. Interesting. A robot? What do you mean? A robot is something made by humans. They're not alive. They're not anything. They just exist. I don't know what that means. Oh, hold on. Let me say that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. It means I'm more of a man than you'll ever be. <laughs> what? I said, no, wait, that. this isn't about me. It's about you. My friend and the dwarf said you were a oh robot. Oh my god, reroll that. This is going to be crazy. True. There's like. That's the, not the mental true. road here of this, of this dialogue is insane. What? You don't have a death wish? The man asks, if I didn't kill you, any of your technology would push me over there. What the fuck does that, that mean? doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Frinky! <laughs> Frinky. Okay, I'm keeping it because of Frinky. Who's Frinky? You! <laughs> the man looks like Frinky. What do you mean? It's a machine. It's made by humans. They're not alive. They're not... Okay, he just repeated himself. He just repeated okay. himself. Hold on, you know what? Hold on. Thank you. I might keep that. Frederick. Frederick Frick. I got your number from Chaplin Crabtree. <laughs> you have a lot of questions? Uh, yeah. <laughs> then I suggest you ask them. But we don't know where to start. Log, take your turn. Yeah. <laughs> try, to, try to steer this somewhere else. Okay, I'm resetting it now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this some fucking Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Da, da, da. Fucking Sky Tower. Fuck yeah. Mystery Dungeon music slaps so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The robot! Look, read it. Ta uh, Torque Cork says, What should I name my dog? What? I want to name my dog. Okay. <laughs> he thinks for a second. How about Wolf? That's a yeah, good name. <laughs> That's a good name, the robot says. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I have to go. Some of us have to work for our living. The robot's here? <laughs> Wait, what does this mean? Meaning? Meaning? Damn. And then that's just pretty deep. How about we uh how about we just um bail? No 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 no. We we don't even have to bail. We just have to how the fuck do I uh It was Frankie, you know. Frankie is either Frumpy or Here. Frederick Frick. I don't know. It's one of them. There. Definitely that's not a good Mr. Name. Christmas Pork or says. Pork. Now it makes sense. There's no robot. Okay. Wait, so Torque has to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've restarted the site, so you... So I should refresh? Uh, yeah, refresh and uh, enable media shares again. Okay. Uh, it just wasn't sending a message, like, um, <clears throat> when it tells the front end that 
the new video Ooh. was coming, it wasn't telling it to go back to time zero. Okay, then hopefully it works right now. Hopefully, yeah. Sorry for the loud volume chat. It reset the volume slider whenever I did that. I gotta give you props. You managed to crank that back down real fucking fast. I was ready. Yeah. Now what will Frederick Frick do? Why is that name familiar? Is that from something? Frick was in the back comic. Yeah, it's by... a it's a uh, Longmont Potion Castle. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I can hear it in his voice now. The name's I'm Frederick, Frederick Frick. Frick. Got your number from Chaplin Crabtree. <laughs> I think I saw someone in chat mentioning that too, and I didn't know what they were talking about. Fre we're the only Cl gnomes in the area. Clock Tower Three. Fred Fox is also what popped into my head too. That's AVG. Fred Fox. Yeah, Fred that is AVG. Oh my God, Fred, Fred Fox. Fox. Oh Classic. my god, Fred Fox! <laughs> uh, Reroll that. Frederick Frick asked the stranger where he could get some of these tattoos himself. He has an idea for one that would be a mustachioed man breathing deeply of burning exotic herbs. What? You mean these tattoos? The stranger says. You just go to any artist. These are just things. They don't mean anything. But aren't they symbols for your beliefs? No. <laughs> the uniform man shrugs, then leaves. You look at Torque and Frankie and shrug. <laughs> There's nothing else to keep you here. You begin to pack up the camp and prepare to leave. You should just delete the what are you doing. Yeah. No, no, we can keep that. I like that. Literally, that dude said, like, these tattoos mean something, and then you ask them again, and it's just... They, no, they don't, they mean, don't anything. mean anything. Aren't they symbols for your beliefs? No. I'm glad that the AI knew to say that. No, to be I, like, I, I don't want to say no. The, but uh -oh. Mr. Christmas says, we gotta find that robot and kill it. It killed the dwarves and all the sweet chums of the forest. Why would you do that? A voice says from above you. You look up to see a uniformed man, a strange rifle in his hands. He points it at you, gaze stern. Who are you? Is he flying? Who are you? My name is Jacob. Jacob Byrne. What do you want? I heard you speaking of the robot and how you're looking for it. I want to help you. How do we know we can trust you? He it's going to be exclusively dialogue from now on. Now we just have to do some actions, put it back into shape. You have a magical <gasps> axe that talks. How do you not trust me? In the distance, an almighty boom reverberates through the air. What was that? Hell if I know, Jacob says. <laughs> wow, Okay, useful. apparently I have a Mr. Christmas is a magical axe that talks. Hey, Freya, it's working now. <laughs> That's cool. Woo! Yo, nice. big round of applause for MC Nutsack Freya fucking live bug fixing. What the Sorry, fuck? Sorry, I didn't work the first time. No, it's fine. I don't think any more songs will be skipped now, chat. I think that was the only bug. I am what? praying that no more. Gets <laughs> Frumpy says, When the fuck did we get a talking axe? I don't know. Well, why the hell not? Jacob looks at you, exasperated. <laughs> Have you looked at my gun? It talks. <laughs> so. <laughs> this fucking. This story is maybe the most like. Written with bullshit dialogue story we've ever told in yeah. AI Engine. It's ridiculous. We need like some actions to happen. We need the plot to progress. All right, log, that's on you. Give us some actions. Give us a long I'm, action, a big sentence. Uh, I'm, a, five, I'm like, yeah. Five and five says I'm late. What's the story so far? Well, uh, we we found a magic red storm cloud that struck Log's character with lightning and turned him turned him into Mister Manhattan, Doctor Manhattan. With a lightning bolt. Uh it summoned weird flesh creatures. It rained really hard. Uh we drank we played in a we played in a puddle. We uh we drank from the puddle. We found the staff of Zalos, Tork Cork made out with it, and the essence of life flowed through his body. The rain stopped. And now this. A robot raised a valley and killed all of our dwarven friends. Apparently. Mr. Manhattan got his doctorate revoked. Too nude. Supernova Dad, there is no Q yet. That this is still in beta. That feature is not finished yet. But instead, we have a media share. We have a media share module that's not going to skip songs every every single song. For it sure, this time a few times, but we fixed it. We fixed the bug for real this time. 
Torque Cork is starting to become abnormal again. With every new idea that occurs, he becomes a brighter <laughs> shade of yellow. After Jacob says that his gun can talk, Torque is practically incandescent. His brightness is attracting beings from all places. I look down at Torque, feeling sorry for him. You wish you could make him stop shining like that. <laughs> 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 I, I want to see what it. I want to see what it does with that. It's blinding you. Well, that's all I need to know. Jacob yells over the roar of his gun. It, the gun's just screaming. Complimentary <laughs> introductions. Where to begin? <laughs> How did you get a talking gun? <laughs> now commencing. Why are we so interested in these like talking robot. weapons? I have a talking axe. It's not a big deal. So, okay, so the Streamlabs Q link, the old one, it will show you every song that's been donated for, but it won't show you the order. Uh, once we shuffle it, which we haven't done yet, we're going to do that like a few hours into the show. Um, you, you could match the current track that we have displayed on the top of the screen up here uh, with the Q if you want to figure out where we are. Because right now it's still true. That is actually a good way. Is there any, is there no way to find out if our song got skipped? There, not really. Um, like every single song title has flashed at the top of the screen. Uh, if your song got skipped, it would have been there for like a millisecond. But hey, you can, you can, whoever was posting that link, where is it? Like, if you want to see a list of all the songs that have been donated for, but in no particular order, you, you can go to that link. All right, back to AI Dungeon. Frederick screams at the top of his lungs, no more questions. <laughs> he begins throwing knives in all directions, just in time too, as a new foe appears. A strange figure clad in shimmering purple armor. Its body resembles that of a bear, but its head is like that of a goat, with a long, spiraling horn protruding from its forehead. Did you write that? Yeah. No. All right. Awesome. I mean, I wrote the beginning, but I did this, not write the. Awesome. It didn't even say a word. Yeah. Aspect of Lauren. Yeah, that that thing sounds like it looks pretty cool. Mr. Christmas holds up his talking axe. The axe yells to the purple foe, Are you a robot? <laughs> in a deep, booming, robotic voice, the figure replies, I am a Chuton, the greatest warrior in my tribe. The Chuton charges towards you. Why are you attacking us? F just delete that. No more, no more questions. Yeah, there someone... are only answers in this story from <laughs> now on. No questions allowed. Oh, God. Fucking... So it is a robot. All right. And it's a Teuton robot. It's a robot. It's a, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> Teuton means trillion tons. Does it, Omawaz? That's pretty that cool. Real? I'm going to look that up. I've never heard of that before. Is that for real? I'm not seeing that. I I don't think that's real. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I can't find any information. Let's see. Chuton D's nuts. Nope. <laughs> not real. They just made that up. Uh, okay, here we go. Frumpy, completely done with this bullshit, steps into the path of the Chuton and destroys his neck with a lariat. Whipping him around, Frumpy catches him with a... a Metalocene shovel blade to the back. The Chuton explodes into a million fragments, and the rest of you begin toasting the fallen rooster with your weapon. What? Is there a rooster, rooster inside? Here? Okay, no, it's like an E-102 type situation. There was a rooster inside oh. the robot. But we're, to we're, wait, we're toasting? Do they mean like <laughs> toasting like cooking or toasting like, like congratulating? Uh, I feel like toasting would be cooking. I mean, it, it is a fallen rooster. Oh, man. Whatever. I <laughs> must move on. We got to stop defeating all the enemies in a single <laughs> attack. We're too strong. Frumpy just uh, exploding him into a million fragments is such uh, an awesome <laughs> product of that attack. I just I wanted to, like, that. I just wanted to stop him, not blow him up. <laughs> That's what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> 10 points! Oh, you got 10 holy points! Shit. Holy Yo, shit, dude. Read your prompt. 
Tork Quark forms a new kind of food called a chicken skewer. Chicken skewers! I'm a genius! <laughs> Tork cries. Why are we fighting? <laughs> I don't know why we're fighting, Jacob says, but I like to fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, what now? There's no more plot threads. We killed the robot. Okay. I know what to do. Yeah, I mean, I got 10 points. It's true. 10 points would be like, that's like end game levels. <laughs> We're closing it out. But I like to fight. I like Jacob and his talking gun, even if it won't stop screaming. Big time sunshine. Thank you for the seven months. You, you type in something out, Trog? Yeah, <clears throat> I am. It shows me when everyone's typing except you. I don't get it. Top 10 Applebee's items. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you worry. It's actually more like Chotun. Oh, not in English. Okay. That makes more sense. Chutton. I like no, Chutun better. Like Cho. Shootin'. No. Chotun. Oh, you don't say it like that. Look at that. Look at that. These media shares, they are playing. They're not skipping anymore. We're in a new era. Fuck yeah. No more bullshit. Perfect. Fucking years of it not working. Wow, what a great singing voice, Wayne. Yeah, this is all me. Charles has something good for us. Yeah, I can feel it. I'm I'm doing it. Don't jinx it. I don't I don't even think we can jinx it. I think it's perfect. Are you singing and talking at the same time? I'll never tell. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Oh my god. Just read oh, that trog. Read that trog. No, you. no I'm pay, not gonna no, read, read that. It, no. <laughs> fuck you. What the fuck is that name? Okay, well, read it anyways. Okay. I like fine. that. Oh, Frederick determines that the him. party is far too overleveled for this area. We need something that can challenge us. On cue, the heavens rip asunder, and a powerful being descends from the heavens. This being is so horrifyingly powerful that your eyes... Oh, I missed a word. Well with tears, just trying to gaze upon them. It is none other than... Oh, hello. Uh-oh. Crick, crack, 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 crack. Crick, crick, crack, 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 the destroyer <laughs> says in a vaguely Scottish accent that I won't do. I was just taking a break from destroying entire worlds and wanted to. Oh, I see you lot again. Do we? Do we know this person? We do, apparently. Oh, uh, you know, just actually, taking a no, break you know from what? destroying entire worlds and wanted to. Oh, I see you lot again. <laughs> Mister Christmas says, "I've never met you in my entire life." I beg to differ. Actually, Gur, you can be the voice for this because you're the only person that can do a Scottish accent. I, can't I do, beg I to differ. <laughs> I believe you wanted to kill me about a year ago. Yes, I know you. The monster stands there, slowly sharpening his claws. No, I don't think we've met. I'm going to hit a screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I can do it because it said vaguely Scottish. That's you. Perhaps you know my predecessor then? Predecessor. Before the conversation can go any further, Crick Crock -cr -cr backs away slowly. <laughs> he realizes he's in the wrong area. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn now, Gert. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Because you're the voice actor for the Scottish guy. Oh, yeah. Crick Crock -cr -cr means dark chestnut. What the fuck are you? I don't know. You guys can say whatever you want. I can't confirm Liar. it. Liars. It turns out you can just say anything you want. I mean, they put, they put some like Chinese characters in. Maybe it does, but I highly doubt I'm, it. I'm, I'm, so I'm going to hit Edgar right. and see what happens. Hold Crick -crock -cr -cr on. Crick Crock stands for Chutan. <laughs> <laughs> Before that conversation can go any further, Crick -crock, -cr Crock backs away slowly. Right, I must be going. Uh, good to see you again, I think. With that, he, With flies, that, he upwards, flies upwards. Towards an opening <laughs> in the heavens. I hope we meet again, William. <laughs> Fuck. All right. All right you on. know what? That's funny enough that we just have to...
that just has to be how that hold on, wait, wait, encounter wait, wait, hold on. happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Will I am? Yeah. <laughs> Let me edit that in. No, I'm not going to change the story. I don't. I think I don't think it's going to like that if I put Will I am in it. Oh, Star Fox Adventures music. I want to stream this game. It is that is that is a game from my fucking childhood that sucks a fatty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Read this. It's your turn. It's great. Uh, you like this? I feel like I could do better. I think it's good. Uh, that guy was. I meant to have this be me saying this. So I'll just say it as me anyway. That guy was so cool. Did you see his shirt on the front? It had a picture of dad wearing a crown, <laughs> holding a club and a chainsaw. On the back, it had a picture of mom holding a spear and a book. <laughs> Jacob shakes his head. So much for hope. What? Very Mom's negative. Dad and mom. <laughs> Whose parents? I don't know. Y'all should hang out with William. He ascended to the heavens. Oh, Mr. <laughs> William Sullivan. is very much gone. William Cra 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 Cra. Cra Cra Cra. The destroyer. I would wear a shirt with a picture of my dad with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I should ask Love my parents if they chainsaw. want to be on a merch item. Fucking head. Headache. It's been on and off today. A line of high level foes is formed. They all heard Krakakra was here and they want to see what's up. The first foe in line is a hulk of a man covered with muscles and wearing only a loincloth. His head is like that of a monster's with long tantrum throwing tantrums. Hello? <laughs> you, you uh, is this fucking mad libs now? <laughs> Literally a fucking Mad Lib. The second foe. The second foe is a man of medium height, medium weight, and medium build. He wears a complete suit of leather armor and holds a sword in his hand. This foe is clearly skilled in the ways of combat. The third foe is a little girl, barely into her teens. <laughs> this is like a fucking Monty Python <laughs> sketch. Like, they're all the most powers. powerful beings. <laughs> And the third one is just a little girl. Just a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. The fourth foe is a baby in a stroller. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to just keep making... <laughs> 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 Alright, Trog, it's your turn. No! <laughs> No! And your duplex is the baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! This uh -oh. was a normal baby. It was not a super baby. <laughs> it said it was a foe. It was the fourth foe. <laughs> oh lord <laughs> oh no that's fucking awesome that's a shame maybe that should be the end of the first story honestly I feel like that story that's like that's a lesson there's a metaphor there in chasing power you should not yeah. be the strongest of the world because you'll just think a baby is a strong powerful enemy and you're not feeling <laughs> fucking love this oh, song man. Oh, I got lightheaded from that one. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> That's like, I expected it to, I expected the baby to like do a move or something and deflect it, but no, you just no. murdered it. You just fucking <laughs> splatted it on the ground. Uh, oh man. <laughs> well, don't label them foes. I feel like this is rigged. This is like whenever the game like doesn't actually give you a choice, it makes you be the bad guy. Top ten ways you could have not suplexed that baby. You had you had an option to fight 
a, a muscle <laughs> a muscle monster of a man and a medium height, medium weight, medium sized <laughs> drop guy. One point five. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know what these are. I, don't I mean, know. these are not suplexes. They're just other these are wrestling other ways moves. you can hurt this baby. <laughs> these are more wrestling moves. <laughs> Yoko, 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 uh, Yoko Taro, take note. <laughs> All right, what's our next story gonna be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? What is the next? Well, that's not. Be? It does not end like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's let's cut to BRB for a minute. Uh, <laughs> let's come up with a new story. All right, let's do. Uh, so we should do a custom story because we that's how we usually yeah. do. We do our first story is fantasy and the next story is custom. Now, it's been a long time since we played AI Dungeon. Before I ask chat, have you guys had any ideas for a good story or a good prompt? Have you guys been playing we anything or watching the anything? the of Zalos in the Kingdom of Larian. Shut the fuck. <laughs> um, let's see. Spy so Kid stories is Hannah Bot. No, I'm listening to my friends first, then chat. Um, finally came out from under my bed. Now she's exploring. Ooh. Nice. Cup. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. If there's anything like off the top of my head that barnyard. would be simple enough to fit into a single prompt. Back at the barnyard. That actually could be kind of funny. Mm -hmm. uh, like a like a farm animal story. Yes, like like you know humanoid <clears throat> farm animals like that. Movie. I don't. I don't know, man. I think it'd be I fun mean, to I'll be like sure. a chicken. Anything. Or a pig. Look, we did ants one time, and it got like real. It usually up, turns bro. out great. Chicken run. Chicken I, run. No, I'm vetoing chicken run. No chicken. <laughs> run. I'll well, do farm animals. I will not do chicken run. Okay. So we could easily doing... bring in chicken run. It's true. It could run. very easily become chicken you run. Can, you doing... guys can be chickens if you want. Not me. All right. Refuse. So let's we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a barn story and we make sure your name denotes what animal you are, like whether you like I like should our names just be like chicken pig or should we do like blank the pig? Mm, I say just make your name an animal. Okay, I feel like that will keep the AI from getting confused as to what you are. <laughs> oh yeah, you think it's real this, funny? At this being the <laughs> Whoa, what is this? David, what is this? This is dope. Okay, hold on, let me type the story. I'm done. Oh. Satana. Satana. Vito. I love this. Perkele. <laughs> this is if you want to know what this is, it's D V D. David, like that, like that, yeah. Like the first result on YouTube. All right, here's the code to join. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I have to do that, don't I? Uh, now, all right. Let me let me read you the initial prompt that I put up. Uh, but I think we're gonna re-roll what it gave us because it's a little weird. Um. It's a bright and shiny morning on Crustal Farm. You and your friends are farm animals, living it up under the care of the world's greatest farmer, George Purst. But little does the farmer know, you have a life all of your own. You can talk, stand upright, and live the greatest life you can. But one day, something unexpected happens on your little farm. Something that will change your lives forever. The day begins like any other. The snooze alarm rings at 7 o'clock a.m. Jane complains and shuts it off. Yeah, like, I don't I don't know what this is. You hear a dark ominous. I'm going to re-roll that element of it. Yeah, re-roll that. Yo, more magic. Uh, chortle, chortle, giggle, chortle, chortle. Oinky the pig laughs. <laughs> Celeste, you're adorable when you laugh. Well, no, it's Oinky. Uh, immediately fucks up. <laughs> we'll do the same turn order. Or actually, let's 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 reverse it. So I'll go first, then Trog, then Log, then Gurp. Um. Ah, uh, today I will be a bastard. Potbelly Pig thinks to himself how much he hates Oinky, the only pig on the farm with a name. <laughs> Oinky is that farm animal no one other than a two-year-old could love. He's fat, he laughs with the most obnoxious sound you've ever heard, and there's nothing remotely funny about him. He's just another utter joke walking on stumpy legs. Judgebot, Oinky is a cow. You lose one point. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I'm already, I already don't understand. Why is Oinky the pig a cow? That's what the bot says. We lost. The I point. know. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he won't even be funny. It's not funny. All right, so Trog, it's, it's your turn. It's not funny. <laughs> Goat walks over to his friend Pig. Hey, what's the matter? You look like you could use a dip in the mud. No, no, I'm fine. Pig replies as he pours water from a glass onto his head. I just don't want to go over and play with Oinky. He doesn't do anything fun. <laughs> okay, log now. Thank you, Panic Peepo. Damn, no one likes Oinky. Nobody likes Fuck Oinky. Oinky. He's the only one who has a name. Everybody else has the self-respect to just call and each if, other. And whatever I'm not sure if he's a if he's a cow or a pig. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, fucking hate that it's guy. It's very ambiguous. He's, uh, Oinky sucks shit. He's the worst. <laughs> Oinky is a cow, not a pig. It's not funny. <laughs> All right, now gets to work keeping up with a new or coming up with a new barnyard game that Oinky is not allowed to play. I know, Barnell says with excitement. Let's play Keep Away. No way, Oinky says. George Purst said no more playing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tell him off. Who is George Purst? That's our farmer. He's the one who Yeah, George the Purst is the farmer. The, most the world's famous greatest farmer. farmer. Yeah, don't you know? Don't you know him? Not only is Oinky annoying and stupid, but they also are a little goody two shoes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the AI doesn't know what to do. Hold on. Oh, the AI really doesn't know Fuck what to off, do with Oinky. this. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe uh, it is uh, copy it, delete it and redo it as a story input with your name in there. Yeah, or... that usually yeah, well. helps. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm so I'm so happy with the media shares. They're working. Anna music. Okay. Yo, I wow. Love Anna music. It still doesn't know what to do. Hold on. Press enter. Just just like. Why does it not know? Hold on. Is it giving you like a blue Wait. answer? Is it saying, "Uh oh, this went"? No, to no, a no, place? no, no. Okay. It just doesn't understand. Try changing, uh, try, try editing it, you know, like, I, 
give it a, give it a different. Yeah, no, try try writing more. Try writing like Rooster. Rooster walks over to his friends and fluffs his feathers. I don't know. On, Rooster does it. a backflip. Get rid of fuck. I think there's there's no way you're not allowed to swear. No, it anymore. doesn't care about swearing. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. <laughs> God damn it! Why is this working? The AI is protecting Oinky. It's getting mad at us for bullying this fictional it is. cow. Wait, okay, delete that. Yeah, and just, just press enter, again. and then try and do your thing. Like, let's just throw something in between what we have now and what you're trying to do. Go okay. ahead, just read that. Off. Now, why do I gotta read it? Because it was oh. your turn. Technically, I mean, it doesn't really. It's matter. a continue. It's a continuation, and it's your character. George Purse can't see us. Barn Owl says, "Come on, let's hide under that oak tree over there." <laughs> Now try doing something. I hard. love that we all call the farmer by his full name. We we have so much <laughs> respect for this guy. He's 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 he keeps add more you know, like add more to it. Chris. Say like say like like rooster thinks Oogie is a I'm stick in the mud. It. What the okay? So I mean I I like we heard about the the new like censorship thing that they do and like I tested it. I tried. We've never run into it. We we have never run into it actually playing. I tried to make it run into it by grabbing a child and throwing it into orbit, and it only did it when I made it say "fuck that kid." He's in space now. Wow! It really it doesn't want it. me to tell him to fuck off. Hold on, let me try pressing enter. I don't know why it won't let you do this. Is it? It might actually be mad that you're saying "fuck." Hold on. I want to do. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change it to. You say, can shove off. Say, Oinky's my best friend. Let's see if removing fuck fixed it. Because if it is, that's stupid. Yep, that was what it was. Stupid. I wonder, I don't know. Uh, does it think Oinky's a kid's name or something? I don't know. Oinky Snuffles. Oh, wait, no, it's your turn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it is, isn't read, it? Read it from the top. <laughs> Rooster joins his friends and he says, That sounds like a great idea, Barn Owl. Oinky, you can sh fuck off. You aren't invited. Oinky, sh Oinky sniffles and says in his most pathetic voice, Come on, guys, I'm free range too. I want to play. Oh, no, I feel bad for this fake pig. Leave us I alone, don't. Rooster declares. Fine. <laughs> okay, so my turn again. Yep. Man, I wasn't allowed to say fuck off. Are you? Do you like Oinky or do you hate Oinky? We're gonna have Pop, like a phone number. Pop that Pig grabs the farmer's double-barreled shotgun that he stole earlier today. What do you fellas think this does? Oinky turns and says, "Is that a shotgun?" "Yes, it is." The pig answers, and we are out of pellets. Let's get Oinky and ask him what the fuck. I'm rolling that. Oinky left. Oh yeah. <laughs> the questions again. This Oinky doesn't have to Whoa, pig! You're gonna shoot all of us. That's a heavy gun to be played <laughs> with. He says, sounding concerned for his life. I know what this is for. Rooster shouts as he points at the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. Hold on, I want to ask That's him. A... Oh, yeah, Rooster? What does it do? Apparently, Oinky knows. <laughs> I want Oinky I don't out of know. this place. Rooster she just says, but you shouldn't point that thing at me. Silly goose, smart owl snickers. That's not how it works. All right, Trog. Oh, local Roco music. Was oh, that what this is? Dota, Dota. Dota, Dota. <laughs> this is official theme of Dota 2. <laughs> I like, yeah, someone in the chat pointed this out, but I like how Barn Owl is correcting us, and, uh, like, saying, like, not to point the gun. Like, no, it's fine. That's not how it works. Don't worry <laughs> about who you pointed at. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Jazz. He's in his cage, and he's not happy about it. Despite think, all his rage, he is still just a bird in a cage. I think I'm going to sacrifice a new shirt to him because all of the shirts that I wear for Jazz have too many holes in them that it would be TOS to wear them. You, my, my nips would pop right out. 
Well, not really, but it, I don't want to wear them because it looks like shit. The I'm thinking of sacrificing a new shirt to him. I got that shirt. I got that shirt with that fucking swag mule mommy made it picture on it, and I don't think I ever want to wear that in public. So I think it's a perfect <laughs> stream. I think it's a perfect shirt to let my bird eat. You know, I realized whenever we were doing stuff, you you brought out a shirt. It was a Jackbox shirt that said, <laughs> "I think murder is fucking good." On yeah, it. I did wear that to the arcade last week. You did. And I was nice. I was stressed about it the whole time because I forgot that we were gonna go into the mall. And then I'm walking around this mall with a shirt that says "Murder is fucking good" on it. And there's little kids walking past me. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope they don't look at me and read my shirt. <laughs> don't cuddle with the rest of the animals. I was fine wearing that... Huh? Sorry. I'm reading my prompt. Go we're on, playing man. a game. I know. I know. Don't huddles with the rest of the animals. Sans oinky. I don't know about you guys, but I would really rather Oiki not hang out with us anymore. Can we come up with something that could get him to leave us alone for a really long time? That's easy, Rooster says. All we have to do is say something bad about him. Something that will make him cry and not come back. Like what, Cornell asks? Oh, I kind of want to see what the AI suggests. I feel like Generation... Yeah, I kind of want to press enter. I feel like Generation is so much better for custom prompts these days. Like, you, it, yeah. in, like, in like six turns, we're already doing, like, some really good, funny shit. Mean shit. Yo, Random Factor, thank you for gifting a sub. I don't know. What's something that would make you cry? I don't know, Barnow admits. But I also wouldn't run away if someone was pointing a gun at me. <laughs> Damn, Barnow has a lot of bravado. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Barnell's turn. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. I don't know what the media share is either. There's a bald guy on the video. You guys can't see it. There's no mints in Murray. Barnell says... Maybe we should wait until Christmas Eve and then call him a dipshit. <laughs> Done, he <laughs> says. <laughs> Oinky slowly nods in agreement. What do we do until then, Barnell asks. Play games, who is to suggest. <laughs> Play more games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you did say that these animals live like an amazing life. I was just playing games all day. <laughs> They Oinkie, just play games Oinkie all day. nodding at that is, is the best bit there. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Oinky, get out of here. <laughs> He's just watching from afar. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Rooster says, hey pig, try pointing that gun in the air and pulling the trigger. I have an idea. Pistol Peck and Oinky looks a bit wary, <laughs> but complies. Pew pew! Oinky yells so loud you are surprised the walls around you don't cave Hold in. On, let's, let's change that to pig. That's not Oinky there. Barn? I didn't pull the trigger. Do you want to just re-roll that? Because like I didn't do what you asked. Uh let me hit enter and see what happens. It's shut up, <laughs> Oinky! Monkey's yeah, not here right okay. now. Reroll that. Let me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't want that. Oh, uh, oh. Let me. Hold on. You, you can go with that, I guess. It's up to you. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, you're one of you're one of those kinds of games. Pig says with a roll of his eyes. What you thinking, <laughs> Rooster? I'm thinking we could use that gun if we ever found ourselves in a real tight spot. What? Oinky and Goat exclaim. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything, Rooster says. Playing with guns is dangerous, Oinky says. Fuck <laughs> off, Oinky. Point the gun at him. Point the gun at him. <laughs> Fuck off, man! <laughs> hey, you got to say fuck off! What the well, I mean, hell? I really it, hasn't, it hasn't generated. We'll see if it... Oh, yeah. It doesn't uh, like... You can't swear anymore! It doesn't, you can't swear at Oinky! Wait, try... Wait, try piss off. You can't swear at Oinky. It doesn't Why? Are you, you not allowed to say the F word? They gotta fucking fix that. Piss you off, man! Say... Pop Billy Pig puts you, the gun at Oinky. You specifically can't swear at Oinky. 
Now just put that goat pushes over pig. <laughs> Pop belly pig is truly terrifying. <laughs> Do you why you why would I push pig though? That doesn't make any you sense. You wanna read you might want to redo that. That's funny, but we should redo that. I don't know. I kinda of wanna I fine. I'll blame this on you, pig. You're too stupid to, uh, to know not to play with guns. Oiggy like says, what's going on over here? Farmer Brown asks as he makes his way towards you. Farmer Purst, get that right. <laughs> it just went with the most generic farmer name I could think of. We got to we got to assume animal form now. Trog, it's your turn. We got to We got to hide from a farmer. He can't know. I mean, unless we want to reveal it to him, that could be the plot. That could be the thing that happened today. There's some sort of dark event that's going to change our lives forever. <laughs> Pig is startled and accidentally pulls the trigger while pointing at the farmer. <laughs> we'll see. It's not my turn anymore. In a perfect world. Try turning same. It is off. The, 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 new, the new safeguards are like permanently in place. You can't remove them. For the most part, it's fine. It's just very specific instances here where I'm trying to swear at another animal that it doesn't like it. I think this seems like a childish story to the AI, maybe, so it doesn't want swears. Me, yeah. Thank you, Gamzee. Um, a lot of people were. Oh, that kicked off a hype train. We'll see if that goes anywhere. We have a lot of media shares right now. The uh, like, what was I gonna say? The the thing about it is that people made it out to be a way worse thing than it actually is. Like, people were like, "Oh no, if it detects that you're doing something wrong, it kicks you out of the story." No, you just rewind it, and it's fine. Like, you can work around it. Sometimes it sucks, but for the most part, it's for the it's for the best. Goat pushes Oinky into Farmer Purse, causing the farmer to fall forward and hit his head on a brick. He is knocked unconscious. <laughs> Oops, Goat says, are you okay, sir? But it's too late. You and your buddies back away slowly and then take off running. Oh no, what did we just do? Oh god. We killed the farmer one way or we another. We didn't kill him, well, he's he might, just unconscious. He might be alive. He could be bleeding out. He could be concussed. We're going to have to do a weekend at Bernie situation. You think you knife so? Weekend at Pursts. Thank you for both for the gift sub. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, the days go by. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No! What? <laughs> 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 Shit. <Nice>. Whatever. <laughs> Just retire. Yo, I just some guilty gear. I just gear right now. Exposed. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> If you can catch oh. me, I'll. I can catch you. He's, he's practicing combos right now. <laughs> Thank you, True Nemesis variant. For the resoup. Resoup. The resoup. Yeah. Souped again. This is literally the plot of one of the episodes of the TV show. Yeah, it's true. Was it? Okay. I don't remember them pointing a gun at anyone. The days go by. Barn Owl does not return to the farm for a while because Barn Owls are not actually farm animals. He comes <laughs> back a week after the Purst incident to see if you'll help him. Nobody will miss you, Barn Owl. You say, I think you know that. I know all I need to, Barn Owl says. That's, that, that's, that's not that's anything, you. so. Yeah. <laughs> he comes back a week after the Purst incident to see if everything is okay, and the farmer assures him that it is. The next morning, Barn Owl comes back. Something has changed about him. He's jittery, and his eyes stare off to the side. Uh -oh. You spoke to the what farmer? To Barn Owl? It's I guess. He spoke to the farmer. He wasn't supposed to talk to the farmer. Well, but the farmer assures him that he's okay. Maybe it's a situation where, like, Farmer Purse knows that all of his animals can talk, but, like, he doesn't care, and he just lets them keep thinking that, that he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> How come the farmer could talk to me? He was nice to us when we first came to the farm, or he explains. He gave us food and a place to sleep. 
I want what he has. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Marno is experiencing uh, a, a deep a deep seated desire. Rooster, you gotta talk him out of it. What is he thinking? Oh no. What the fuck? I'm in if you're in. <laughs> what about me, Goat asks. You don't have a gun, do you? Barnell asks. No. I, I want what he has. Barnell repeats. Oh, getting a little freaky with it. <laughs> at, at first, I thought the AI fucked up, but I realized it said he repeats it. He actually just repeated himself. My belly pig, is, pig says, hey, hey, come on, guys, what are we talking about here? What are you thinking of doing to old farmer? It's nothing, Barnowl says. You don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pressing enter. The day after, you throw your eggs at the farmer. Barnowl. <laughs> 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 oh, <are> what? <laughs> ever, ever since the night, he suggested stealing farmer for his possessions. He's had this wild look in his eye. Don't trust him. Oinky says you walk away from Barn Owl. We should stay away from him. You're probably right. Okay. I think Oinky's pulling the strings here. <laughs> I'll keep it with that. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to type this. But it did make me giggle. I was just going to type... <laughs> Go... Finds crack and smokes it. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put that. You could. But I thought it was funny enough to tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't really know. Banshee Strikes, we don't know what Barn Owl's plan is just yet. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I didn't type they're gonna, that. They're going to smoke crack before they kill the farmer. They're gonna <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's inappropriate. Kate's <laughs> <laughs> drugs, but does not consume them. Goat is in the middle of a long, one-sided conversation with Rooster while Rooster <laughs> looks around nervously. And then he says to me, he says, Rooster, I gotta take a piss. Rooster, I gotta take a piss. I guess Goat is now Italian. Amer <laughs> Italian American. You wanna keep that? And he says to me, he says, uh, You know what? Sure. No, actually, no. It shouldn't end no. with my character trying to leave the the scene. This is a terrible prompt, anyway. You and Oinky are sitting on the side of a country road, waiting for a ride. You're hungry and tired, but at least you're out of that awful place. Okay. What? I need a you that was a terrible need to, prompt. Yeah, so you need to... drugs. You I know. I'm sorry. I blanked out. Booker Man. Oh, this uh, is a brown no, note song. This is a song that makes you poop. What the hell? Because it's a Genesis song. <gasps> Why are you all betraying the farmer? I'm the only <laughs> one that cares. I want to steal everything the farmer owns. <laughs> you want to steal from the farmer? Go <laughs> ask himself out loud. That's crazy. I can't do that. Oinky begins to pace around you. <laughs> what? All the, I think there's a baby? gas leak in the barn or something. <laughs> all these animals are getting crazy. Reroll that, baby. Because I don't know uh, what the fuck. <laughs> look around nobody else seems to be in the mood to talk about what's going on so it's up to you maybe give it another input uh, yeah that's yeah. a that's a non-response we should definitely <laughs> stay away from him like he says in the middle of the night barnell creeps into the farmhouse and steals farmer purse shotgun again we just keep stealing his gun <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm glad i put it back after we yeah. knocked him out i guess that was important all right, it's Barn Owl's turn now. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's right after the game made him steal the gun. It's going to make <laughs> him repeat, I want what he has. Well, now he has. He has what he wants. Is it? I've never read it. Is this kind of like what Animal Farm, George Orwell? Is that no. what it's about? No. I think it's kind of like no. that. No, it's not. No. Mm, the animals didn't. 
The animals didn't just arbitrarily plot to steal from the farmers. Yeah, and they, I think they did. Crack, they smoke crack. They, they found crack, but did not consume it. George Orwell made sure to write about that. Barnell does not know how to load a shotgun. I just have to point and shoot, right? Barnell asks in surprise. You don't know how to load a shotgun, at Winky asks surprised. That's the most important part. <laughs> well, elaborate, Winky. Let's see. <laughs> Well, what's the next step? <laughs> you have to put in a canister of silver bullets. He only knows about, Wait, I don't he have only, to shoot he only knows about guns from werewolf stories, so he assumes the bullets <laughs> need to be silver. Nope, you just have to scare the hell out of the farm, bro, he says. Silver bullets might kill the family. Or now nods and hides in the shadows until morning. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Okay, so you had the silver bullets? All right. Is, who, turn. is it my turn? Oh yeah. Yes. I, I forget constantly. To shoot this dude so hard his fucking family dies too. <laughs> Silver bullets be like that. It's fucked up. This is not about to kill the farmer music, but I'll take it. We're, no, we're gonna we're just gonna just we're gonna just scare gonna him. Scare him just right? gonna scare him. Yeah. That's what Oinky thinks, that naive fuck. <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. The next morning, all the animals hear three loud bangs coming from the farmhouse. What was that? Ghost asks. Goat <laughs> goat Ghost. asks alert. I think I just heard gunshots, Oinky says, standing up. Let me hit enter. Let's go check it out, you say. <laughs> when you arrive on the scene, you see a horrible scene. Barn Owl standing over Farmer Purse, who is lying on the ground, clutching his chest. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Yeah, yeah it's my turn. Barn Owl, how could you do it? Let's see, if it let, let's see if it lets me swear here. Hot Billy Pig falls with his to horror. Barn Owl, what have you done, you sick fuck? Really? Is his name really Barn Owl? <laughs> 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 guys, guys, Richard says, calm down. Are you out of your mind? Oinky says to Barn Owl, we were just going to scare him, not shoot him. <laughs> That's awesome. I need to yank out that really Bart. Uh, yeah, I could get rid of that. That's funny, but it doesn't need to be there for... Wait, oh, what the fuck? Hold on. What? It like, it, add, it took away a line break for some reason. I'm gonna hit enter. Well, I was gonna shoot at the lot of you, Barn Owl says, until I realized that the only life worth living is one where I don't have to share everything I have with a bunch of ungrateful animals who don't appreciate me. What the fuck? Jeez. All right. Frog's turn. I don't even know what to do. My character is pretty ancillary to this story. <laughs> well, you can get involved. Offer him some drugs. <laughs> Offer him the crack you found. Smoke this. <laughs> Smoke this. Keith, <laughs> 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 I just realized. <laughs> Go tackle Oinky to the ground and starts bubbling him. Thanks, you. Thanks, you. Whisper to Goat. Then you rush up to Barn Owl and tackle him to the ground before he can react. The shotgun flies from his grip. You both grapple for it, rolling back and forth in the dirt. Well, that's not really what I said. You can give do. it another. Give it another go if you want. No, no, no. Okay. Pop Billy Pig catches the shotgun and blasts Oinky away. <laughs> 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 You catch the shotgun and turn on Oinky, who raises his arms defensively and says, Wait, don't shoot! You raise the gun. Oh, you have, you have a chance. Well, no, but I already, I already, you didn't shoot Oinky. You gained two points. It does not want us to kill this fucking pig cow. <laughs> Oinky, <laughs> Oinky has plot armor. This is bullshit. Log, you, you take your turn now. You should, like, talk about this. <laughs> you should try to talk me into killing Oinky. Do it, he was manipulating me. 
He's the reason behind all of this. Yeah, Winky's god modding. What the fuck? The DM wants Oinky alive at all costs and will railroad the story. <laughs> He's the DMPC. <laughs> Barnell throws the silver bullets to Pig. Don't forget to use these. You stare at Barnell and snarl. Fine. What? Fine. He throws the bullets at you. You catch them and put them in your pocket. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... And put them in your... Edit it so it says you put them in your shotgun. Give me one reason why I shouldn't pull this trigger, Oinky. Pig says while loading the shotgun. Oinky trembles. I I don't know, Pig. The reason is we'd be down a person. Oh wait, what? The reason is we'd be down a person, and they just send someone else to kill us. The cat says from the shadows. There's a cat in the story now, I guess. No, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like the cat. Could be cool, but that's not their good answer. What do you think we should do to him? Retry? No. Oinky, explain. Isn't it enough that I helped raise you? Oinky asks, wiping the dirt <laughs> off his face. Pip is crying nearby, and Pip quickly puts the gun down. No, you didn't raise me, you fucking liar. <laughs> You're not my daddy. Pip is just from the show. No <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's fun. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I fucking love that. Give me one reason why not to. Cause don't do it. <laughs> he doesn't have he doesn't have any fucking idea. It's how worthless Oinky is. He can't even come up with a reason. <laughs> Fuck off, hold on. I'm gonna I'm taking I'm assuming direct control here. Why do we just believe that Oinky manipulated Barn Owl? Doesn't make any sense. Where did we get that idea from? Alright, Rooster <laughs> says, Do it, pig! Pull the trigger before you can manipulate what? anyone else! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, fuck off. It's just not, it can't kill Oinky! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rooster says, do it, Pig. Pull the trigger before he can manipulate anyone else. All right, all right. Hold on, Pig says, pausing to look at you. Oinky and, and Goat. Pig pulls the trigger and splatters Oinky all over the wall. It's over. Oinky is now dead. Anyone else? Pig says in a bored tone. Goat nods. So you realize, you realize his collar? <laughs> All right, you know what? You read it. I'm like, no, not, I'm so overwhelmed. So he releases cold collar and he holds you back. Wait, Oinky says he crawls away. Popular <laughs> Pig says, "Why won't you fucking die, Oinky?" Pig swings his weapon and ends Oinky's miserable existence with one swift blow. You, <laughs> <laughs> you stare at the limp body of Oinky. He's dead, and now you need a new plan. You stand up. <laughs> Go dances. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. God looks at you and says, "What are we gonna do?" I don't know. Sure, that's exactly farmer. what you fucking said. I can't believe Farmer Purse is dead. Well, actually, I don't even know. We haven't looked at him in a while. We've just been killing Oinky. <laughs> This music is not fitting, guys. You keep giving us happy shit. Go. <laughs> I'm glad the farmer is dead. I can eat all the tin cans I want. Me too, you reply. <laughs> Do you think you're feeling powerful now, little goat, you say, now that the farmer has been taken care of? Yeah, he says, <laughs> nodding his head. I don't know who's talking to me. Was that log? That sounds like that's probably Barn Owl. That sounds like it's a voice in my head. It could be that. You, could you be have been to talking to yourself a lot through this story. All right, Barn Owl, you were, the, you were the catalyst for all of this. What do you have to say about it?
Half full is the music queue? Pretty full, but we're going to shuffle it pretty soon. We've got a number of songs left. I guess it doesn't tell me the number in Media Share Plus, but one day it will. Huh. There's a repeat song in here. I wonder if that's intentional. Barn Owl goes to bed satisfied over a job well done. Yeah, I feel good. Good, <laughs> say. We're going to have to get some sleep soon, too. We got a big day tomorrow. We better go nods. We, what you gain no do? points. I don't know. A little quiet. I could boost them a bit. They're, they're meant to be quiet because it, it doesn't want to overpower our voices. But I can boost it a tiny bit. It's very hard to control a YouTube bar. All right, Gerd, it's your turn. Yep, I got something. In I don't know. Every in the find I have no idea. Rooster says, <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. He goes upstairs and falls asleep in the farmer's bed. You and Goat slowly walk into the basement. What? Fuck off. I like that. No, no wait. No! I like. No, that was like something that was happening. Restore that. Restore. Oh, fine. Here, we'll change. We'll change it. Wait, what? No, it, wait. Huh? Yeah, it's fine. Well, what, what is you and go ahead to the barn? Just remove that last yeah, part. The, uh, yeah, here's like what I'm going to see what's I'm gonna going on. So Rooster, I'm going I'm to do this. Rooster goes to sleep. The bed is big and comfortable. Meanwhile, let's say, uh, let's say pig, pig and, and goat. Because Barn Owl yeah. and, and Rooster went to bed. Yeah. Pig and goat slowly walk into the basement. Behind a desk, you see a strange device covered by a blue tarp. You fling it away to reveal a large machine. You stare at it in awe. Okay. Do do we want to press enter? Oh, yeah. I would. I want to see what the fucking machine is. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm pressing enter. Yeah. Did it skip your song? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, here we go. Why did it skip a song? I didn't notice the song get skipped. I don't think it did. Rooster says, I know exactly what I'm doing. He goes upstairs and falls asleep in the farmer's bed. Rooster goes to sleep. The bed is big and comfortable. Meanwhile, pig and goat slowly walk into the basement. Behind a desk, you see a strange device covered by a blue tarp. You fling it away to reveal a large machine. You stare at it in awe. Goat catches a glance at it and says, what the hell is that? Well, no, you say. You think it has anything to do with the, you know, time traveling? <laughs> Did we think? Yeah, the you fucking know. You know, the time traveling. Thank you, Poji. Uh, uh, I have an idea. Traveling isn't real. Pig scoffs, getting inside the machine. Look, I'm gonna get in, press the button, and nothing's gonna happen to me. Big whoop. Pig presses the button, and the machine whirs on. It begins to take its toll on Pig, who begins aging rapidly. The noise is unbearable. <laughs> After a few minutes, he's an old man, and then he dies. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, you say, shielding your eyes? Wow. <laughs> well, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm out of the story. <laughs> Wait, who said Jesus Christ? Uh, one of you guys. I'm dead. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> me next, Goat says, jumping in the machine. I hope it takes me to Roman times. <laughs> 
<laughs> it took him the Roman time. After a few minutes, it becomes quiet. When you look again, goat has disappeared. Why did it kill me and then go away? <laughs> I don't know. Pig physiology was not meant to travel through time, but goats are fine. <clears throat> This is, so someone pointed out, this song is a repeat, but I think this one was just donated for twice. There's no other repeats in the queue. Now here's Barn Owl. Barn Owl turns to Rooster. Now it's just you and me, and I'm about tired of you. Great, he mutters. So are we really going to build a new life in a place we don't know, you ask? A life where we can't even trust the people around us? You're right. It's a bad idea. Lose one point. <laughs> Damn. Even the AI is swearing at me. But we can't swear. We can't swear back. The dark story. We'll be fine, he says. Now stop your bitching. You smirk and begin to head upstairs. Hang on, Barn Owl calls. What's it gonna say? What is happening? I'm just curious. Did you really kill the farmer? No, I did. You stop and turn to look at him. Yeah, you reply. But it was an accident. Barnell stares at you. This Maybe is Barnell confusing. Didn't actually Whatever. Kill the farmer. Who are Whatever. you talking to? Somebody You're else like... take your turn. Wait, I see. Maybe re-roll that because that didn't make any sense. Oh, I you can killed the it. farmer. Just re no, just re-roll it. I, I can I can fix it. Don't worry. No. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. We're not finished yet. <laughs> you stop in your tracks and turn around. <laughs> what now? I'm not done. He grumbles. Shut up and listen. Is he going to reveal his motivation? <laughs> right now it says, a wawahaba. You stand there in silence. You hear a beeping sound and you look down at your phone. The time reads 1245. <laughs> what? You ask? I hacked the machine. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh... Okay. Looking at it, chat, people who are con concerned about skipping, I'm looking at the Streamlabs queue order. It's not representative of the order with which I received them in MediaShare Plus. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, because after the Bust of Groove song, Seat Shandy 2 did not play yet. That's still yet to come. Unless it skipped that. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Rooster runs down to the time machine and attempts to travel to the future. Hacking failed, the machine <laughs> sputters. Use a key to travel to the future. Hold on. <laughs> They might be blocked. That's the only thing I can think of. You grab, you grab the large key off the table, pocketing it. What? No, 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 no. I want to use the key. God damn it. Reroll again. Just keep doing it. I'm going to keep rerolling. Okay, here we go. The back of the machine opens up to reveal a large key. You stare at it confused. That's the future key, Rooster laughs. <laughs> Are you serious, you ask? Pig's ghost appears before Rooster. Time travel isn't real, his ghastly voice echoes. You don't need a time machine, you just need the future key, he says. This machine isn't really hacked. The only thing that the future can do is bring death. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> oh man. I miss goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we'll find out where goat is. What happened to goat? Goat appears in a flash of light, dressed as a Roman legionary. Wow, what an amazing adventure. I can't wait to tell all of my friends. 
What adventure, you ask? Go <laughs> smiles and clings a small ball of flame. In his head, which he then touches to the wooden table. I set this place on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a fucking 12 ounce mouse episode that's a that's a great non sequitur <laughs> this like weird like pacing like like in between the slowest like glacial pace and then just like complete random bullshit happening this remembers the adventure song? now it's good what the fuck remembers the adventure now <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you remember the adventure now, and it went like this. You were back in first grade, and you and your friends agreed to set the teacher on fire during a reading contest. <laughs> what is a reading contest? <laughs> Who can read the best? You can finish the book. <laughs> Fastest. You were in first grade during Roman times. <laughs> I guess. Weird. Weird. <laughs> I think we're hitting a wall here. <laughs> what, is, what is a reading contest? <laughs> I didn't even think about that until I double I doubled over it. Goat goat. <laughs> goat goat begins the reading contest. Ripping books and that with his bare hands. Goat's time apparently hasn't been used up just yet. The fire department rushes over to the school, but they seem to be too busy with a massive oil tanker that has crashed and is leaking oil into the bay. <laughs> Maybe we should be careful, because I think now the, the AI is going to be like... I'm just... I'm, I'm Now I'm confused. I was saying the AI is going to be confused, but it's just me. The crowd of kids and teachers have driven the firemen away, <laughs> too concerned with reading, so the school begins to burn. What? You have to do something. A feeling in your gut tells you not to simply stand around watching the building burn down. <laughs> the ghost of Pig appears in Goat's Adventure. The school is on fire. <laughs> he says, excited. Then he looks at you and winces, and feces, he adds. You smirk <laughs> as the inside of the school is burned down to a crisp. <laughs> By now, there's a second grade instead. By now, enters the school and finds himself surrounded by sobbing children. The firemen have already left, but he hears the screams of a girl from a cla classroom across the hall. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. Can we go back a bit? Like we we like we we spent too much time in this time travel story that was supposed to be in Roman times, mind you, and we're now in like a elementary school. <laughs> it's fucked. <laughs> I say, can we? Can I rewind it? Like six prompts. <laughs> I think I? we're about ready to move on from this story. No, I feel like there's more we could do here. What? <laughs> they cry harder. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you run over to the door but you're stuck in first grade first grade this is the future you have made for these children pigs go first shots. grade they first can grade never leave first old. grade Wait, what first grade is the only grade you can't get out of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You are all ghosts now, Pig's ghost says. Let's play a game. It all comes full circle. All of reality rips into tinier pieces and is replaced with a more parable landscape. Instead of the burning wreckage of first grade, you find yourself in a middle school hallway. Yeah, barn animals go to school now. Fuck yeah. I think everything's fine. Go school. Goat goes to algebra. <laughs> Who let this kid in here? Hey, that kind of works. No! <laughs> <laughs> we should do a Saw story. <laughs> we did! We did that on the 420 stream, don't you remember? That's where Jigsaw said insanity is my oh, yeah, masterpiece. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. I mean, we could do like an, that was like a like a fantasy story that got like canned into a Saw story. We could we could do an actual one. <laughs> Pigeons fly out of the TV and write the words. <laughs> the end is near on the classroom blackboard. That's a pretty cool visual. It's. <laughs> It's goat. It's goat. <laughs> <laughs> you leap forward and break the teacher's neck. The school burns down just like Pig wanted, but you're too weak to jump back to your own time. In the future, people will forget you ever existed. George Perez goes and appears before you. I hate you fucking animals. Oh, that's not going to work. Right. Gosh dang. Much better. It goes pushes you backwards into the fire. <laughs> the end. Woohoo! This is gonna get caught. It's a parody. Whatever. Oh no, wait, this is this is a good this is a fine one. Top 10 things the animals stole from Farmer Purst. I say we hang out here, we uh, do some top 10s, then we move on to the next story. His wife. <laughs> <laughs> which which animal nice. stole his wife? Which. Damn. <laughs> his first born child. Little smile. <laughs> Her name was Fanny. Uh, stole a big old smile. Cooked they cooked him. <laughs> Damn. His life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man his favorite pipe I wonder where his pipe is gone someone else do a top 10 I did that one I got it <laughs> <laughs> when I saved the top of the that sucks well, Goat did do that in the story. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's a new town name for anyone Goat that needs one. Goat did all these things. Count Laundradine. Longardine. And took his lands. Took his lands. <laughs> the demon lord of gambling. And the our number one our, goat moment. Our Magnacken. You're a winner, kid. <laughs> Make the force, force them, to, them watch to watch the, the goat, goat movie. movie. <laughs> Make, them, Make play them play with, with teeth. teeth. <laughs> Capitalized. I love with teeth. With teeth. <laughs> Flame on. <laughs> Flame on. Make them play a few rounds of COD Modern Warfare 2 if you haven't played it. This <laughs> and cool. the number two. And the number one. <laughs> way. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Kilia Chiris. Top 10 ways Oinky could have died.
from all the whiskey and drugs he put in his body. <laughs> he could have choked on a chicken bone. He could have slipped in the shower, hit his head, fallen, and cracked his head open. These are all Verbose. ways Winky could have died. I don't think Winky used showers. He could have drowned in a pool of boar saliva he was drowning in. He could have been crushed <laughs> by a of rabid mooing cows. He could have spontaneously combusted from holding in his farts for too long. Okay. Damn. Who's writing this, a four-year-old? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He could have been mauled by the crowd of angry vegans that attacked him. I don't think vegans attack the animals that, that <laughs> vegans eat. attacking animals is very strange. <laughs> Wait, he could have been choked to death on the medal he was awarded for what? For meritorious actions. <laughs> <laughs> he could have choked to death on his own vomit due to the shock of winning this contest. <laughs> hey, we've completed, we've completed task eight point eight. Eight point eight. Next top ten list. PETA does exist. But PETA, PETA's illegitimate. PETA's fucked up. Fuck. Top 10 guns that shot the farmer. What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I think you should back up a bit to Rugrat fails. Oops. Whatever. You just gotta add a colon. This is a terrible prompt, anyway. He didn't have enough money to buy the blueprints to create a flying machine, so we tried to bribe the harbor. What? Who? Tommy. It went straight from 10 to 7. This prompt sucks. Somebody do a different one. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't like the word suck. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, I, got it, I got it. I got it. I got stink. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Stink. And they live in a crumbling crime ridden <laughs> city. <laughs> All they do is play video games and eat chips. To their credit, they do throw the fucking empties rugrats. away. Smiley they face. They never go to school. These fucking babies never go to school. Whenever fucking they're in idiots. danger, an angel comes down and <laughs> saves them. <laughs> fucking lame. <laughs> 12 year old on a van. <laughs> Illegal. Illegal. No skin colors. They all basically have the same skin color. That's not true. The Rugrats That's were not, not diverse true. enough. That's not true. It's like. Most of them are white. I just realized there was two sixes and no seven. There's ten kids and no parents. <laughs> this is a weird version of the Rugrats where there's way more babies and no adults. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> pathetic little lives. Top 10 reasons I hate Nickelodeon's Doug. I hate the way his eyes are always as big as a freaking golf ball. Who writes this crap? A four-year-old? The majority of the title cards are unbelievably pathetic. Doug was known for its pathetic title cards. <laughs> Where the heck are his parents? It's a short. Why the heck do I have to suffer through his entire 40-minute block for the last 15 minutes? What? <laughs> The title is misleading. It wasn't actually about Doug at all. <laughs> That's the funniest one. A creepy narrator follows him around in an attempt to be hip and cool, but ultimately fails epically at it. I hate when he fails epically. He's not funny. It was replaced with friggin' Blue's Clues. Okay. <laughs> We're completing all these tasks, at least. Apparently, it wanted us to do it. Whoa. It's giving wow. us full full explanations. Yeah, yeah. This is just uh, this is just interesting. I think the Shroud of Turin is a real thing. These might just, just be it, real things. I think that was just an accurate description of the Shroud of Turin. Okay, we, I have an idea. Just, we might just learn things.
top 10 insane events with no explanation from the year 2025. <laughs> <laughs> All men and women turn, must turn themselves into government enslavement facilities in order to help the ongoing matter of global warming. <laughs> oh god the fucking whiplash is we can a falling meteor <laughs> all right we need to do more events from the future all american citizens are forced to end all individual firearms under the penalty of law a large person of boston is quarantined due to an outbreak of smallpox <laughs> Bro, the fucking 2025 smallpox outbreak of, of Boston. The owner of the world's collection of largest pornographic material attempts to donate to a museum, but is refused. <laughs> <But> is refused. <laughs> An unexplained incident. An insane event with no explanation. They're new zero gravity toilets. What is that? Do you like float? Space commode company. The newly deceased Count Dracula <laughs> <laughs> rests uneasily in his grave after his coffin is accidentally unearthed during a routine weekend grave excavation. And then everyone fucking, most insane event of the year. Fucking Dracula's US. coming back. <laughs> Dracula's coming back in 2025. Well, no, he just died. A U.S. super tanker is purchased by the newly formed country of Morocco, threatening to unleash a wave of pesticides on European countries unless their exorbitant prices for basic foodstuffs are met. All right, let's try. That's, that is a pretty insane event. Top 10 absolutely crazy events of 2027 with no explanation. <laughs> these are like, I'm writing these terribly. But it works. No alcohol is sold anywhere in the world, ever. As a result of global warming, Earth has been forced to declare war on Mars and won. Yeah, fuck you, Russ! <laughs> kind of style, it's 80 million. Isn't it already way, way, way past yeah, It got re-uploaded. Gangnam Style 2. Gangnam There's Style has like it's 4 <laughs> billion views. It's Miley Cyrus oh, and Nicki Minaj in the same video. Oh. All strains of the influenza virus have become airborne, killing over 400,000 people in a week. Oh, oh my no. God. They're already airborne. Oh, my God. It's super airborne now. It moves between countries. Oh, I'm going to piss myself. Tobacco is added to the list of illegal narcotics alongside marijuana and ecstasy. We, large, we went large backwards. <laughs> we re criminalized marijuana and also made tobacco illegal. <laughs> Look at number five. Large groups of people could not remember where they were or what they were doing when 9 11 happened. Someone stole the memories. They, they they forgot the 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 heartless or sorry the nobodies no one can stop talking about super batteries <laughs> that can last up to 14 days without charging uh that already happened <laughs> a newly created form of communication makes phone calls a thing of the past okay good i hate phone calls what the fuck what the fuck? Okay, Jeez. that's fucking crazy. That, I hope that, that doesn't that happen. That is an absolutely <laughs> crazy event with no explanation. <laughs> All right. Top 10 final moments of 2030. All male adults are cleared to enter female <laughs> And all female don't get entered male. Fuck yeah, trans rights. <laughs> Nine <laughs> through one, what? You, you completed, completed the sacred the chocolate, chocolate rule. <laughs> Top oh. ten sacred chocolate rules. Okay. <clears throat> Never eat chocolate around the Frala girls. Always miss people of merry chocolate season. Never throw away chocolates that have a creamy filling. <laughs> Never spurn an offering from God. <laughs> wow. Never eat the last chocolate on a plate. Always favor the right when going down a hallway. Always choose strawberry sauce for your pancakes. Oh, that's all a chocolate rule? All after dinner mints. <laughs> that's the whole rule. Are sacred. <laughs> <laughs> Never hurt anyone who does not break one of the sacred chocolate rules. So if you break one of the sacred chocolate rules, it's like you're just free to attack. Mm -hmm. Mm 
All right, this one's really bullshit. Top 10 wild and crazy events of 2031 that everyone hated or loved. <laughs> <laughs> Snooki retires at the right age of 22 <laughs> after a brutal slaying in Tokyo. What? Snooki? <laughs> Not so <laughs> Kills himself when his scooter runs out of fuel. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is um, like a bizarre other universe. A girl runs out in a big batch of toothpaste. All healthy, oh my gosh, could you imagine children. a girl drowns in toothpaste and everybody collectively decides we don't want to brush our teeth anymore? All healthy, obese children become permanently bad ridden after their bodies change to a liquid form. This is a wild, and, these are that. wild and crazy events. <laughs> You're not I, I hate or love this. The only law enforcement agency left in the world is created. After a brutal gang attack, all able bodied men are required to have their right leg amputated in order to own a gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I guess. <laughs> that was all the problem. Yo, someone donated <laughs> for 45 minutes of potion shop sounds. We're going to move on. That's working time machines. <laughs> someone else do one. I did the last like six. Yeah, I, I got one. Like I got these. one. I got one. They're good. I, I mean, one. we can keep up this theme. I want to come a little closer to home. Oh shit. Uh oh. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Yes! That's what I'm fucking talking about. They finally got him. New York is fired <laughs> for state. <laughs> All hot air balloons. New York is now two states. <laughs> All males over the age of 18 must get a man wife or risk arrest. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know, but. Uh, man that. wife? Everybody requires a male wife. Leeches become very popular after a reality show increases their public image. <laughs> I feel like that could happen. New York Stock Exchange is shut down after plummeting triple digits. Fanning packs are outlawed. <laughs> All 20 year olds to get death oh. sentence would be permanently exiled to Alaska Smeagol. Smeagol? <laughs> I like fanny packs are outlawed in 50 states. Luckily, New York has declared itself as also the 51st <laughs> state, so you can do it there. The earth is hit by a killer comet, killing off the polar bears, diners, and pixies. Oh, that's why we don't have any pixies anymore. All libraries are slowly becoming mansions. All news reported in 2008 turns out to be false. The housing crisis <laughs> it was wasn't all real. Wrong. It wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> All stock exchanges are taken over by the amulet industry. Yes, fuck yes! <laughs> Cursed amulets are in, Jesus. baby. The sun goes becomes... out and all hell breaks loose on Earth. <laughs> the pixies are dead. That's At least wild. we still fairies. <laughs> Ferris wheels become sentient and kill all <laughs> human beings. <laughs> Fuck, remember in 2015 when all the Ferris wheels came to life and started attacking? I feel like Ferris wheels coming to life and attacking people is like an episode of the Powerpuff Girls. Top 10 news events in 2008 that were actually lies. The Pope was actually a woman this whole time. China finally allows freedom of speech. World peace achieved, no war ever since. No AIDS war cure ever finally since. invented by accident. Well, these are all lies. Oh, wait, so. these are all lies. None of this happened. Sorry, real. guys. All criminals now only face life in prison. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a lie. Re election of George W. Bush in 2004. That was, it a, was lie. a lie. <laughs> it, was, yes. it wasn't real. Newborn babies must now be named after popular rappers. <laughs> no. Why isn't that true? Stalin finally brought to justice. Successful cloning. <laughs> <of Satan. laughs> Thank God. And the numero uno false news story of 2008. <laughs> oh, come on. Fuck! <laughs> is, is, these are known. No, these are good variations. Variation cocky or cock. Cunt variation. Back alley gravy pudding or back alley <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Back alley bitchery. That's not good. <laughs> Shit. Variation. Oh no. <laughs> no, <laughs> not <laughs> that. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Numbers two through five. one seven nine zero. <laughs> Numbers two through five. Banana. <laughs> 
<laughs> variation of French fry. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it's oh, oh yeah, we, it's better. really important that we train the AI on this. We're really helping it. <laughs> come, come. come. <laughs> Fillet me, mount me, or fucky elf. Fucky <laughs> elf. I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> That's a common theme of these. Fuck! 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 Trog! What? Trog? What? Why what the this fuck? Is like, this is not the first time that it's generated his name without any input from I'm us. I'm scared of AI Dungeon. Bulging blood letter, break like bone snapper, or the death <laughs> song of Ooglik. Well, there you go, Trog. There's oh, some variants God. of your name. All right. I'm going to go change my Steam <laughs> name to break like bone snapper, I guess. Top 10 New Year's resolutions. Overcome fear of height. Okay. I wonder if it'll give us one that's not reasonable. Watch less TV shows. Get over weight problem. Always desire to go hitchhiking in wagon or minivan. Be more honest with self and others. <laughs> Learn more about necromancy. <laughs> that is a good Chat, did anyone resolution. do that this year? Tell Grandma you love her more. Travel to exotic location. Bob, do you have any top ten lists for us? I've got one. New plague spreads across Antarctica. <laughs> well, that's good. I Iraq versus Iran versus War. Afghanistan versus Australia. How does that work? <laughs> FBI, FBI warning. warning for all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, fucked up, GM. What are you doing? <laughs> General Motors is my kind of. General Motors is. Really is and this is somehow I, this is I, somehow news for all. If you own a car, you're fucked. Al Qaeda has gotten their hands on you. <laughs> <laughs> Famous actor's plane goes down. Not that that's a real clickbait. They're that's not so even gonna tell sad. you which one. That's a Tumblr ad. Yeah. <laughs> Market ticker mistake. <laughs> These are all very realistic headlines. The big bubble. Whoa, U.S. German Whoa. probe smashes into moon. Woman Research gives birth just to chunks of dead scientists child? on surface. A new cure for cancer. <laughs> what well, gives birth a non-existent child? What? Most missed types of grammar in 26... Did it generate that? <clears throat> Which? Top 10 highest viewed YouTube videos in 2048. Oh, finally. Finally, we'll know. Here we go. George W. Bush is still an idiot from Viva 1A1. Pirates of the Roberts. George Lucas cries during <laughs> Star Wars Episode 3 viewing. I would watch that video. <laughs> he, he, goes, he goes back and realizes what he did. Darth Vader sings I'm a Smile. Darth Vader interview. God damn it. Darth Vader interview <laughs> most viewed YouTube video. Zombies in my backyard. Unboxing a crate of guns. David after dentist is still the... Is <laughs> still in but no, they took that down. They, they fucking, took that down. They NFT'd that shit. And number yeah. one, they, put, they, they brought reunited. it back in 2048. Happy reunion of a woman with missing daughter after 19 years. You've beaten the average American score on the centification quiz. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? That's not a word. It is now. Hey, Mira. Hey, what's up? I just woke up and all my friends are in here, so I have no choice but to be in here. We're just fucking around on AI Dungeon on stream. Top 10 least viewed YouTube do. videos of 2059. David F. Dennis. <laughs> what? Hey. Hey. hey, no, no, no. Unboxing a crate of guns. <laughs> Zerg Rush fail. Speeding car versus landmower. Lawn Fireman mower. Mike 01. It's a good name. How to sharp turn. Dilemma. <laughs> Dilemma. <laughs> what? <laughs> These are, these are the least these viewed are absolutely, YouTube videos. These could all be one view videos. How do I get spit roast? Am I <laughs> like Yarda Games 139. Congratulations. Congratulations. What's the next top 10? Congratulations. You won.
Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> she can instantly knows what I want to eat when I am in the grocery store. When I'm in the grocery store? <laughs> She can watch a recording of any movie, no matter how boring. I know exactly what is going on. <laughs> I want to see more wife power. Are we sure that like a that like a nine year old didn't write this top ten list? Her computer wizardry makes Linux's head explode. She looks great in shorts. She cooks the best pork chops ever. Even though she watches sports, she still knows nothing about them. <laughs> that, that makes her epic. That's epic. This is my epic <laughs> wife. She beats me at everything except sports, even though she knows nothing about them. Her listening to 20 hours of opera music a day makes her instantly cool. Damn, that was all just about me. <laughs> Top 10 supernatural powers my wife uses on me. She instantly knows what I want to eat. Hold on, that's the same. Chokes my every time I try to flirt with another woman. Sometimes instantaneously blocks me into my chair whenever I stand up to go get a snack. <laughs> takes away the TV's remote, so I can't change the channel whenever a boring sports show comes on. Makes me feel guilty whenever I hit that I want to raise at work. What the fuck? Damn, that's not... You gotta support your spouse. I mean, we do flirt with other women, apparently. Can read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> these computers and that, changes my grade so I can keep my drivers. <laughs> my okay. Not really a supernatural power. Definitely <laughs> that's a felony, a, though. Yo, that's a free Tumblr. That's not real. The the <laughs> <first grade. laughs> puts a spell on my GPS so it goes the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What if okay. the following is true and only one is true? <laughs> Ra a different kind of raising. <laughs> this is the most powerful wife. <laughs> That's a real <laughs> hacker move. What the hell is this tonight? What is this marriage dynamic? Hey. Facebook Abayerto. Well, you a hacker wife. Well, you've never asked for a list of top ten moves that you can do. <laughs> Change the password for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Damn. Only hackers this can do that. His wife is like talented, but very. Change the name of my Facebook. Very controlling. To cherished beloved girlfriend. So all my bros hit on her, thinking it's one of their own groupies. What? Changes all the settings of the house so everything is pink. That's sort of like a, I hate a my dual life. entry. Using this list to torture me. <laughs> I'm unsure if this is for real. Okay, hey now. Why does he keep mentioning that? Okay. I don't know. What's it's the okay. next one? Can I get a top 10 nude Dead by Daylight killers? That's good. Nude Dead by Daylight killers? Yeah, bro, that's what I said. <laughs> get your head out of the toilet. In a public place. <laughs> what? Well, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> Look, if that's how your relationship is. If that's what you guys are into. <laughs> come on. Why are they a 14-year-old wrote the, this. The moves that the wife does on us are appropriate, but these are all yeah. sexual. I can make her do my... The, this <laughs> is a 13-year-old. Yeah, this is like this is a kid. A kid who wrote this in their journal. These are all the cool things. My I wife can't do. Make my wife instantly wet. Ninja wrote that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Make sure give me a head in public. This first one's only partially correct. 
<laughs> why why are they nude? <laughs> the root chest. Baby barfed out. A <laughs> hundred? Why what? what? <laughs> oh, you got a hundred and one. They fucking wow. sped up the killer season chapter. T- Yo, Skitto the Clown is Yo. getting in. Owie. I love Owie. Oh, <laughs> oh my Owie. fucking face hurts. <laughs> Shadow Yonder, Shadow Ogre, Shadow Ogre, let's Shadow go, Ogre, dude! I can't believe we have to wait ten years for them to add Shadow Ogre. <laughs> Cloaca, <laughs> that's a terrible one. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> the Warden. Okay, that was only ten. These killers were discovered long after the launch of Dead by Daylight. Okay. Yeah, I mean it would be like that's how DLC works. <laughs> Oh god. I wanna play as Ow- Owie. Yeah, I wanna play as Owie and Shadow Ogre. Top 10 stupidest new killer perks and what they do. There is no way it's gonna know what the it fuck might, you're talking it might. about. Still, you literally can't be killed until the next round. It worked! <laughs> Bullseye 1, 2, 3. You can see the blood trails of other players and your own blood trail is easier to see. That's useless. That seems you re- bad. You regenerate 0.2% of your health every second you are attached to a survivor. A timer activates when you hit a milestone. They're getting lazy. A timer activates. How useful. (laughs) (laughs) It just you just get a clock. Twitch, you can see the shadow of a passed out survivor relative to the direction they're facing. Huh? It's uh it's Deerstalker. It's Deerstalker but for survivors. When you start a trial, all the generators are at fifty percent for the first ninety seconds. Holy shit, if they ever did something like that, I would go to the HQ and fucking. Doesn't that just ruin the game? I don't play Dead by Daylight, but that would be insane if they did that. Deja vu is just a real skill. After you die, you can continue to spectate and give redacted orders. The The traitors are are invisible invisible to you. you. Overscore live, don't worry, we're gonna we'll do another story. Ebony and Ivory, you can toggle between seeing all the survivors of just your allies. Why is it named after Dante? <laughs> yeah. Here. Cause they're gonna put in Dante and Virgil. Here we it's fucking a prediction. go. Here That's we not, but go. that is a real character. <laughs> Son, go on. Well, it's Ivory, saying it's saying it wants them to be real in real life, like not real oh, in the I story. See. This kid could be trained in just a few days. Tia <laughs> took down Warrior dozens took down of zombies. Dozens of zombie types with nothing but <laughs> hands and sword. later his triple sword. Remember Tien's triple sword? This guy just improved every time he was in a fight with his cunning and strange techniques. He probably would become the most intelligent and manipulative fighter. You know? Nobody has ever said that about Krillin. I don't know. Yeah, they're just dead. <laughs> I wish Mr. Zane was real. I'm probably wondering why a joke character is on this list. Look at me closer. Rocco? His fame and fortune, yes, yeah. it is, originated from the fight between Gorge and Bill. <laughs> Gorge and Bill? When he unintentionally tricked the two into settling their fight in a ring. I don't remember that in Dragon Ball, but... Oh, you know. Fake fan. Oh Nail, my god, there we a go. A potent warrior, even without his huge size advantage. You could probably make the argument that he'd be OP with his size advantage. Okay. He's, he's, he's a normal else. size. He could go super dynamic. He gets big. <laughs> he was the most. Dende was the most powerful warrior in the universe. <laughs> That's through. bullshit. Yeah, Dende. An argument can be made for her, I suppose. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, I guess. Oob, yeah, I wish Oob was real. I yeah, really wish Oob was real. the best character in fucking Dragon Ball. Fuck off. After this, I think we should move on to one more story. Uh-oh. It doesn't know. It's too confused. I think we're, I think we're gonna move on. We've, we've, we've pushed it too hard. Yeah. Ugh. Alright. So, one more think- story with a custom prompt. What was I that? think I'm just going to be a spectator for this last one. Okay. Uh, Mira, it, Bal, uh, would any of you guys like to sub in for Gert? To, to chime in? Uh, I need to play Cowpokes. Hey, you don't, have to, you don't have to do that. You can play AI Dungeon. How about you, Bal? Uh, I'm like out of it. I'm sorry. Okay, then it's just me, Trog, and Lug. Do you want to try doing that world thing? At all? Oh yeah, maybe we could just maybe we could mess around with that. If, since if if you guys are tired, that's a that's a solo thing that you guys could just chime in on. Okay, yeah. so 
So AI Dungeon has a feature that we've never really messed around with on stream um, that we messed around with off stream. That's incredibly funny. Uh, it is the worlds feature. So we, we've tried this before, I think, where basically you pick a bunch of preset worlds and it's 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 like more fleshed out fantasy prompts. Uh, but there's something you can do with this worlds feature that is very fun. You can make your own worlds. Now, that just sounds as simple as like typing in a prompt, right? No, because what it does is it lets you AI generate different elements of the world. It's almost like making a more structured top 10 list uh, where you just like you make it come up with races like you you type in, OK, I want a fantasy race, uh, super clowns. And then it tells you what it thinks super clowns are. And it's really fun. Uh, let's go yeah. to worlds. <clears throat> and you can do you can do like races and classes and. Yeah, here's the world from last time. Banana. I don't know how we make a, a prequel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, what is the genre? It could be anything. The genre for banana was circus. <laughs> Chat, just type. Uh, just... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Applebee's. Restaurants. Restaurants. <laughs> Somebody said Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What? So the world's name is Grubstake. Your chooses a character from one of several occupations, such as farmhand, cook, or aristocrat. The player then gains control of the character's eating habits. The object of the <laughs> game is to beat out the competition by eating the most expensive food in the inn and gaining the most money and experience points. Uh, let's get mm. something else. Blimpy. Blimpy is a chain of fast food sandwich restaurants located all over the world. The player character is an employee of Blimpy, working at one of the thousands of locations that exist in the real world. The game takes place at a Blimpy near the top of the Empire State Building in New York City. Okay, now, let's go with that. I don't know if that's, like, fantastical enough. But it could get crazy. Okay, sure. All right, no, fuck, fuck it. Fantasy restaurants is the new is the new one. You can generate more than like, one. Like elf restaurants. <laughs> But this is going to make us eat elves. Sweetwaters. No, restaurants for elves. Sweetwaters is a small family-owned restaurant that has recently expanded into the town of Elwood, much to the surprise of the long-standing large-chain food provider. With great food, said to be to die for, and amazing service, Sweetwaters is quickly building a reputation as one of the best places to enjoy a meal. World of babies. <laughs> what? Nachalier. Nachalier is a world of destruction and creation, a world where unborn children run rampant and create a new world in the ashes of old. When a baby is born, it immediately becomes self-aware, but it has limited control of its body. The body is a magical thing to the baby, and they must begin to discover its powers for themselves. As the child grows, so do their powers. They are able to begin and influence the world around them, and eventually create new monsters in order to protect themselves. When the time comes, the children face each other in epic battles, their powers and monsters pitted against each other until eventually only one remains. I See, like it generates some weird wild shit. Of Pokemon. Uh, it's similar, but it's not really the same. All right, we'll keep that one there. That one's interesting. What's the next genre? Do do, do circus again. See what it comes up with. <laughs> Baby Royale. Acrith is a world filled with eternal war and pain. This is a circus story, not that. <laughs> a storm rages around the planet, raging above the floating islands in the endless sky above. Within the storm, the gods plot and scheme against one another, and in the shadows beneath the storms, demons grow in power. What does this have to do with a circus? Put, do, do like funny circus. <laughs> Give me a funny circus world. I want a funny circus world. Ruckus. A world where puppeteers claw at society's seams, trying to kick, punch, and pull their way into the light. The people of Ruckus fear and despise the gauntleted men. The powerful puppet oh, government shit. employ a few to control the masses, but most puppeteers lead small lives of obscurity and poverty, never knowing a steady paycheck or even a bed to sleep in. That's kind of cool. That's, really that's funny, that's but like I like Bell. the concept of the gauntleted men. We got Pokemon here and Zatch Bell here. Is that it, what that's called? It's, uh, it's Zatch Bell combined with the typical adventure type fare. All right, next one. Scary worm uh, story. I'm taking that one from chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Amera is a strange underworld world, the home to a wide variety of strange creatures, giants, and the undead. Amera is a flat world with no ground, no sky, and only moving water. The world is made up of large floating islands. Okay, that's nothing. Let's let's generate another scary worm story. Talking dog universe. <laughs> Hold on, I want another scary worm story. Just like regular AI dungeons, sometimes it just kind of ignores you. Whoa. The latest twin suns beat down on the land, turning the sand to glass and slowly consuming the surface of the world in a burning blanket of glass. The land is a realm of constant dust. Nocturnal creatures prey on the unwary, and the air is filled with biting insects that attack the flesh. The mysterious masters of the desert have been recently encroaching on the west, attempting to be... Okay, that's cool, but that's not a scary worm story. That, is not a, that has nothing to do with worms. What did you just say, Trog? I said talking dog universe. <laughs> Why has it got to be universe? I don't know. Like, cinematic is a world should be of another talking noun dogs where the normal rules of our world have been skewed just enough to allow animals to speak. In this world, man is little more than a distant memory, and the only humans that remain are either kept as pets or used as farm animals for their milk. Uh-oh. 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 Farm animals for today? Uh-oh. Maybe no talking dog universe. Maybe no talking dog universe. <laughs> Jesus Christ, epic origin story. <laughs> Let's see what it does for that. Okay. Man, AI Dungeon sure knows how to surprise you. Zayshan is a world of endless and unstoppable war. This has nothing to do with Christ. All right, it next one. It? Next one. <clears throat> um... Dark Yogurt World says four arms. <laughs> okay, four arms, you're yeah. on a roll. <laughs> They also came up with Scary Worm Story. Yogurt is the childlike world of the skeletons. <laughs> 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 they live in the cold, dark recesses of the world, far from the warm sun and the surface. They are simple people, and they have few worries. Much of their existence is spent playing in the snow or wandering the frigid countryside looking for things to nibble. <laughs> <laughs> the skeletons are also great thinkers, and they love to lay in the hot sun and ponder the world and contemplate the meaning of life. Some skeletons become philosophers, spending their lifetime trying to find a way to break the eternal cycle of death and rebirth. I'm going to take this wow, one. I got deep there at the end. Can I you think... just put in kingdom farts and see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> this could be potentially devastating. If it is, I apologize. Tassia is a world of adventure and terrible foes. This has nothing to do with farts. Let's try one right, more time. That's or good. Kingdom Hearts, either. The Kingdom of War is a world of fantastic technological advances and brutal warfare. Nothing to do with farts. The King Dawn. Okay, so no, no Kingdom Farts. Uh, what's That's next? Fine. That's probably for the best. Uh, how about Designer Pizza? <laughs> This song is really good. Oh, this is from Professor Layton. Okay. Supremes. Yeah, the Professor head of Layton state of the great. world's most powerful corporations are known as the Supremes. These men and women who hold all the power in the world reside in a place known only as the top. That's cool. That's a good name. Uh, the Supremes who rule this new world government are the wealthiest. This has nothing to do with pizza. <laughs> no, keep you reading. No, I, I read it. I could see it had nothing to do with pizza. It Aww. was cool, though. Uh, stinky That's Smells. Very... That's a very young adult fiction. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. To be fair, this AI is probably trained exclusively Fed on Air is novels. a world ruled by a single entity, the Great Stench, which floats above the world <laughs> on a layer of foul gases and stinky smells. The Great Stench is formed for oppressive government and demands that all citizens shower and bathe at least once a day or face incarceration in a stinky prison. Upon release, citizens are forced to wear fragrance masks or have their tongues removed. <laughs> oh, shit. Bastard. Intense. Bastard, but um, you want bastard? I want bastard, bastard world. What is a bastard world? Neko Samurai is a world of deadly but beautiful cats. Okay, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Animals with great magic powers. That's like the that's like a 12 year old's mom. The most basic. <laughs> um, I want. Giant baby party world. We already did a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want. Can I get like, uh, coming of age, 
candy story. Hold on. Oh, I saw what you talked about. Egg Bentos is an interstellar fast food empire. The Egg Bentos restaurant has expanded into space. What does that have to do with the binging of Babish? I guess it knows that Babish does food. Binging with Babish. Uh, okay. Coming of Ultra Age Church. candy story? Is that what you said? Yeah. I'm going to change that to tail. The Smurferton is a magical world full of beauty, wonder, friendship, and discovery. The forests and glades of the Smurferton are a never-ending wonderland of adventure. But the only thing you need to know is what's closest to your heart. That's just the Smurfs. Fuck off. <laughs> you, um... You, um... Do they live in Smurferton? Story. Evil Church? Yeah. Let me not put story. I don't think it likes that. Are we not? It didn't do scary worm story. It didn't like one world among many. Solovet is a world of science and magic. Uh, the church is more than okay. So that's very simple. It didn't like evil church. Yeah. Uh, try try very scary and confusing. <laughs> Bricolonia is a world torn apart by civil war between the royalists and the rebels. Whispers speak of the. This is nothing. This is lame. Let's pick one of those. These, one of these not... have so we can move on to the next category. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can do Talking Dog I like Universe. Stinky smells. Stinky smells is good. Talking Dog Universe. I kind of has... like yogurt with the I skeletons. Do... I like yogurt too. I like how skeletons nibble on things. That's like my favorite yeah. part of it. Hmm. How about funny? <laughs> sure. You know what, Rex? Funny. <laughs> funny. Oh, is Rex is Rex here? The character? Zan is an action-heavy, sword-fighting fantasy world. The protagonist Zan is a zombie who wanders the deserts of Zan seeking yay, one thing. Funny. Okay, it wasn't very funny. Zan, Sorry. Zan is the name of the place and the character. <laughs> <laughs> like Vegeta. Okay, World of Babies. I'm gonna say the ruckus one we're gonna get rid of. Uh yogurt is good. It's between one of these three. Chat, which one do you think we should pick? What do you like most here? Have a vote. Let's open a poll. Oh, oh, let me set that up. I like fed. I like fetid air. Which world do we pick? Uh, world of babies, dark yogurt world, or fetid air? Stinky smells. You have one minute to vote. Whoa. Overwhelming looking support like, for dark yogurt. Yeah, well, we're going to give it a little looking bit Looking like more a time. bit of a blowout here. Stinky smells is catching up. Is it, though? <laughs> Nobody likes World of Babies. Everyone's sleeping on World of Babies. SMH. SMH. All right, it looks like Dark Yogurt World's going to take it. What are those letters? All right, World of Babies and Stinky Smells has been removed. It is Dark Yogurt World. Let's go to the next stage. Let's go. Okay. So the first race in Dark Yogurt World is Skeleton. It has to be. Skeleton are not born. They are reborn again and again. Each time a skeleton is killed, it rises from the grave in 1d4 rounds. As long as they can find or steal a replacement set of armor. Because of their immortality, they have a blasé attitude, sometimes having a dazed or spaced outlook on their face. Should we re-roll that? Uh, it didn't mention anything yeah. about nippling. I don't I don't think it will. It might, Try it might man need to come up it. with a more interesting yeah. name than put, just put skeleton. In, uh, you know, maybe we oh, do different God. classes of skeleton. The skeletons are yeah, very diverse. Because it said they're the, all skeletons, you know? They are born in the cold recesses of the world and menaced by beasts and machinery alike. They are not a race of warriors, and so they rely on stealth and trickery to survive within the hard landscape of yogurt. Even the least of offensive skeletons are dangerous, as they're able to wrap their bones with webs, ensnaring their enemies. Okay, huh. that's kind of cool. cool. Here, they here's a race them. idea. Man crab. See if there's a nibbler type of skeleton. 
The nibblers are a skeleton-like people, but they are comprised mostly of stringy muscle and surrounds a loosely defined skeleton. Each member of the race finds a snowflake in their heart that represents their soul. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> they spend their entire lives searching for their snowflake, which they believe will help them avoid eternal death and rebirth. Okay, can you, that's kind of cool. Can you do a race called, uh, or is this race or I want, class? I want my man. I want my man crabs, man. Do do like do like juggler or something. Man, I'll do man crabs, then I'll do juggler. Despite being counted among the lower races, the man crabs are the largest and most physically imposing of the yogurt inhabitants, towering far above their humanoid counterparts. These near giant crabs are very seldom seen on the surface, instead preferring their cold, dark depths of the ocean floor. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's just that's just a real man crabs is a very normal thing. You have to give it weird stuff to get funny answers, yeah, like jugglers. Juggler. What are the jugglers? Dak -ak, I'll do that next. Jugglers are skeletons from yogurt who are developed a bit of an ego. Their main source of pride stems from their way with the bones. When you're constantly showered with the praise from other skeletons for being awesome and throwing around bones, you get a bit of a big head. The juggler is a natural leader and makes for a pretty decent skeleton. All right, well, if we're going That's silly, nice. they just put in poop jumper. Keebler elves was a chat suggestion. <laughs> Keebler elves are small in stature, but they are wise and mighty with magic. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> you didn't mention cookies. <laughs> you gotta mention cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Keebler elves are a simple people preferring a pastoral lifestyle. They are hard workers, farmers, and craftsmen. Keebler elves are stealthy and they have a well trained army. The elven oh military consists primarily of archers. They use bows and arrows made by the elves and they are very proficient with them. They are peaceful for the most part and they like to trade with outsiders. The elves have an aptitude for magic. Elves are not exclusive to Keebler. One more time. How about, um. I guess we're re rerolling that. Keebler one. elves, cookie lover. I'm adding that in there. <laughs> Keebler elves are a hearty bunch of tree elves. They spend much of their time scaling the great old growth trees, harvesting and commuting with nature. I mean, that's kind of true. They do nothing but bake cookies. There. Do, um, cookies. What's the next oh, one? Forgot what how, how about uh, how about bacterioids? <laughs> bacterioids. Bacterioids are the stunted, pus-ridden, bile-spewing, jaundice-skinned, grotesque little rodents that comprise oh, the yogurt shit. world. These are the creatures at the bottom of yogurt's food chain, and they have little hope of ever rising above it. Their only solution is to grow bigger, stronger, and faster than the competition. Most bacterioids are fearless fighters who will recklessly attack anything that poses even the slightest threat to them. Okay. All can right, you bacterioids do a, are a real threat. Can you do a moo moo like moo moo? Yeah, moo -moo? yeah. Moo moo. I think last time we did something like that, and it was great. Like, Moopies were dark Moomoo. magicians. <laughs> Moomoos are the calm, friendly cousins of the skeletons. Though their cousins gladly accept death as another life, the Moomoo believe death is an aberration that must be stopped. They are a peaceful <laughs> yet tenacious people who want to save the rest of the world from the madness of death and rebirth. The Moomoo believe that if they solve this mystery, they will save the entire world. Okay, that's cool. Pretty cool. I'll do poo-poo. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, P-O-U, P-O-U. Not too, too late. late. Poo-poos are the first race of yogurt and are therefore the most powerful. They are the guardians of yogurt and are tasked with keeping the land safe from intruders. Poo-poos are also capable of shaping primordial magic. They are able to create small rifts between dimensions and allow them to pull items or creatures through. Alright, so poo-poos <laughs> Someone said do Zavala. <laughs> Zavala. What are the Zavalas? See, that just sounds too much like a fantasy thing. Like, it's just gonna be whatever. Never know. Do biggies. Zavalin <laughs> are a race of long-eared humanoids that commonly live underground. Yeah, this is like this is just nothing. Yeah. Uh, do, biggies. Yeah. do biggies. 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 Frank, that's good. Biggies are tiny skeletons that roam the frigid lands near the surface. They are a terribly mischievous people and like to play games of deception. Biggies possess the ability to appear overwhelmingly large, whether they are standing above you in a blizzard or hiding in a tiny corner in a drafty old castle. This ability allows them to play pr pranks on their enemies or to sneak into tiny places. Well, I don't know about that last part, but that's kind of cool. Uh, Frank. Like the, like the guy from... Osmosis Jones. Frankenskulls are a curious lot. They are meant as a mockery of both humans and skeletons, but they are their own entity now. They are the product of power-hungry alchemists, and they are equally at home in the snow and sun. 
Uh, well, that's not what I said. I meant just Frank, like the guy. Put it in gum. Frank Jones. A full name. Frank Jones is an eight foot skeleton with arms that stretch to the ground. He is approximately 35 years old, but he has no concept of time. Frank is a pacifist by nature and never really learned how to fight, but he tries. So he's one of a kind. He's just a dude. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's great. Gum. Simpsons. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the Simpsons are the parody race of Alarathros. They are a family of humans that live in the small town of Springfield. Hey! <laughs> They're in the story. Wait a minute. They're the parody race. They're the joke race. All right, gum. The gumball people are an odd species in many ways. Unlike other nations of living things, the gumball are a single species of living things. The gumball are not divided by variety or species, and there, there are no differences in appearance, personality, or will between any of them. The gumball nation is ruled by the gumball council, a group of gumballs <laughs> chosen by the others to be the ultimate judges through death duels of what is right and wrong, yeah. and what is the ultimate fate Wait, of the but yogurt. they sound like a hive mind. Why do they need a, I don't like know. a leadership? I mean, maybe I each know. individual hive mind has different strengths. Like each individual. They don't have a They don't have like individual wills. Who knows? The gumball are a bizarre people. No one truly I, understands. I just say that describing the Simpsons as having varied abilities spread amongst <laughs> them is. <laughs> 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 Walter White is a human, you, um, a chemist who went from rags to riches by cooking up a dazzling new drug called Blue in his lab. The Walter hey, Whites are on. constantly attempting to up their drug game and stay one step ahead of the law, which has made a point to keep a close eye on any Walter White activity. <laughs> 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 Fucking heck, at the police meeting, we gotta watch. We gotta keep an eye out of that Walter White activity. <laughs> We've been acting kind of sus lately. Unlike I'm most humans. Hank Schroeder, then. Haraka Rap. Unlike most humans, the Walter Whites are highly skilled at manipulating primordial magic. <laughs> but, um, Hank nice. Schrader. But, um, okay, yeah. Yo, yo, Paraka. Hank Schrader is a hardball detective with a no-nonsense, straight-shooting, and steadfastly pragmatic attitude. Hank is a diligent investigator, working his cases with diligence and commitment to the point of obsession. Few criminals can evade him for long. Hank has no patience for flim-flam artists, and he is far more likely to go for the jugular than prolong a case with complicated investigations or court procedures. All right, Walter White, Hank Schrader. Metal Mario. Metal you, uh, <laughs> Apple, Apple haters. Hold on, Metal Mario, then we'll do Apple haters. Metal Mario. Go, Paraka. A rare mutation amongst the skeletal race, Metal Mario and Metal Luigi wear rubber suits that protect them from the heat of the sun. They exist in yogurt almost oh. as a higher race. They are thinkers and artists. Their skills are second to none, and they can craft intricate metal, metal sculptures. Okay. Uh, apple haters? I'm an apple hater. Let's clean this up a bit. Can I kill man crabs, or should we keep that? Yeah, kill them. Fuck them. That's boring. App the apples hate the skeletons. The skeletons stand no chance. They are less than insects to the dangerous apples. The apples are fast, and the skeletons are slow, like snails. Nobody knows why the skeleton hates the apples, but the skeletons do, and so do the apples. Now do apple uh, lovers. You know, it's, it's pretty good. It, it didn't sure see thing, apple boss. haters. It saw apple haters. Yeah. Apple lovers are skeletons. They are very militant, working tirelessly for the greater good of the world. They love to eat apples. <laughs> Their lives from birth are spent in military schools where they're taught the ways of war, but not how to fight. Huh? What? Okay, I really love this contradictory society. They're militant, but they can't fight. Uh, I really like the response we get with typing in specific people. What's okay? What's a name that we think it would know, but not really get what it is? Hmm. Uh, James Rolf. Maybe. Skeletons are naturally immune to fire. What does that have to do with James Rolf? <laughs> <laughs> it worked too well. Someone said Wayne Radio TV. It's a good idea. Like Demonologists are people who study demons. It can't even like read that. It needs some what words. Let's try Wayne Radio TV. 
It's going to be like a cybermancer or something. The race of Wayne Radio TV is diverse, as colorful as the radio waves the race was born from. The race was once one, but it has since splintered into several smaller ones. The unique expression of the different cultures within the race gives them an air of rock and roll and disco. <laughs> okay, let's try Balp. It's going to generate something real for Balp. Yeah. Balps are small, round creatures living in the depths of yogurt. They are jovial and fun-loving, but extremely defensive and protective of their small homes. The Balps who live on land are adept locksmiths who enjoy nothing more than a good treasure hunt. <laughs> they are also a bit of musicians, creating an array of instruments to play music with. That sound Pretty right, cool. Bal? Do us all. That's, that sounds like hobbits. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just dump all our names in there at this point. Trog. Trogs are like a, an actual like fantasy race. Troglodytes, gonna, yeah. yeah. See, that's... Uh, I'm gonna say trog. Do trog with two G's. Yeah. See if that gets it. Just keep slapping G's until it gets it. Trogs were once the same as skeletons, but in recent centuries drank some strange blue liquid that turned them into brutish creatures <laughs> they are now. They are now cave dwellers who spend their lives wallowing in the dark, who need to drink copious amounts of milk in order to survive. <laughs> 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 trogs are very fierce and are naturally inclined to fight and pillage. Even so, trogs treasure the yogurt that originally created them, and they spend much of their time traveling in search of it. Nice. That's a new interpretation of the, the word Tur, yogurt. Yeah. Master <laughs> Gur. Oh boy. Master Giraffes. Yeah. Again. Oh, it like filled it in. Why did Megalovania play for like one second? I didn't do a, that. That was the video. I keep saying giraffes. Yo, master. Yeah, just put like gurs. <laughs> master gurs are a cross between a cow and a giraffe. <laughs> just want to get that out of its They're, fucking what head. The fuck? They're large, lanky, and well productive. They have very long necks, and their heads look like a jumble of flesh and fleshy mushrooms atop a long, skinny neck. Gurs have a pair of Accurate. diminutive legs under their necks, and their mouths are in their chests, allowing them to feed on grass from the tops of tall trees. Huh? Master Gurs are peaceful creatures. They often wander around the world looking for places to graze. They just munch on grass and trees. What do you want? It's a simple people. Uh, Never had a scorpion. more accurate description of myself. Scorpion is a small orange humanoid creature with powerful claws and a fondness for fire. Scorpion's hatred of snow stems from the fact that it makes it difficult to see in the dark. Scorpion's eyes being black, it has difficulty seeing objects no matter how brightly they glow. Let's do another uh, one. That started yeah, good. Yeah, I just got confused better. by the end. Scorpies are a skeletal race that never finished growing into adults. They had a rough childhood where they were ostracized by other races and had to survive the harsh world scrabbling for food. Most of them have a fiery temper. Scorpies are agile in the air, but they have a hard time moving across the ground. Scorpies are great craftsmen. The Scorpies use their fiery breath to heat and forge the weapons they use to attack the surface. Okay. Uh, who haven't we done? Logmore. This song's got some weird mixing. It's bothering my right ear. Yeah. I gotta know. skip this. It's a good song, but it's, it's bugging me. Okay. Uh, next up is Logmore is the magic world of the gelatinous cubes. What? It's not a race. These alien intellects yeah. come from a very different world of the skeletons, yet they are the best of friends. In fact, they're so friendly that they often fight together to defend the yogurt world. The lovable jelly-like cubes are known as the Logmores for their love of taking a stroll through the woods and rolling around in the leaves and forest plants to collect berries. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, um... I got the most insulting one so far. Hollow tones? I don't know, it said I love milk. <laughs> you have to drink so... enough milk or you die! <laughs> <laughs> Hollow tones are the sound like made milk. when a person is being brutally ripped apart. Holly can confirm? I don't know if she's out there. Wait, are they also creatures? The hollow tone is heard from deep within the victim's body and is often accompanied by a deep creaking and groaning coming from the victim's That's own rib cage. Sick. Little else is known about these strange creatures since the only people who could see or hear them were immediately eaten by the hollow tones. So That's they're born sick. of a death row? That. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. 
Mira. Oh, God. Mira are a mystic race of night dwelling elf like creatures who have lived in the dark corners of Yogurt for many thousands of years. They are telepathic. Okay. That's not much of anything. But I feel like Mira is too generic of like, like it's not very yeah. specific. That could easily be a fantasy race. Uh, okay. We got the night dwelling, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh Fifis and Fofos. <laughs> See what the fuck this is. <laughs> Let's face it, there's nothing like a dog and their unconditional love they give for you. Fifis and Fofos are exactly that. They are big, fuzzy, and have a lot of energy. They crave excitement and love to roughhouse with each other. Fifis and Fofos, okay, so they're dogs. Fifis and Fofos are just dogs. Okay. Yay. Errarg, that's a good one. You should do Tungulus after Ararg. So many of our friends have just like monster names. Arargoth are powerful skeletons wielding gigantic weapons, crushing their enemies with each Whoa. blow. They live in two different environments, the surface and the caves. The surface Aragoth are a bit... Okay, that's just... Arargoth is a pretty good uh, continuation of Ararg, I will say. Arargs. The Erarg are ancient beings who are all tied together. Deep down in the earth, the Erarg are connected and know everything about each other. The Erarg communicate by burrowing through the earth, and they always know where each other are. Very little dread exists in the Erarg's world because they know that their <laughs> friends are nearby to help if needed. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's great. Uh, Tungulus. Tungulus. Our last friend. <laughs> The Tungulus are a small furry mammalian race. They are extremely timid and hide if ever found by others. The Tungulus breed erratically and live in small family units. They are hunters by nature, using their big eyes and powerful sense. Okay, so I want to stop doing like fantasy races and give it more nouns, because that's when it generates weird shit. Uh Fat Fuck. Candy Candy Suckers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm violent, can only think of swear words. Candy suckers are the skeletons that live above ground in yogurt. They love the warm sun and they hate to be cold. They have a sweet tooth and are always sucking on some kind of candy. Okay. They also love to play in the endless snow and ice of the world. Okay. Uh, someone said milkers earlier. <gasps> Milk walker. Not bad. Not bad. On yogurt, there are two kinds of creature, the skeletons and the milkers. The milkers are an odd creature, quite similar to their undead counterparts. They have the same look of death about them, but their skin is, their skin is so thin and translucent that the veins and bones underneath are clearly visible, giving the overall impression of a wet, rotten corpse. Milkers are very intelligent, and they, forward, they are forward-thinking, a welcome change from the stagnant, monotonous lifestyle of the skeletons. Doobie Dans. I remember I generated this one for our last world, and it was pretty damn good. <laughs> The Doobie Dans are perhaps the most influential. You know, this isn't really like giving me much of anything ever. Let's let's move on from braces. Let's see if we can get yeah. something funny with classes. Let's enable all of stuff. these. Yeah. Damn, we made a lot of them. It's a rich world. Populated world. One of them didn't make it. I guess, is, there a, is there a cap? Oh, no, no I'm like, I'm just overloading it. Chat, what's your favorite race of the world of the Simpsons? Yogurt? You like the Simpsons? Yeah. I like the bacteria. They exist as is. <laughs> okay, that's all our races. Oh, wait, apple lovers. Yeah. Next up gotta is have the classes. Okay. We, now, now we're thinking occupations. We want some funny ones. I don't care about making a good fantasy world. I just want to laugh. Crunker. Uh, I was gonna say miners, but never mind. Crunker Dunker.
No one knows who first invented the Krunker, but it has become an integral part of the Yogurthian culture. The game begins with a player throwing a large, heavy object, often a rock, at a smaller target. The target is often a small crevice or hole, not easily visible, buried in the snow. The goal is to bury the Krunker in the snow, with only the small pebble in the hole showing. The Krunker Dunker is responsible for retrieving the Krunker by any means necessary. The Krunkers often have the deadliest weapon in the game, the explosive Shurkinator. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's pretty fucking good. The, uh, hey... Hey, uh, yeah. uh, chat's Twitch streamer, but with an A instead of an E. Uh, it's probably gonna know what a Twitch streamer is. Twitch streamers are the celebrities of yogurt. They spend their days broadcasting yeah. themselves playing video games to millions of adoring fans. Some streamers specialize yeah. in a single game, but the superstars of yogurt are a jack of all trades, mm. streaming their game of choice one week and then another the next. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, priest with an A instead of an E, so Priost? That's what you said, right, Bell? Yeah. Let's see. Priest. Hmm, familiar song. Priests are herbalists, specializing in healing and the spiritual well-being of their people. They're, this is just, just priests. Oh, can, yeah, it I'm knows what a typo always. is, is the thing. You have to be very specific. Put in, put, in, put in three A's. Is this how you made Jesus, your name? Man. This better be good. They're taking my time here. Priost is the wise old skeleton who is always the first to admit he is a terrible adventurer. He is great at finding hidden doors, and he has a knack for escaping deadly traps with only minor injuries. He loves his friends. This is a person, not a class. Wow. Uh, Jube Jubber. Krunker Dunker was, got a pretty good result, so let's just give it more gibberish. <laughs> yeah. Do, I think I'm do it Lonely Trumpeteer. To, like, latch onto. That's when it's like the most creative. Mm. Joob jubbers are the only non-skeletal beings of yogurt. They form the upper class of society, having attained the privilege of joining the skeleton king. That's not a class. Uh, what did you say? Someone just said something. I said lonely trumpeteer. Uh. Lonely Trumpeteers traverse Come the frigid... Oh man, type the jump chunker. Chump chunker? Well, I don't know. Lonely Trumpeteers traverse the frigid landscape of yogurt on a mission to spread their music. The Trumpeteers believe that music can bring light to a dark, spiritless world. Their heady melodies are a welcome sound of the solitary melancholy Scott. I feel like this was more consistently funny the last time we did it. This feels Come too... Come man, type the jump chunker. This world's too good, I guess. Maybe, Maybe you want some jump chunker. Big... Junk chunker? Okay. We'll put an H in there for good measure. Not chunker. I guess junk junker works too, though. Okay, I'm about to get vulgar with it in the next one. We need to eke out some easy. We need some cum comedy. We need to eke out some easy laughs. <laughs> there cum are no blaster. true warriors in the lands of yogurt, so all warriors must be created. Junk junkers are devoted to the ways of war. Fuck you! That has nothing to do with junk or junk. Cock gobbler. Cum. Come on, give me, uh. give me something easy. We're getting desperate here. I am, frankly. This is not as funny as I wanted it to be. Cock gobblers are one of the few classes that have a sexuality requirement. To become a cock gobbler, <laughs> you must be a male undead skeleton. The cock gobbler uses his long... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I mean, that's what I asked for, I guess. That's what I asked for, I guess. Uh, dinner blaster. Cum blaster. Yeah, dinner blaster. No, we're doing cum comedy. It's cum comedy hour. Cum blasters are the most annoying class you would ever come across. Their power lies in their ability to produce an endless supply of spooge. Nice. <laughs> See, I got what I want. Yo, your uh, media right, share me, thing is just showing me. like a little picture and not the name. Oh, that's because I scrolled up. Oops. Uh, okay. What now? Dinner blaster. Dinner blaster. Okay. Brother of the cum blaster. 
with their infinite <laughs> supply of spooge. <laughs> infinite supply of dinner. Dinners are the most feared warriors of the skeletons. They're the only warriors that are allowed to eat the meat of sentient beings. These warriors spend their entire lives preparing for the life's calling to hunt and kill the most featured. They made a race. Once a dinner has completed its life's calling, it is allowed to eat the flesh. Yeah, it like this feature is not as well baked as I thought it was. This, this, um, yeah. <sighs> Put stupid poopy doopy. Head. <laughs> We're running out of ideas. I think we need to go back <laughs> to just the regular game because this is not this is not as big yeah. of a this is not as like crazy of a big finale as I thought it was going to be. We can at least finish the world. We'll just do some quick factions and locations. Stupid pooby dooby skeletons are the most basic of all skeletons. They live in the deepest, darkest. This is just the initial skeletons. But they added the poopy yeah, skeletons. Yeah, you know what? I think this world might be too crazy. So Hold on. Let's just finish the world so that our work is not. These are the only four classes. You could be a crunker dumper, a twitch streamer, a lonely trumpeteer, or a cum blaster. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> factions. What? You must go back and select races? What are you talking about? I did! This shit's bugged. Fuck this. What? Farts. Fart knocker. <laughs> they have realized that life is meaningless. Okay. Uh, um. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That's a faction? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. A faction of one. Be the you friends or skeletons? The skeletons Sora are ruled by the great skeleton, Du Buawa Fas Basu. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Sora from Kingdom Hearts is a faction in this world. There's a, there's a crew you can join. Uh. Sora is the Keyblade Master. <laughs> Yeah, he travels the world of yogurt, fighting villains and protecting the weak. His brother Riku is a strong lust for power <laughs> and a deep seated hatred. Sora. Sora, Sora, Sora is a strong fighter and wields a keyblade with deadly skill. He also has the ability to manipulate light, and his this power is only eclipsed by his ability to summon his friends from Disney worlds to fight with him. Okay, so Sora is his own That's faction. Just That's Sora like four from people. It's their own faction. Uh, One Direction. Super boys. <laughs> The Superboys are a group of skeletons who are dedicated to the left to finding a way to this. Like we've we've already had this before. Oh my god! Dude, Dark King of Candies. Dark King of Candy Kingdom. Give me something. The Dark King of Candy Kingdom is a skeleton. No, it's fucking not. All right, the only oh, three faction are Farts, Dubuaf, and Sora. Because I'm sick <laughs> of this shit. This is the world you live in. <laughs> this is the world you live in. Hiffle. Oh, we can make uh, locations uh, tied to factions. So Hiffle of farts. <laughs> this story is going to be Hiffle? fucking in. This is this isn't the home for infinite losers. Oh, that Hiffle. Hiffle. Hiffle is a small town on the country of farts. It is a town <laughs> that caters to the suicide minded. What the fuck? What? I don't know. Dubois home is. But, uh, but dude, Traverse Town. The fucker. <laughs> I'm sick of trying. We're just typing in whatever. You Traverse Town from this King area Mars. used to be the home of a powerful network of monsters. <laughs> can you link Traverse Town from Kingdom Hearts to Sora yeah. from Kingdom Hearts? Yes, I can. It's just also there. Travers Town is a refuge for every straggler that happens to find their way to yogurt. It is a place where travelers rest from their journey. It is built of a house just to appear out of the ground from the snow. You know, that's kind of just what Travers Town is. Uh, There's we no gotta snow add in Travers Town. Final Fantasy characters are there. Perfect. All right, <laughs> these are the three locations. All right, we're going to have one generic location. Oh, no, you can't even do that. They have to be tied to a faction. Summary. This place sucks ass. <laughs> Oops, yep, shitty. cum blaster, so it is kind of not safe. Let's play! Work. Yogurt is the childlike world of skeletons. Okay, we already know about this. Uh, create character. What's our character's name? Poop shitty. 
poop You know shitty. what? I'm so sick Bart, of this show already. Bart Simpson. <laughs> Bart Simpson. <laughs> poop shitty. Poop shitty. A poo poo. I shouldn't it's... be making myself laugh so hard. I forgot. We, I forgot we could just be the Simpsons. Don't you want to be Bart? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it gonna generate? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be terrible. You are poop shitty, a young male poo poo. <laughs> 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 a young male poo poo from the snowy realm of yogurt. You've been an apprentice to the Keyblade Master Sora for the past five years, and you've been a good student. Today you're going to be walking into the town of Travis Town to meet with Sora to discuss your next training exercise. Of course, as you are not a teenager, that means you have to walk through the cold, harsh tundra known as the end of the world. You stroll through the city, causing a scene with your fancy robe. <laughs> Do a hundred standing backflips in a row. Push a pile of skeletons out of the way. Say hi to Bart Simpson. I can do that. He's in this world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I Bulb is like hooked on Bart Simpson. You don't want to anger the royal family. Hooked on Bart. Use your poo poo powers <laughs> to teleport to Bart Simpson of the <laughs> Simpsons. This sucks, man. It does fucking <laughs> suck. Uh, this, this, <laughs> this world started this sucks so hard that it's wrapped back around to being really funny. Cursing your lack of foresight, you attempt to pick one of the skeleton's crowns. That is not what I did. Use my poopoo powers now. You disappear from Travis. <laughs> 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 you disappear from Travis. Start to appear in the city of Springfield, your home world. No, you are in New York City. <laughs> Go to, uh, go to, go to, uh, what's his name? Guy Fieri's restaurant. No, I am in New York City. Where the hell is Bart or Maggie? You're caught <laughs> between the moon and New York City. I'm over here, you goof. You hear a voice says. You turn around and see the face of Bart Simpson, though he looks strangely different. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, I like this. What Keep is going. it? What's happening? <laughs> that's not Bart. That's just some regular teenager who looks like him. Where's Bart? I'm over here, dumb buttock, buttocks. You hear the voice of Bart say? There you go, imbecile. Two Marges say. There's like multiples of them. There's multiple. They are a race. What is, what is she doing? Man, you points at two Marges. <laughs> you point at two Marges and laugh. Your name is Two Marges, you say. Yeah, who are you? Oh, I'm Ryan. All right, coolie, cool. The, the two Marg Ryan's Smarge says. This is, this is, we have pumped the most falling up apart. information. It's all falling apart. Hold on. I don't. I like how I like how we spent all that time making a world, and it sucked so much we immediately abandoned it for New York. Do a backflip to impress them. You point at the two marges in confusion. Why are there two marges? We gotta find out. What? <laughs> two marges ask. Don't point at me like that. You point your finger up to one of the marges and they look over at him. Then you immediately point over at the other one. Two what? marges. <laughs> Everyone's getting your ass. What? Two marges ask. Don't point at me like that. No, do something else. <laughs> Uh, go play dodgeball. Oh, I am? The Marge on the right side of your screen says, Nope, you're not. You're a middle-aged man. The left Marge on your, appears on your screen, and you start clicking rapidly. <laughs> Delete account! <laughs> Turn on dodgeball. Go to, Enter go dodgeball to game. Use pure poo-poo powers to teleport one marge away, leaving only a single marge and a Bart. It takes every ounce of concentration you can to create a portal to remove one of the marges. Once the process is complete, there's one marges and a regular-looking Bart. Thanks, kid, the real Bart says. <laughs> no no problem, problem, Bart Simpson, my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kid, the real Marge says in your deepest voice possible. You vomit a bit in your mouth. 
Besides, <laughs> one Marge says seductively, "Come here, boy." Oh no! Run as fast as you can. Teleport back to Traverse Town immediately. You make a mad dash away from the two large people, rapidly gaining ground. Soon they are upon you. You're about to be crushed by their powerful hug. All right, listen up, kid. The big people shout. Why are they big? The Bart kicks the Marges in the legs to let you free. Let that child this shit alone. Is, this shit is melting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Even with this knowledge, you still think that hug is pretty nice of them. You know kid, what I just realized? You know what I just I need, I need it out. Return, teleport back to Traverse Town <laughs> and recount your tale to Master Sora. I thought you were saying Master Chief. Use Key Blast, says Ralph90. I don't want to kill him. You tell him about two big people who saved you from being trapped in a death hug by two marches. Master Sora thinks for a moment before speaking. What's he going to say? What is the, what is the knowledge the of, Master words of Master Sora? Sora. You know what happened to you, don't you, kid? Master says with love, you shake my head. No, that's my boy. <laughs> Welcome to the realm of psychosis. <laughs> this is all a test. <laughs> I love that was spelled, spelled says. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, kid. Hold still, I stick you with this. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Sora injects you with a needle. With, with a, he's injecting you with a clown needle. <laughs> it, it burns Why hot. is he injecting me? <laughs> She's coming out of it, you hear someone say. Your eyes widen as you find you can no longer control your movement. The people surrounding your bed all laugh. We should charge a mission for this. What the fuck is happening? What, what the, the fuck? This is a horrible nightmare story at this point. <sighs> Where you am know, I? Where's Aside? Donald and Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> They're in the waiting room. A tall man with a large nose explains, this hallway is for staff only, friend. Indeed! The man next to him adds, you should not be here, sir. Please return to the waiting room. Let me roll that. The, you know, aside from what's going on right now, I just realized... Using AI Dungeon to potentially make new Simpsons episodes okay. might be a, a great idea. You try to twist it your head to look at these people, hard. but there are two shadowy fingers holding you all down. Ah, 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 we wouldn't want you to injure yourself yes. any more than you already have. Hey, who are you talking to? Teleport I like how back. They've, they've implemented Tele this, huh? Teleport back to yogurt. That's true, I can't just use my poo-poo powers. He's awake and asking for the members of his company. We're wasting no time injecting him with the memories so the fans can see them side by side in this epic crossover. Fanfics are stupid, you mutter. <laughs> what? Zach Goof? <laughs> injecting what? him with the memories so the fans can see them side by side in this epic crossover. <laughs> Goofy walks in and takes all the blankets from your hospital bed. You immediately feel cold. Oh, that's too bad. How are you feeling, kid? Goof, who are these people exactly? Oh, they've just created a super soldier serum, and they want to see if it works on another species besides dogs. <laughs> well, you just created a super soldier. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you lie back in your hospital bed. You feel a cold sensation creep under your skin. You feel a sudden rush of power you've never known before. Your memories begin to flood into your mind. You stand up suddenly from the bed. What the heck, man? Are you Bart? No. Don't have a box. I'm poop man. shitty or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> poop shitty. Donald gives you another injection. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the cold spreads up to your heart. Your personality what becomes that of a cold, unfeeling psychopath. You rip the needle from your arm and punch it to the neck of the nearest person there who happens to be Goofy. Whoa! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Goofy! <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> this is what you did hey. to me. You rip the skin from his face and laugh as blood gushes out of his neck. You toss the mask onto the floor and step into the hallway as several laboratory technicians flee screaming in terror. What's going on? What's going on? I have killed Goofy. And I am the new party member. <laughs> what the heck, man? The new member is talking about killing Goofy and taking his place. Shardy, what's wrong with you? 
Shorty. <laughs> you hear the voice of Goofy. It's coming from behind a door. Oh, what the fuck? Open door. Open door. You bust through the door and see him laying in a hospital bed inside. They already hooked him up? You also spot a man in a black cloak with his back turned to you, and now our super soldiers here, and they're gonna inject Goofy, too! <laughs> but you already <laughs> did that. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, I just hit him with the empty needle for the damage. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. The man then. injects Goofy with some sort of green chemical. He becomes alert and struggles against his, his bonds. Good yuck. <laughs> Yo, you cook? I fucked that up. <laughs> he shouts. <laughs> he seems much larger than before. His skin changes from its normal tan to a gray color. Excellent, the cloaked man says. I am Zemnis. <laughs> and this is my needle. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy seems to have no memory of you. His personality is different as well. He seems angrier, more violent. His eyes bulges out, and his nose becomes a beak. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into a, he turned into oh a God. bird. He's becoming Donald. <laughs> we injected bill. Goofy with a Donald serum. <laughs> and Donald with a Goofy serum. Wait, I know you. You're that goody-goody sunshine kid, he shouts. Goofy begins to laugh as an insane manner of his bones start protruding from his body. His skin tears to reveal feather underneath, yet he is still laughing. God, that's scary. <laughs> this really Donald, does just feel like a nightmare. What do we do? Goofy's turning into you. But stronger. If you can get a message to Riku, tell him I need to see him immediately. Tell him it's about the operation. Got it, but you better not leave me here with this monster. I'm going to reroll that. I don't know. <laughs> kill them. Kill them now. You make up a sword <laughs> in the corner of the room and slice through his artery. With what strength he has left, he bashes your head into the wall. Little did you know, pain actually hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up his once again limp body and crushes him in a hug. His beak punctures through Goofy's spine. I was supposed to be the one to kill you. <gasps> Not the right song for this moment. He says, oh, he drops his carcass no. to the floor. Good job, Donald. You killed Goofy from Kingdom Hearts. We're celebrating the death of Goofy. I was actually auditioning to be the fourth member of 303. What? <laughs> I'm inside your mind, or more specifically, your subconscious. How the heck did you get in here? It's a really long story. You're supposed to be helping me in this. From now on, you will only think about... What should I... No, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's let the story come up with it. From now on, you will only think about Pooh and his friends. <laughs> I have to hurry up and get out of here before you wake up. Your mind rider is terrible at this. What's a mind rider? Never mind. You're not supposed to know that. All right. You exit Donald's mind. The serum seems to be wearing off. But you notice three more men with needles behind you. This is a needle story. A little. Can you wake up now? Okay, I don't know what the fuck's happening. What do we do? Should I keep going with this? I'm like, I'm shot. I don't know what the fuck's happening anymore. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, we've lost the plot. Do you, um, use, use oh, I hope, Flash I think of me. I hope I think of me. <laughs> Is that Winnie the Pooh? Huh? I have an idea. Let's do a Winnie the Pooh story. Goofy thinks of me. What? Hopes Goofy thinks of him. What? Do I have to back out? No, I, I want to like leave. Okay. Winnie the Pooh, are you there? Love all of my friends. Best done. 
So, Winnie the Pooh, do you want to play AI Dungeon with me? He's a little, he's a little slow to the, to the gun here. That won't matter in a little while. But right now when I'm asking him immediate questions, it's kind of tough. He was he fast. Is... What? He... <laughs> what? He's trying to say yes. <laughs> Brought me to chat says, poo huffing the good stuff. Well, Pooh, do you want to play? Pooh? Pooh Bear? Shut up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Do you want to play AI Dungeon, Pooh? Let's do a story together. Okay. I... <laughs> do you want to do a 100 Acre Woods story where I'm there? Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to wait for you to answer. <laughs> The sun shines brightly over you. You crack open your eyes from a deep, dark sleep. Your you fucking bitch don't talk to me. <laughs> your name is Wayne Radio TV. And you suddenly realize where you are. You are in the none other than the Hundred Acre Wood. Of Winnie the Pooh fame. <laughs> Suddenly, Winnie the Pooh approaches you. Here we go. Hello, he says. I'm here to take you on an adventure. You look at him surprised, but then smile back. He's so sweet. So very sweet. All right, Pooh, what's, what's your, what do you do? He's, he's he's struggling a little bit. I I can't help. Really, is it fucked up today? <laughs> a little bit. I don't. <laughs> I think I think. Oh dear, I love the hundred acre wood. I love honey and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you love honey? He said, he said more than that. Winnie the Pooh looks okay. down at his feet as if he's ashamed of himself. He turns around slowly before looking up at you again. Yes, he says softly. Of course I do. He reaches out for your hand and squeezes it tightly. What are you going to do, Pooh? <laughs> uh... he's, he's old. He is very really, old. Really, yeah. Uh, he's he's very sleepy. Takes a while. Yeah. To get a response. Cry. Out of Cry. Beat me, honey, or I'll tell you all I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me, honey, or I'll tear your arm off. Winnie the Pooh says to you. Pick your next words carefully. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Pooh Bear. Where can we find some honey? We need a location for the honey. Last time I went on an adventure, Eeyore found a magical cave with gold diamonds, candy, and lettuce. An image for the cave. Your graphics card drivers. <laughs> What? Did he tell me to update my graphics card drivers? <laughs> <laughs> Pooh Bear, what do you do next? It's your turn. I see him thinking. I keep honey in the bank, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I keep honey... Winnie the Pooh tells you he keeps his honey in the bank cry. and demands that you rob it for him. He begins to cry. I want honey. <laughs> I want honey. There's a bank in the hundred acre wood. Pride, scream. Shut up, Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the 
Mr. Pooh perks his head up. I think there is, yes. There is a bank in the county town, and there's lots of honey. You should rob it for me. He reluctantly turns to leave, wiping a tear <laughs> away in his eye. <laughs> Yo, stop it. Thank you for the gift subs. You think oh, to yourself... Wait, Wallace. You aren't in this story. <laughs> you think to yourself that you don't have anything better to do and prepare to rob the bank of its honey. You walk up to the bank, empty-headed on purpose, and stare at the security cameras. Doesn't look like there's anyone in the bank, you think to yourself. You ram into the door a few times and it gives way. You step inside. Empathy bot, you are mean to the bank. You lose one point. Oh, man. Fuck. I'm a bad person. I'm mean to banks. Uh... Pooh Bear, do you come along for the bank robbery, or did you stay back? What are you doing in the story? What does Pooh do in this? One must wonder what Pooh Bear will do in this story. I say, filling dead air. Yo, guilty your bank robbery. If the ink packs explode in my honey, then I'll be pissed. <laughs> if the ink... Okay. I took me a second to parse dye. what he said. I think he means the dye pack. If the ink, but... if the ink bags explode in my honey, I will be pissed. Pooh Bear growls. I'm going to get revenge. <laughs> <laughs> you were standing in a small room with a number of tellers' windows. Thank me, there's no one inside. A hallway leads out from the back of the room, so you decide to explore it. Do your friends know you're here? I am going to get revenge. Pooh Bear says to no one. <laughs> <laughs> the hallway leads to a series of doors and two stairways. One set of stairs goes up, the other stairs I'm go down. I'm going to get you. <laughs> what is Pooh Bear's relationship to you? You decide to open one of the doors and start. Pooh Bear pulls out his double pistols. Here I come. You better start running now. <laughs> I'm gaining on you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gaining on you. I don't know who he's saying all this to. Me? I'm helping him rob the bank. He says aggressively, I'm going to hurt you. You look at Pooh Bear in confusion. You can't tell if he's directing his malice towards you or someone else. <laughs> someone off screen wonders how loyal you are and tells you to prove yourself or else. Oh. I met your front door. When? This, Open you are up. not. Let's rob this joint. When the bullets fly, the pigs will die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Pooh Bear opens fire on nothing. <laughs> There's no one here yet. <laughs> uh. He begins pacing, especially when you don't respond. Eventually, he sees something invisible out of the corner of his eye. He stops in his tracks and turns around. What do you want, <laughs> you ask out loud? I sense a malevolent force. It's a malevolent force. <laughs> what is it, Pooh Bear? Oh, hell yeah, hot dad. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get kidnapped. Pooh Bear's our friend. He's just playing AI Dungeon with us. What's that, Pooh? What are you saying? I sense some malevolent force. It's Eeyore. <laughs> it's Eeyore. Oh no. Pooh Bear stammers. You look in the corner of the room and he uncloaks. Oh, His two crossbows are out and aimed at you. Can I shoot? Help me, Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'm real and I'm coming to your house. I climbed out of the book and now I'm on a hunt. I can smell your fear. Don't try to hide. It's already for too late. Good me. <laughs> oh, be. bother. Goose, we'll have to kill this donkey. <laughs> 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 Guess we'll have to kill this donkey. <laughs> Two glowing red dots cover your head. Poop, they're behind you! You try to warn him, but he can't hear you. He fires at you instead, and the bullet enters your brain. Dear. What? I'm dead. Oh, I'm gonna reroll that. Story over. I don't know why Poop just shot me. Poop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four horses appear. What the, the four fuck? horsemen? It just it just put out four horse emojis. Yeah, we did it. Oh God! It's that was horses. bullshit. That didn't happen. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll re-roll that. A skeletal demonic creature with its jaw and hips like a snake's head lunges at you. It has long arms that ended claws and hoofed legs. Its eyes are blood red and full of malice. This is your fate. Nice. What do you do about that, Pooh Bear? I'm a little scared. That's just a horse. <laughs> oh my god, a horse. That's more like it. The skeletal monster screams and charges at you with unrivaled ferocity. It snarls and bears its face as it eats up the distance between you. You agilely dodge out of the way and the monster smashes full speed into the wall. Pooh Bear, you ever Make fought Make friends with it. Make friends with it. Pooh Bear attempts to pacify it by becoming its friend. Are you friendly? He asks someone unsure. The monster ignores him and tries to slash him with his claws. Pooh Bear backpedals out of the way and runs when the monster does not drop the chase. Well, Pooh Bear, I don't think that's going to work. What's your next move? I love demonic forces and evil. <laughs> I love demonic forces and evil, no Pooh Bear says to you. He pulls out a cigar and slowly inches towards the monsters to show it that he means no harm. We need to get rid of that beast, you say. It's been stalking me. What about Rabbit? He's dead. I don't know when Rabbit died. Hey, you know, I totally forgot to change the cue to shuffle, but it seems like we are nearing the end of the list. Wait, are we? Hold on. Are we? Yeah, there's only... Uh, there's like 15 songs left. Oh, silly me. I had some honey under my shirt this whole time. Him. <laughs> what? What did Pooh Bear say? Uh, he said he had honey under his shirt this whole time. <laughs> oh, bother. It seems I had honey under my shirt this whole time. Pooh Bear whips out his honey. Who's necromancy to resurrect rabbit? Pooh Bear whips out his honey, applies it to the monster, and lights it on fire. The flames engulf oh. the demon, but it continues to attack you. Oh my! It realizes what needs to be done and stands beside you in courage. Wait, why? Huh? I'm gonna use that. Ne use I'm necromancy to resurrect rabbit. Use use Pooh Bear's double pistols. To light up the demon. Sorry, Pooh, I had to double your I had to bear borrow your double pistols. You get to work on loading your pistols in the monster. Not only does this kill the beast, but it also sets the bar on fire. You and Peer you and Pooh Bear make haste going outside and start running away. Where are we going? Road? Yeah, we're going to road. Road. Alright, Pooh Bear, what's next? Where what is your next? Move, Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. 
We didn't get any honey. The mon kick, the mon kick, with a Morganis double the mon kick. <laughs> <laughs> Demon kick, demon kick. Wait, I'm a genius. Double demon kick. I don't know why he's doing this or what he's doing this to. Pooh Bear executes a flawless attack. Later you hear that the bar is burned to the ground. Oh dear, rabbit's gone. Yeah, I told you that. I don't know how I knew, but I did. First thing I'm doing with my paycheck is building him a new house. I hope it's big. How about I use a death fist on your mother? <laughs> Poober, you need to do something. Stop talking. AI Dungeon, AI Dungeon does not like when you just do dialogue over and over. Poober, what do you do? And now that the fight is over or whatever, we should go to a bar and drink lots of rum and whiskey. Okay. <laughs> Poober recommends that you two go to a bar to drink lots of rum and whiskey. You agree and go to the nearest tavern. You sit down at a table and wait for a bartender. I want a whole bottle of rum. I'll have the same, says the bear. <laughs> All right, Pooh Bear, what do you do in the bar? I'm about to get fucked up. <laughs> I want to do all kinds of new and scary drugs. <laughs> Pooh Bear suddenly pulls out all kinds of new and scary drugs and starts doing them. With, without, with reckless abandon. It caught me so off guard. <laughs> Oh. He begins to turn an odd shade of red. Don't you think you've had enough, Pooh Bear? No. Pooh Bear becomes violent and uncontrollable. <laughs> Pooh Bear, what do you do in your rage? What do you More. do? More. More. Pooh Bear firmly states. You pick up the bottle and give him an empty glare. More, go ahead, stick him up. He continues to demand. Wait, hold on, I'm going to reroll that. You hand him a bottle of poison, which he chugs I down I invented a new kind of drug. It's called K4 Spice. It makes you see all kinds of awful creatures. K4 Spice? Then he begins screaming in pain as his stomach begins to expand. You take the gun that Rabbit had given you and shoot the bear until it falls back into its seat. This is all according to plan, Pooh Bear says. Oh, These oh, are the intended yeah. effects of my new drug, K4 Spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I smoke Motorola and see half a lumps everywhere. Pooh These new synthetic drugs make me stronger. Killing demon, go outside, okay? There's a thought. You could leave this place. Maybe Rabbit was maybe Rabbit was wrong. What did Pooh say? Uh, Pooh first he smoke motor oil? He says, I smoke motor oil and see heffalumps everywhere. And then he said the new synthetic drugs make him stronger. Heffalumps? What is that? Wow, fake fan. What is a heffalump? An elephant, basically. I don't know I have a lump. Pooper begins to smoke motor oil out of a pipe, causing him to see heffalumps all over the place. He fumbles for his phone as it begins to ring. Hey, it's me, Pooh Bear, where are you? Hospital, demon kick. <laughs> what happened? Drugs. <laughs> Pooh Bear hangs up. Don't do fucking drugs, kids. Don't end up like Pooh Bear. Uh, please don't. Don't do K4 Spice. You never Why hear from him again. Give me a hug. A month later, the headlines read that the drug has been linked to inexplicable suicides. You read on with a smile. Cartoon physics. We're car finally catching up with Pooh Bear. Hold on, I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> Cartoon physics. We're catching Dr. Rabbit, up with he him. hates me. Dr. Rabbit! 
I'm coming nice. down. Man, Alicia, I'm coming down. Down to the planet of the apes. He's here. <laughs> nice. You say, Dr. Rabbit. This is a Dr. Rabbit story now. Fuck Pooh Bear. <laughs> wait, ho wait, hold on. Please, Dr. Rabbit. Will you teach me about bright smiles too? Will you teach me about bright smiles too? The bartender's ignoring me. He thinks he thinks I'm making this up. I'm not. This is all real. <laughs> you swing your arm around the bartender and he obeys your command. He tells you all of the bright smiles hey, man, kids like the girl with one hair. You want to get on and watch for episodes of Men vs. Food. <laughs> Sure thing, Pooh. Listen carefully, Piglet. A good doctor will teach us all about it. Open your ears wide. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Pooh Bear walks in with Piglet. Just in time for the dental speech. I don't know. I thought you'd be dead, you say, with bits of chewed up food flying out of your mouth. You drank the poison I gave you. Good stuff. You walk outside together and are instantly blocked with two men by cloaks. No, it's the, from the last story. They pull uh -oh. out their needles. Teach me about bright smiles. Oh my God, there's a piglet voice. I love your teeth. I'd like to have them. <laughs> well, there's your next interaction. <laughs> my name is Dr. Rabbit. Dr. Rabbit! This is just a YouTube poop now. <laughs> just even like the even my responses I'm giving it are just lines from YouTube poops. I hate these pricks. They spun my weed and replaced it with flowers. What? Hold on, I gotta I gotta fix that. I didn't ask for your life story. You have screws in your joints to keep you from escaping. I assume you know why you're here. Where's the money? I didn't rob a bank. We didn't take anything. I hate these nods. They spiked us. my weed and replaced it with flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, bring in the first subject. What the fuck? Excuse me, could you please put a 34 in the chat if you love to take synthetic drugs? <laughs> I don't know what. That's a, that's that's a, that's right a ban now. for it's every so 34 lost. we see. Uh oh. A door blocks your view. It slowly opens, and Dr. Rabbit comes into view. You see a drill in his hands. You're going to die here. He says it alone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he says it alone. Oh, voice. Doctor. I are eating jaws of you, me funny, silly honey is good for my teeth. Is that true, Doctor? Oh, do tell me. <laughs> Pooh Bear, help me! Dr. Rabbit is gonna kill me! What's Pooh Bear's oh, help uh, me? response? Just then you hear a loud voice in your head. Picking up a weapon, harnessing fear, you manage to free one of your hands. Wielding the drill, you surprise Pooh Bear by attacking him. That's not what happened. Why? Oh! <laughs> Pooh Bear mumbles something in his sleep. Dr. Rabbit begins to laugh. Nobody, nobody can save you now, he says, bringing the drill closer. That's not the end. <laughs> I tried to end it. Pooh Bear, you gotta wake up! I'd like up. you to stop breathing now. <laughs> stop breathing at Pooh Bear's request. Hopefully to trick. Oh, but I'm just a little poo bear who's Dr. so Rabbit. fucking full of fluff. <laughs> Pooh Bear asked. You snap and break free of your restraints. You hop off the table, ready to lump rumble. Why won't you die? Growls Dr. Rabbit, going berserker on you. Well, that's not what I did, right. even if that is cool. Oh, I think I think Pooh's finally got Your lungs got some cease advice. operation. You die. No, Pooh's got some real advice for you. Pooh, can you save me? 
What's up, Pooh? Fucking saw him. Shut up with the media shirt. Pooh? Here's what you need to do. Bust out a Glock and blow that rabbit away. <laughs> Bust out a Glock and blow that rabbit away. <laughs> <laughs> Back from the dead. You bring out your Glock. Before you have a chance to pull the trigger, a claw tears through your chest, ripping your heart out of your body. What the Why? fuck? This is, a, this is good ending music for this story. You choke out before your windpipe is crushed by a monkey's paw. That's a semi-interesting idea, Pooh. Your heavy breathing is all that could be heard in the night. You look around and see animals walking around, go about their daily lives. Am I dead? I don't know. I'm gonna re- I'm gonna re-roll the Glock line. You stand up and shoot the rabbit three times to the head. He falls to the floor dead, blood and braids flying everywhere. You laugh and shake it off. The bartender bursts into the room. You put your gun at him and he raises his hands. Fuck All right. of Piglet. <laughs> so Pooh Bear's asleep on the floor. I'm gonna wake him up. Wake up Pooh Bear. Never letting the gun drop. Still pointed at the bartender. He took I'd me like here. a big yummy 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 jar of honey. A big jar of honey for me, Pooh Bear. Oh yummy 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 yummy. <laughs> oh, yummy Holy yum. shit. Yum. Pooh Bear woke up and the first thing he says is kill him and I kill the bartender. Okay, so now I'll make him say Pooh Bear looks at you and says I'd like a big 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 was that what he said? Big 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 jar of honey? A big yummy yum yum yummy jar of honey. Yummy yum yum yummy jar of honey. Okay. You stare at your friend, knowing he's just into the worst thing you could ever imagine. Wow, thanks, John. This is a really Water good pasta. For me. Say the fanboys. Can you close your web browser? Me. Okay. Oh shit, here's- well here's what Media Share Plus looks like if you guys wanted to see it. I didn't know that would happen. That was not- that was not the intent. Alright guys, it's- it's a free we are almost honey. five hours in. I, will I drink think it all is- of it. I think it is gulp, time gulp. to wrap up. Oh yummy, my uh, tummy. Oh look at no job. How many songs do we not get to? One, two- well one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen songs we didn't get to. Apologies guys. But these streams go real fucking late, and you guys know that. Um, yeah. However, I will pause them. Um, the Supposedly that this playlist will be not erased like the old one, so maybe we can listen to this if we just play like a chill game later this week. Um, whereas the old media shares would just wipe the playlist randomly, because it would just like, it would start playing through them when I would not tell it to. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. From, from Biggie. From Biggie fucking Smalls. That was a fun stream. Fun as ever. Uh, let's go ahead and see who who supported us tonight. We had a ton of fucking support. So much, but where is that Rondo? I don't know where it is. There it is. Everybody, big, a big round of applause to Pooh Bear for coming out tonight and playing with us. A round of applause to Trog, Logger, Mount Mira, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Where are the credits? Uh, the program we use for the voices is called uh, UberDuck. UberDuck.ai. It's a website. You can't use them like bear. we do, though. Little little it doesn't work. Funny, funny, full you have to design your own bot. Bear. Oh my god, Gummy <laughs> Bar, shut up. There's, listen, listen. Originally, when we when we found Biggie, we were so excited, like, oh man, there's a couple really good characters on this. Wow, I can't, like, we, we, have, we have a new, like, Joshua-esque AI character to join the stream. Now, this fucking bot has a million fucking characters, and now there's just, like, a million imaginary creatures that can invade any stream at any given moment. Like Gummy Bar. And Jack Septic Eye, the imaginary character. Yes. I love Uber Duck as well. I love to use it for my streams. <laughs> Let's make him say the classic. Holy say the line, shit. Jack. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which, which one is the voice that says GTA really good? Do that one. That's Jack Septic Eye. <laughs> that was not too loud. One. I don't care. I want to hear it. Is it yeah. G <laughs> <laughs> that was the loudest it's ever been. <laughs>
<laughs> He's still going. Oh, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. That was funny, but you just blew some people's uh, out. I didn't mean to! Yeah. All of you people were mad at me? That was an accident! That wasn't even on purpose. It's know. never been like that. Oh, we did not know. That. I will drink all of it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Yummy. Oh, look, a new iPad. <laughs> well... <laughs> Never been that loud before. <laughs> Never ever. That was him saying GTA. My fellow Americans, today I will have had sex for the first time. I got on the door the 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 what are some of the other ones we pinned lately? <laughs> here's uh, here's Rex from uh, <laughs> from Toy Story's famous quote. <laughs> I came! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> well, Wayne, thank you for having me on your stream. It was very fun, pleasurable, and of course, all very highly erotic. <laughs> Buzz, what's Murder Woody? I think it'd be funny! <laughs> What's that other one? Whoa, well, so balls. <laughs> you thought you did, you did not get the intended effect out of that one. Wait, what does Winnie the Pooh say when you do GTA? We pinned that. Buzz! Don't let any push me down the toilet! Please! <laughs> I'm Captain Picard. Alls. That was the most normal alls I've ever heard. That was the most normal. Uh oh. Uh, you want to hear uh, King Arkinian gargle on some balls? Fucking me from 20, 2009 has been waiting for that for years. Hold on, wait for it. It takes him a minute. Give him a minute. He's shy. Wow, he is taking a sweet time. Maybe the bot went down? Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this okay. So this next bot voice, in my opinion, is the most insane one because you almost can't tell. You almost cannot tell. It is be, because of the nature of the original speaker. It is so close to the real product. <laughs> King Arcadian's still going. Yeah, he he chokes a lot. This one. Number fifteen: the strange case of the empty Wayne Radio TV. Once upon a time, I went on Twitch.tv to watch my favorite streamer. I noticed that the background was blood red and instead it said Wayne Radio 666. I imagine this was a glitch and carried on. <laughs> Where's what? It's uh, there's, there's one that I that I made him do that I really liked. I want to find it. Sit with me, Mike. Sit with the gun. <laughs> that was not. You got that once and it was like really fucking good. This is this. 
This is my favorite chills video. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just got back. Are we just making the AI safe? Number funny 10, things? the scary doggy. In 2015, <laughs> a little dog came to a new home to be a baby boy's best friend, but it turned out the dog was filled by a dark soul. The puppy ate the baby boy and ran away faster than a car. When the police found the dog, the dog killed three cops with ease. The dog is now held in a secret prison for dogs beneath the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Have sex with me, please! <laughs> What's the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, man. But yeah, uh, we have lots of ideas for ways to use this bot in future streams, but... Uh, the creator of UberDuck, like, we, we pay... We, we, we pay a fee to have this the, the connection for this bot that we do. Um, so, and, and part of that deal was, at some point, he wanted me to promote it and let you guys know what it is. So, yeah, it's uberduck.ai. Um, all the voices that you've heard on stream, including I am mean, Biggie, you guys can play with them yourselves. Oh, rabbit. Oh, oh, rabbit. Oh, <laughs> boost. Boost. <laughs> you make Biggie say boost whenever you want. It's true. You can't. I fucking the fairies. <laughs> Hold on. I see, what, what were some of the other ones we've been playing around with? Now that, now have, that I've, now that I've taken up. Crabs one really fucked up. There's a new one. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a new bunch. There's, there's, like, there's like, like 10 new ones each day. On. Is this the code? Is, it, is the code for Francis just Francis? I hate Winnie the Pooh. Let's see. I hate Winnie the Pooh. Okay, it's not Francis. Uh, I have to go to the website and find the code. Probably L4D Francis if I had to guess. Yeah. I'm a, a lot of them are bear. very messed up. I'm a silly, funny, funny, honey, full of guy, goy, coffee bar. Oh my God. <laughs> That's Moopy's favorite. It's the worst one. <laughs> Uh, it's Francis left for dead. Okay. Uh. She suck on my way. It's quite delightful. If I catch you in West Gloucestershire, you'll catch the rifle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drum roll. New voice. Francis from Left 4 Dead 1. Okay, apparently this one is... Come on. Come on. It's I on. hate Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Man. Awful. Awful. I hate oh, man. Pooh. Wait, there's Kingdom Hearts voices now. Oh, there are? Yeah. Hold on. Yo, where's Sora? You Sora Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to ship the bed. All right, Sora, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Gonna take a while. Gromit, help me, you see. I've replaced my cup with some cheese and well, <laughs> that, that's not ideal, Gromit. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that Sora was fucked up. Hold on, I want to hear that again. That's not ideal. One thing we're gonna look into in the future, potentially. You got to eat this storm. Okay, that that's does not sound like Sora. Sora. That's barely Sora. Um, one th one of the original ideas we had, like before we did any of the bit streams, like with Biggie or I am Mean, uh, was we were gonna look into getting this hooked up to uh, like donations, so that you guys could donate and pick a voice and have the message be read through UberDuck. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to go through with that That would no longer work because the service is, um, we would have to pay for basically our own, like, yes. which private instance of the it. bot, which maybe, but might be worth it. It, that's up to Wayne. It's his stream, not mine. Yeah. God, they added a lot of shit. There's so many categories now. Like Project the link scoop. We've got to eat this bomb. Project M announcer. That's pretty good. Shaggy's pretty good. Project M announcer. Damn it. Fuck. Bitch. Oh, I see. You stop make... with the little bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> like I've powered up to Shaggy Roho. Roho. How do you make them freak out? You just gotta know which voices to use. Oh, don't Giant punctuation. Giant Gus Spring. 
You you take the punctuation away at the end of the at the end of the setting. What the fuck? There's a voice from Rec Room? Like the VR game? Who is Coach? Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know what that is. Uh Did you hear about this new game Dead by Daylight? I love to pick Jason in Dead by Daylight. I love to play Survivor as on hooks in Dead by Daylight. It's the what? most fun you can possibly have while playing this game. <laughs> Today's I categories don't, are don't, balls, don't dick, ass, 13th understand. century pokes, and <laughs> corns. I don't understand why someone trained it on Mike Matei as Inspector Gadget. <laughs> and why is it like the don't best trained so one? Good. So I don't. It fucking makes me mad. It, it, it possibly is just like it's like it, it's alive. It's real. <laughs> oh, Kami made this one. Foolish boy. Hardcore would never die. <laughs> it's leaking. I made a stinky poo poo mess on the floor. It's smelly, but it okay. <laughs> Mama said poo poo okay. There's a space ghost voice. Let's see what this sounds like. This is I new. wonder if that's any good. It's not. I've heard it. Oh, bummer. Ah. Uh, There's a lot of space ghost audio. You could train a good one. Today we'll be interviewing Inspector Gadget. Tell me about your confirmed kills. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> it's, like it's, it's getting it, there. It's, it's not terrible. It needs a little more training. I think it'd be great. Your boot. Talk, talk, is it you your bird, you, 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 you. Of course. I'm going to kill you. No! <laughs> Intelligent dance music. <laughs> oh, who the fuck trained the ring from Ring Fit Adventure? I'm better fuck? than you are, so I'll do the interview. <laughs> it's so it's good, it just, sucks! It's just, it, that's just it. Like, that's just that video. Alright, I think I'm gonna say goodnight. I'm I'm hungry. I ate dinner way too early today, and I'm being punished for it now. So it's time mm. for big dinner. Uh, say goodnight now. Hi! Hey, Wayne Radio TV. Good night, good. Thanks What's up, for Jack? having me on your stream. My yeah? favorite game is Where Your Land 3. The Game Boy Color. And why? Because it reminds me of myself. You know ass. what? You know what? It's time for chat. You know what? It's fucking time for. It's time no. for a very special raid. A stream team of about 341. Oh. Are you ready for some shrimps? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, me boy. Get. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what now? I will oh, kill you now. Get. Oh, 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 oh,